The child from a poor family goes to school in a Porsche, while my billionaire father makes me ride a bicycle, to the point that I became the laughingstock among my classmates. It wasn't until my coming of age ceremony that I suddenly realized that our family is actually a big player in the dark forces. The top three gang leaders in the country are nothing more than three dogs of the family. Even the top 50 terrorist organizations in the world are family businesses. Even our family nanny is a retired military hero. The reason for educating me in that way was just to prevent me from becoming arrogant. However, today to celebrate my birthday, my father arranged for two top female assassins, Feng Wang and Bai Ha, to be my bodyguards. My sister casually gave me 30 million pocket money, while my mother gave me a list. The list contains the contact information of over 200 domestic high-ranking officials. With just one call from me, they will obediently do things for me. I contentedly accepted it. Suddenly I remembered that today is the school's graduation ceremony. I called the butler and said I wanted to go to Qingting Academy. When Butler Lu heard my words, he couldn't help but be a little surprised and said, Young master, you are actually willing to go. I thought you didn't want to go to Qingting Academy anymore. It seems you have already moved on from your heartbreak. I was slightly shaken, only then did I recall. Not long ago, I pursued a girl at Qingting Academy, only to be heartlessly rejected and publicly humiliated by that girl. Coupled with my low spirits, I haven't been back to school recently. Thinking about this, I shook my head and smiled. But now, things are different from the past. Not long after, a stretched Bentley slowly stopped at the entrance of Qingting Academy. I walked towards the teaching building with Bai Ha in my arms. Everyone passing by cast envious glances. When we reached the classroom door, I smiled at Bai Ha and said, Wait for me at the door. I'm going to pick up my graduation certificate and will be out soon. Then I lowered my head. I pecked by his forehead and then turned to walk into the classroom. As soon as I entered the classroom, I saw at the lectern, a beautiful girl with a ponytail, her figure slender and graceful. There was a capable and elite quality in her demeanor, and she was wearing the Qingting Academy uniform, which few people would wear. But when I saw her, I felt as if in my memory, a faint hint of jealousy emerged. She was truly the center of attention at Qingting Academy, not to mention in the hearts of many second-generation wealthy individuals. She was undoubtedly a goddess. She is a wealthy heiress, excels in the college entrance examination, and is also outstanding in looks and figure at Qingting Academy. She has been praised by many since childhood, so it's easy to imagine her arrogance. I once confessed to her, only to be publicly rejected and humiliated. Although I instinctively didn't like this woman, I didn't make a scene. I just sat down at my own seat. The graduation ceremony is about to begin. He Charan is standing on the platform, saying, I don't require you to change into your school uniform, but at least don't be late or leave early today. It's an important moment for Jian Lang and the senior sister to return to their alma mater for a speech. I don't want our classmates to embarrass us. I listened with great interest and couldn't help but smile. I didn't expect Feng Wan to be quite impressive. He Charan continued speaking on stage. What's most admirable is that Zhang Lang and the senior sister come from impoverished families. Their backgrounds are far less privileged than any of us, yet they have achieved such brilliant results. This is what true genius looks like. He Charing glanced at the boys in the classroom and snorted, You still want to pursue me? Let me make it clear, my standards for a partner are the same as Zhang Long and the senior sisters. I won't refuse anyone who is more outstanding than me. The group of boys in the class had nothing to say. If it were someone else, these arrogant second-generation individuals would have rushed up and slapped her. They would have rushed up and slapped her a long time ago. But He Churin's background is among the top at Qingting Academy. She is extremely outstanding and has always been the one to confront others. Who dares to talk back? Suddenly, I spoke up, looking at He Churin with a half-smile. I answered calmly, just now I said that the criteria for choosing a spouse is the same as Jiang Lang's. She looks for a man who is just like her. What does it matter if He Charan gave me a cold glance? It has nothing to do with you, a good for nothing who lives off others. Is that so? I smiled. He Charan couldn't be bothered, and directly patted the stack of certificates on the lectern. I said, Now, the classmates whose names I call, please come up to sign and receive our graduation certificates. And one by one, the students started signing and receiving their certificates. When it was my turn, I walked up to He Charan. While registering information on the list, I casually said He Charan's name. Have you ever been a maid? He Charan raised her eyebrows and coldly asked, What do you mean? I'm quite looking forward to seeing how you, who are so proud, will look in a maid's outfit. I gave her a meaningful smile. He Charan's pretty face twisted and she called me an idiot. I sneered at you for scolding me, you will suffer a lot in the future. 
He churin sneered disdainfully. You, a toad, want to eat swan meat. I smiled faintly and casually picked up the graduation certificate. I casually asked, I remember, your family, the he family, has some influence in both the political and business circles, right? DUI Ba wore a cold expression and didn't want to talk at all. I didn't care either, so I turned around, took my graduation certificate, opened the door, and walked out of the classroom. Then I took Bai Ha to the auditorium, and as soon as we entered the auditorium, we saw Jiang Ling's speech was about to begin. Quiet. Today is our senior sister Jiang Ling Yu's speech. As soon as the words fell, a person walked out onto the stage, wearing a black suit. The decoration on the collar looked formal and elegant. Hello everyone, I am Jiang Ling Yu, your senior sister. The reason I came back today to give a speech is to tell everyone that I, Jiang Ling Yu, can also become outstanding among people. Hearing every word spoken by the phoenix on stage, he charring next to me said, You see, this is the senior sister I admire. I want to live like her in the future. This is my life goal. Hearing this, I couldn't help but step forward and say, So, you also want to be my woman? That's quite a statement. He Charin saw me come over with a disgusted look on his face. Just based on you, there was a sneer afterwards. Are you saying that the senior sister is your woman? Then you really think highly of yourself. I whistled at He Charin. You did say, Jiang Ling Yu, with what kind of man, you will be with that kind of man. He Karang looked at me defiantly and snorted, Jiang Ling Yu. With the senior sister being so outstanding, I naturally want to emulate her. Okay, I said, snapping my fingers. Feng Huang had just finished the speech and was about to leave. Suddenly, I stood up from my seat, and my voice was loud enough for everyone in the auditorium to hear clearly. Bai Ha smiled at me, knowing exactly what I was about to do. He suddenly looked stunned. Completely unaware of what was happening, he just blurted out, Don't embarrass yourself. Upon hearing my words, Zhang Lingyu, though somewhat resistant, showed no abnormal emotions. As he watched me approach, he felt a slight nervousness. Zhang Lingyu, I thought your speech just now was excellent. If possible, may I confess my feelings to you and ask you to be my girlfriend? This sentence was like a bombshell, hitting the hearts of all the boys in the audience. How is that possible? Don't joke around. The senior sister is sacred and inviolable, how dare you even consider it? If you can really make the senior sister your girlfriend, we will all kneel down and call you father. I am quite satisfied with this deal. I slowly approached Jiang Lingyu and whispered in her ear, give you two choices. Either reveal your maid's identity, or I haven't finished speaking. Jiang Lingyu immediately said, okay, I'll be your girlfriend. As soon as these words were spoken, the noisy audience suddenly quieted down. They even thought they misheard. But when they pinched their own faces and felt the pain, they had to believe this fact. At that moment, I was holding Feng Wang's neck with a smug look on my face. He Chu Ran couldn't believe it. Senior sister, you're so outstanding. How could you agree to be with such a loser? Hearing this, I furrowed my brows, let go of Feng Wang, and looked at He Chu Ran with a disdainful expression. You were blind for a while, but don't forget what you said. I'll give you three days to learn how to serve. By then, you won't be able to hide. Lin Lang, you're shameless. By then, I'll show you how shameless I can be. After saying this, I reached out and hugged Feng Wang. I walked out of the hall amidst the astonished gazes of the crowd. After leaving the hall, I directly instructed manager Lu to go to the largest sports car sales center in the entire city. As soon as we arrived, we could clearly see rows of sports cars in front of us, looking quite spectacular. Seeing me appear, some discerning salespeople immediately came forward to greet us. But my gaze stopped on a very pure-looking woman. It felt as beautiful as first love. Let him help me to introduce a few cars. Ko Naishin looked as if she had heard a joke. She looked at me disdainfully, not as a salesperson, but as the manager of this store. After speaking, as if afraid of upsetting me, she brought me to four beautiful women and said, take care of this gentleman. My original good mood disappeared in an instant, and I stared coldly at Ko Naishin. Bai Ha next to me couldn't bear to watch. Our young master is here to buy a car from you. That's giving you face, don't all give face. After hearing this, I frowned slightly, and Bai Ha stopped talking. Then I looked at Ko Naishin and said, You said you are the owner of the store. If you can't sell, then I'll buy this store. Can you introduce it to me then? After hearing this, everyone present was stunned for a few seconds, then burst into laughter, and Ko Naishin couldn't help but laugh. What I said was, I want to buy your store and have you as my personal salesperson. Do you understand? Ko Naishin looked at me as if I were a fool. Not to mention how much it costs to buy the store, just the cars in this store alone are worth billions. But the person in front of me is young and doesn't look like a wealthy owner. I dare not say that I know all the rich kids in Beijing, but 80% of them are not bad. 
but I have never seen this person before. Obviously, he is here to make a fool of me. If the gentleman is here to joke and have fun with me, then I'll have to ask you to leave first. After hearing this, several salespeople nearby also came forward to drive me away, but I didn't care at all. Then I took out an exclusive black card and threw it at him. If you think I'm joking, then what's this? I looked at him mischievously. When everyone saw the black card drop to the ground, they were all shocked. Konaishin also held her breath. I provocatively said, pick it up. Konaishin knew that anyone with a black card was either rich or powerful. She immediately squatted down to pick up the black card, looked at me, and then reluctantly lowered her head. I'm sorry, sir. I didn't recognize you. The four salespeople beside her also bowed their heads. In this cutthroat place of Beijing, it's all about who has more money. As long as you have money, nothing is a problem. Ko Naishin is obviously a smart person. It's ridiculous to see her acting obedient now. I'll make you really understand tomorrow. I then turned around. I left the sales center with Feng Huang and Bai Ha. The next morning, I asked Bai Ha to investigate this woman. It turns out Ko Naishin has a backer. It's Wang Yang Ming, one of the four young masters of Beijing. Her father is the founder of the Redwood Group. He drove the entire economy of Beijing. He is a true super rich second generation. But compared to me, he's not even worthy of cleaning my shoes. The most important thing is, Wang Yang Ming is a complete scumbag. There are countless women around him, and Ko Naishin is just one of them. Seeing this, I dialed Wang Yang Ming's number directly. I could hear cursing and grumbling from the other end. What are you calling for so early in the morning? You want to die? His tone on the other end annoyed me. I'll meet Ko Naishin at the sales center in half an hour. If you're one minute late, both the woman and the store will be mine. With that, he hung up the phone directly. Instructing the butler to prepare the car, I left with Feng Wang and the two girls. I was looking forward to what would happen next. Half an hour later, I arrived at the sales center and found a white Porsche parked at the entrance. Meanwhile, Ko Naishin was standing in front of Wang Yang Ming, holding a cup of tea. Seeing Ko Naishin's obedient look, it was quite irritating. How can such a beautiful and outstanding woman serve other men? What a waste. I pushed the door open and shouted loudly, Nai Xian, baby, I'm here. It directly hit Wang Yang Ming, who was drinking tea, and he was scalded by the hot water. Seeing this, the two girls behind me couldn't help but frown. Nai Xian, however, looked flustered. She reached out to help Wang Yang Ming wipe it off. But he pushed her away. Where did you find this wild man? Wang Yang Ming heard about your conflict with Ko Naishin. Directly exploded. Ko Naishin looked at him in distress. He didn't dare to go against the will of the boss, but when he looked at this young man in front of him, he dared even less. Wang Yang Ming naturally noticed it too. I am not an easy target, but in his eyes, I only have a little money, as for the two beauties around me. It made Wang Yang Ming swallow his saliva. Wang Dashao, today I'm here to steal your woman. I didn't ask you to admire my woman. As Feng Wang and Baiha approached him, slap, slap. Five slaps landed hard on Wang Yang Ming's face. Originally infatuated, Wang Yang Ming was completely stunned, about to reach out to curse. But then Feng Huang came from behind, grabbed his finger, and immediately raised a knee. With a cracking sound, the bone broke directly. After about 20 minutes, Wang Yang Ming finally recovered, pointed at you and cursed loudly, you damn well wait for me. Do you have the courage to blurt out your name? I lazily leaned on the sofa, this young master's name is Lin Lang. Wang Yang Ming slowly stood up, I haven't even heard of this name. It couldn't be some little nobody who popped up from somewhere, right? Since you're a little nobody, then behave and tuck your tail between your legs. As soon as the words were spoken, Wang Yang Ming immediately reached out and patted the five bodyguards. Ding Shang rushed over. I want to show you how women in face are won over. Wang Yang Ming's eyes were fierce. He believed that his five bodyguards could easily subdue me. At a command, a person in black clothes attacked me. But what he didn't know was that, the lily by my side is a top 10 assassin in the killer world. In less than a minute, those people were lying on the ground. And when Wang Yangming saw this scene, he almost spat out a mouthful of blood. How is this possible? My five bodyguards are all experts. But it was only a brief surprise. He was full of mockery, after all, he was also a man who had to hide behind a woman. I naturally knew this was provocation, so I leisurely walked up to him. I took out a black card from my pocket. This is the money to buy your home appliances. When Wang Yangming saw the black card, he was stunned in place. How could he have a black card? In the capital, a person with a black card has the lowest status. You ignored this waste and walked out with Ko Naishin and the other two women in your arms. At this moment, you are the real winner in life, and at the same time, you have gained three stunning beauties. 
But when I got home, I just couldn't be happy. Because today is the annual family gathering. All the key members of the family are present. As I walked into the living room, I saw a large group of people sitting on the sofa. They were chatting and laughing, each one dressed in smart suits. As soon as they saw me walk into the room, everyone stood up. Ling Lang, long time no see. You've grown so handsome, they all said, trying to please me. I couldn't help but feel a sense of insincerity. Ignoring them, I walked directly to the only person who hadn't stood up, my own uncle. Despite his strong opposition to me taking over the family business as his junior, I had to go and greet him. My uncle nodded slightly, gesturing for me to sit down. Then, he frowned as he looked at the two people behind me, Feng Wang and Bai Ha. A day at home. Are you both so busy with these things? Looking at Feng Wang and Bai Ha, he said impatiently, Both of you, leave. I need to talk to Ling Lang. Feng Huang and Bai Ha, however, didn't budge. Lin Huai's face immediately darkened. Are my words not effective? I smiled wryly. You two, go and amuse yourselves. As Feng Huang and Bai Ha left, Lin Huai's expression towards me seemed off. My own uncle doesn't even recognize me as his nephew. Are my words effective? How ironic. What have you been up to lately? Is it all about eating, drinking, having fun, and chasing women every day? If the family business is handed over to you, it might not necessarily lead to any trouble. When I heard Lin Huai's words, I really wanted to say, do you think you can take over the company? But I held back. Dad and Grandpa walked out together. When they saw the head of the family come out, everyone stood up, and when Lin Huai saw Grandpa, there was a moment of radiance in his eyes, but it quickly faded. But I saw everything clearly. They sat down after Grandpa spoke. Everyone sat in their respective seats. Just as I was about to sit in my place, Grandpa asked me to sit beside him. I sat down directly after hearing this. Mr. Lin's gaze at me was different from before. Are you satisfied with the two people Grandpa gave you? Anything from Grandpa is satisfactory, I said with a light chuckle, just as everyone was chatting happily. Dad announced on the spot that I would be the family heir. When this news came out, everyone was shocked and my uncle didn't give my dad any face, directly opposing it on the spot. Look at Lin Lang's appearance. What qualifications does he have to inherit the Lin family? I sneered. Don't ask me if I have the ability. Tell me what ability I need. Lin Huai was also in a difficult position at this time. Coldly, he asked, do you understand finance? What does profit mean? Before I could reply, Lin Huai went on and on, asking a bunch of questions, while the others looked at me, as if they were watching a joke. I looked at the people at the scene with a mocking smile, and answered all the questions directly, not only answering correctly. Even the order of the questions was answered as a compensation. Lin Huai looked at me in shock, but I didn't care at all. I stared at Lin Huai intently. I am now capable of inheriting this position. Lin Huai was momentarily at a loss for words. The scene fell silent for a while, about five minutes passed. Lin Huai seemed to have thought through this matter. In the end, he compromised. Seeing Lin Huai compromise, I smiled slightly and agreed to inherit the Lin family. But I thought of inheriting after getting married. At this moment, the way everyone looked at me was no longer that of the little boy from before, but of a capable person. That's the feeling I wanted. I want them to know that I am not just the young master of the Lin family, but also a truly capable head of the household. Grandfather looked at me and nodded in satisfaction. Since you are so capable now, there is something I hope you can handle quickly, Grandfather said seriously. Grandfather looked at me sternly. It's also time to go home. Your sister is having some trouble. I heard she's having some difficulties in her love life. Go and help her out. After hearing this, I didn't hesitate and immediately agreed to grandfather's request. After all, my sister and I grew up playing together. Seven days later, I took Fong and Baiha on the plane. When I arrived in Megwa, it was already evening. As soon as I entered the house, I saw my grandfather sitting on the sofa reading the newspaper. I walked over and sat down next to him. I knew that my grandfather calling me back was definitely not just about my sister. Then, my grandfather, with a serious expression, said, Back then, you didn't have the ability, but I and your father still want to provide you with enough capital, in case there's no one to take care of you a hundred years from now. Last time, I already saw your ability and basic knowledge. So, this time I called you here to see your practical abilities. As my grandfather spoke, he handed me a document. When I took the document and saw the big words on it, I already had a pretty good idea of what this was about. About what this matter was all about. It was a proposal for the acquisition by Weiming Corporation. Weiming Corporation holds a high position in the fashion industry. Their company has many high-end cosmetics and good sales nationwide. When I asked why the acquisition, my grandfather finally revealed. 
The reason for this matter is still my sister, Suzuki. She fell in love with the young master of Weimeng Corporation, Chen Ziqing, according to my understanding. When Suzuki liked Chen Ziqing, she didn't tell him her identity. And although Chen Ziqing was with Suzuki, he had many other love affairs. I walked straight to Suzuki's room. Suzuki was leaning on the bed, looking very down, but when he saw me, his eyes lit up, and he quickly said, You're back. How come you're back? Then he got out of bed, and we sat on the sofa and started chatting. Sis, I heard you've been heartbroken. When Suzuki heard this, he paused for a moment. I ran my hand through my hair, trying to appear calm. Grandpa told you, I nodded, thinking Suzuki would be sad for a while. But to my surprise, he just chuckled lightly. It's not a big deal, I'll just stop contacting him, but I can still see. The loss and bitterness in Suzuki's eyes, and I had already made a decision in my heart. This time, I must avenge my sister. After chatting with Suzuki for a while, I returned to my room, and the next morning, I took Phoenix and Lily out of the house. Young master, where are we going? Lily is very familiar with this area, remembering the basic conditions of every street. I'm going to the biggest casino. According to my investigation, that Chen Ziqing has a hobby of gambling, although it's called a casino. But from the outside, it looks like a tea house, very elegant, a good place to cultivate one's mind. However, I walked straight to the counter. Looking at the waiter, I said, this is their rule. As long as you want to come in, you just need to say a word outside, and you can enter at will, of course, the premise is to check your identity. Although this kind of thing is not very strict abroad, it's not that no one checks. Just as I took out my ID card, the waiter suddenly exclaimed, My name is well known locally, and I saw the waiter open his mouth. But I directly stopped him, and the waiter stared at me blankly as I walked in. He knew that he wanted to keep a low profile here. The most important thing is to shut up because there are some people he can't afford to offend. Then I took the chips and walked into the room. The difference from the outside environment is that, the outside was surrounded by walls made of bamboo, while inside, it was made of gold, looking magnificent. I walked in with Phoenix and Lily in my arms, attracted the attention of many people. A new face here has always been the focus of everyone's attention. But among so many people, I spotted Chun Ziqing at a glance. She was wearing a casual sportswear silver eyes and deep facial features. It gives people a particularly comfortable feeling, and a faint smile unconsciously appeared on her lips. Every word and action is full of gentlemanly demeanor. It looks like that, but deep down, he's a scumbag. But compared to me, he's really not enough. Brother, where are you from? Want to play? After sizing me up, Chen Ziqing then spoke. I pretended to think, but actually, I had been waiting for Chen Ziqing to speak first in my heart. After all, that's more interesting. Thinking of this, I smiled. Chen Dasha, your kindness is hard to refuse. You actually recognize me? Chen Ziqing looked at me in surprise. If he didn't remember wrong, it should be our first meeting. Yes, but I didn't pretend to be ignorant. He, Chen Dasha's reputation precedes him. I know it well. The two of them sat at the table, watching Chen Ziqing shuffle and deal, a series of seamless actions. It makes me look forward to the upcoming showdown, especially since there are fewer people during the day. So wherever there's a new showdown, we'll know all about it. Chen Ziqing is the gambling master here. Naturally, they'll come over to take a look. Soon, there are quite a few onlookers around. Let's place a bet. Guess how many rounds it will take for our young master Chen to make this kid lose all his money. Look at this kid's attire, he doesn't seem to be wealthy. So, three rounds, and he's out. Maybe he'll be out in just one round. Ha, huh, we still need to have some confidence in this young man. I pay no attention to the idle gossip of others just watching Chen Ziqing after she finishes dealing the cards. The two of them then directly took three cards and began to compete. Chen Ziqing was confident throughout, which made the onlookers very curious about what good cards she had. In contrast, me. He seemed more casual, but rather than casual, it was more like foolish. A novice completely out of the loop, understanding nothing. How could he possibly understand the severity of this? It's your turn first, as Chen Ziqing said. Naturally, I didn't hold back. We both started dismantling each other's cards. After we each finished our turns, the onlookers held their breath, and after seeing the size of the cards, burst into laughter. See, what did I tell you? This kid is completely useless. Yeah, he doesn't know how to play at all. Ah, it's a waste of time. When they said that, Chen Ziqing glanced at me. What do you say, bro, should we continue? But if you don't know how to play, I can go easy on you a little. When you learn to play, we can start for real. When I heard this, I already knew about Chen Ziqing's arrogance. It's only the first round, and Chen Ziqing can say this. I don't know who gave him the courage. 
But I don't feel sorry at all, I just threw a few chips directly on the table. Then let's have Chen Dashao teach us a lot, looking at the chips on the table. Everyone took a cold breath. The number of chips is even more than the previous round. They never thought I had such a big nerve. And from my appearance, I look like a poor guy, pretending to be rich. The more I lose, the harder I cry. They've seen this kind of thing a lot. They can tell I'm this kind of person. The game is still going on, I haven't won a single round, losing every round. And the chips for each round are more than the last. After three hours, it's even reached a billion for one round. They are no longer calm. What the heck is this? How is this possible? This guy is a hidden second generation rich. He can't be a fool, right? Even Chen Ziqing from the Rao family is a bit unsettled seeing this. Looking at me in front of you, asking, this is a 10 billion bet. If you regret it now, there's still time. The audience on the side even dare not to breathe, waiting for my answer. After all, this is an unprecedented game for them. I have no regrets. Hearing these words, in the hearts of ordinary people, they don't know whether to feel regret or secretly delighted. I am really foolish, don't know when to stop, and most importantly, I'm still losing. But I still agreed to the bet. And secretly delighted are those who have been gambling for so long. But it's the first time they've seen such a big game. Chen Ziqing heard this news, a hint of surprise flashed in her eyes, her face full of confidence. Then let's begin, I nodded and started, a bit cautiously, because this 10 billion is my last money. In these three hours, I have unknowingly lost several hundred billion. But because it was all given away, I didn't feel much. This last money, if I'm going to play, I'll play big. I looked at the cards in front of me. I nodded in satisfaction, but this action looked foolish to others. Because this time I still lost, Chen Dashao won again. Congratulations to Chen Dashao for winning against this fool. This big fool actually had so much money, but didn't expect to lose it all in three hours. Did you win the lottery? And then became a nouveau riche. Laughter filled the scene, even the phoenix and lily standing behind them. Both couldn't help but laugh. Young master, what's wrong with you? You used to be so clever. Why do you seem to have turned into a fool now? Even if you're really foolish, it's impossible to lose every round, right? Little brother, don't be too sad. Winning and losing in a casino is normal. But considering that you've played with me for so long today, we can be friends. When I have money in the future, I'll interrupt Chen Ziqing and play another round. Oh, Chen Ziqing looks stunned. Clearly, she didn't expect me to say such a thing. I waited for Chen Ziqing's smile. So, this is the last round. After saying that, Chen Ziqing whispered, but you don't have any chips left. What do you want to bet with me? Hearing this, I shifted my gaze to the phoenix and lily behind me. You can see that they are both. These two beauties of mine are both top-notch, and they serve people very well. I said it in a veiled way, but Chen Ziqing understood my meaning. When Phoenix heard this, her face immediately turned dark. And Lily also looked at me with a look of grievance. Chen Ziqing saw this scene and felt itchy inside. From the moment they came in, he had already noticed Phoenix and Lily, but he never expected that I would use them as chips. Now, Chen Ziqing's mood instantly changed. This time it's much more fun than the one billion bet just now. Even the onlookers shook their heads. It's really crazy. Betting on his own woman? This round is definitely a loss. If he wins, we'll kneel down and call him dad. Young Master Chen, let's agree first. If I win this round, you'll return all my money. And an additional 10 billion. If I lose, how about my two women for you? At first listen, it doesn't sound like a good deal, but based on my performance in the last three hours, Chen Ziqing almost doesn't need to think and immediately agrees. After all, someone who has been losing all along, how could they possibly win? The final round determines the winner. The onlookers are even more nervous than me. But looking at my lazy appearance, it doesn't seem like I'm gambling seriously at all. The two people standing behind, Feng Huang and Bai Ha, looked at each other, full of shyness. Why would they have such a cruel injury? Using them directly as stakes, as the cards are revealed, everyone's hair stood on end for a moment. The scene fell silent for a few seconds, then deafening cries of disbelief erupted. How is this possible? Chen Ziqing couldn't believe it either. I reached out and looked at the cards, but in the end, I didn't see anything. No one present believed that I would be the ultimate winner, but the fact is right in front of them. But they had to believe it. My goodness, am I blind? It's actually this little brother who won. The atmosphere at the scene was difficult to control for a while. Even Chen Ziqing slumped in place. Can't believe the current situation at all. Phoenix and Lily looked at each other again, their eyes filled with smiles, and the suspended hearts finally let go. You're cheating, and Chen Ziqing still can't believe it. How could a gambling master lose to a novice? The cards are yours, but someone else shuffled them. How can I cheat? 
If you can't afford to play fair, you don't have to give me 10 billion, I'll let you off. I smiled foolishly and looked at Chen Ziqing with an extremely mocking look. How could proud Chen Ziqing agree? She immediately looked at me and said, what can't I afford to play? These are your original chips. Here's 10 billion, he said, placing them directly in front of me. But from what I know, Chen Ziqing only has this 10 billion in funds. This is still to maintain the operation of Weimeng Group. Once the funds are exhausted, the consequences will be disastrous. Thinking of this, I chuckled and said, since I've settled the account with young Master Chen, we should settle our accounts too. I turned to the onlookers behind me and grinned. I heard someone say that if I won, they'd eat sh asterisk t. How about fulfilling the promise now? Don't push your luck, little brother. I said, squinting, and then I saw someone coming from a distance. Chen, why are you sitting on the ground? Get up, Shu Yu. What brings you here? I heard you were gambling here, so I came to take a look, Shu Yu said, looking around. How's it going? But before the conversation is over, I saw myself sitting in the chair and looking at where Chen Ziqing and I were sitting. Having guessed roughly, Shu Yu walked directly to my side, with a big smile on his face. Lin, what a coincidence. How did we run into Mr. Lin here? Chen Ziqing was just about to say something. Upon hearing this name, his breathing quickened, and he was a bit afraid to believe his own thoughts, fearing that he couldn't bear the consequences. The young master from the neighboring family, Shu Yu, answered proudly, as if he was already his husband, and sat consciously in my arms. Chen Ziqing shook her head frantically. It's not Mr. Lin, I said as I stood up. You said you are Mr. Lin. So, you are Mr. Lin? I might as well claim to be your grandfather. Are you sure I'm not? I said, taking out my phone to call my grandfather, to see if your phone rings. A deep, old voice came from the other end. After hearing this, the people present might not believe it, but they had to, as they knew who it was upon hearing the voice. Chen Ziqing was almost scared to death, her body couldn't help but tremble. Grandpa, there's someone here, she said, not finishing her sentence. Chen Ziqing immediately snatched the phone and said, Mr. Lin, hello, hello. I'm with Lin Lang now. I called because I missed you. I hope I'm not disturbing you. Hearing this, I couldn't help but roll my eyes. After Chen Ziqing finished the call, she handed me the phone. I was just mistaken, Mr. Lin. Please forgive me and don't bother with someone like me. Seeing his sincerity, I felt much better and didn't bother with him anymore. Instead, I turned to look at everyone. Come on, all of you, kneel down, kowtow, and call me father. After hearing this sentence, Chen Ziqing immediately flattered, Dad. Seeing his sincerity, after losing 10 billion to himself, Lin Chen's mood was quite good, and he no longer cared about it. About three minutes passed, and Lin Chen watched them for three minutes. By the fourth minute, Lin Chen was a bit uninterested. Boringly rubbing his head, he said, Okay, since you are not true to your word, treating what you just said as nonsense, then I have no choice, but... Lin Chen looked at everyone present, you will bear the consequences. After saying this, everyone on the scene believed that Lin Chen would definitely follow through with his words. Lin Chen still remembered the most offensive things they said to him in the afternoon, whoever called him an idiot, he could remember it clearly. No one in front of him could escape. Just as he was about to continue speaking, he heard someone speak up directly, I'll eat, I'll eat. Then, he prepared something himself and started eating. For a moment, the whole room smelled unpleasant. Lin Chen covered his nose and couldn't help but admire the person in front of him, a real man. However, Lin Chen's gaze swept to another person, who trembled slightly and quickly said, I'll do it too. The person directly brought over a woman. Soon, some strange things happened in the room. One person ate feces, and another engaged in intimate activities. TSK TSK Lin Chen couldn't help but speak, in the future, you can eat recklessly, but words cannot be spoken carelessly. I'll let you off the hook today. Actually, it wasn't that Lin Chen was being merciful, but he just couldn't bear to watch anymore. Upon hearing this, the two immediately felt relieved. When they saw Lin Chen leaving, they immediately fainted. Young Master Lin, take me with you. Xu Yu saw Lin Chen leaving and hurriedly followed. She reached out and linked her arm with Lin Chen's, brushing against him as if by accident. Young Master Lin, just take me with you, I can serve you better than your two maids. Upon hearing this, Lin Chen frowned, be less affectionate in the future. With that, he directly hugged Feng Wang and Baiha and left. Xu Yu stood in place, her face turning red and green, 
feeling extremely embarrassed. Lin Chen's mood today was naturally very good, not only did he complete the system's task, but he also earned an extra 10 billion. Thinking about this, Lin Chen snapped his fingers and patted Feng Wan's buttocks. How about it, am I handsome or not? Handsome. Feng Wang finally understood the purpose of Lin Chen's actions just now. It was to first break the enemy's psychological defense line, then strike to win, it was brilliant. Lin Chen naturally saw the ripples in Feng Wang's heart, but he just remained calm on the surface. Young master, young master, Bai Ha finds you more and more handsome, Bai Ha really likes you. Upon hearing this, Lin Chen kissed Bai Ha on the lips. Let's go. I'll take you to the next place. The next show will be even more exciting. Lin Chen's next plan was to use the media for exposure. However, this time, the exposure was not just about Chun Ziqing's gambling. After all, he loved to gamble, and most people in the circle knew that. But no one knew about the scandal. Just as the three of them stood at the window, by his mouth couldn't help but twitch. Young master, are you saying that taking us to the next place is to peep on others? Feng Wan was also helpless, thinking that there would be some big move next, but unexpectedly, it turned out to be peeping. And Lin Chen made peeping sound so elegant and refined. No, we are here to investigate, the reporters know, they are with us. Bai Ha softly spoke, those are paparazzi. Before she could finish her sentence, she saw Lin Chen glaring at her, she immediately covered her mouth, pretending she hadn't said anything however, looking at Lin Chen's eyes, it was full of admiration. Because Chen Ziqing has already taken a woman home now, and it is the woman who came to flatter Lin Chen today, Xu Yu. Seeing this, Lin Chen appeared very excited, it seems that this time's information will be even more explosive. From outside, everything inside the room could be clearly seen. Lin Chen took out his phone, focused, and started filming. The whole process of the two people's intimacy was all captured on Lin Chen's phone. When he finished watching Chen Ziqing's last move, he smiled with joy. He clapped his hands and said, mission accomplished. Now, there is only one final step left. That is to upload it to the internet. Lin Chen took out his phone and quickly completed all the necessary steps. Then, he took a deep breath of fresh air and went home with Feng Wang and Bai Ha. Just as they arrived home, they sat on the sofa and played with their phones until it was time for dinner. Having dinner together today were Lin Lao, Lin Xu, and Lin Mu. Langer, where did you go today? I didn't see you all day, Lin Xu asked Lin Chen after serving Lin Lao. Looking at Lin Chen's eyes, besides indulgence, there was only love left. He was his only son and the future successor. In the past, he didn't cultivate him well because he didn't think Lin Chen was capable. But when he saw Lin Chen at the family gathering, Lin Xu realized that he had misjudged him. Dad, I went out to take care of some things today, and then just played around, Lin Chen said, looking at Lin Lao on the side, hesitated for a moment, and then continued, Grandpa, I've taken care of everything you asked me to do. Please wait for good news tomorrow morning. Seeing the grandfather and grandson playing dumb riddles, Lin Xu didn't ask much, just ate with his head down. Early the next morning, Lin Chen opened his phone, connected to the internet, and a flood of news notifications began. Shocking. The famous Weimeng company's young owner Chen Ziqing is gambling. Chen Ziqing abuses a woman in the middle of the night, is it a moral decline or legal injustice? Weimeng company's young owner causes trouble, stock prices plummet. Weimeng company's internal chaos, leaderless. Seeing these messages, Lin Chen smirked. This was just the beginning, after all, the real downfall would have to be orchestrated by his sister. Lin Chen knocked on Lin Mu's room, and as soon as he walked in, Lin Mu handed him the phone to show him. Did you do this? For a moment, it was hard to tell if Lin Mu's expression was angry or happy. However, Lin Chen had the ability to see the truth, and he could clearly see what was on Lin Mu's mind. It seemed that his sister had not completely let go of this relationship yet. But all of this was not important, feelings would eventually fade. And now, it was time for his sister to announce something directly at the board meeting. Sis, come with me, trust your little brother. Lin Mu looked at Lin Chen with a puzzled look, and Lin Chen could tell that his sister thought he was crazy. How could she think that? Lin Chen would never allow it. 
Sis, I'm not crazy, I'm here today to help you take down that bastard Chen Ziqing, trust me, you can do it. Lin Mu looked at Lin Chen as if he were looking at a fool, after thinking for about a minute, she slowly sat down in front of the dressing table to put on makeup. That's right, just like this, dress up beautifully, make that jerk regret it. Lin Mu was already very beautiful, even without makeup, there were no flaws on her face. Lin Chen watched her put on makeup for over half an hour, and when she finished, his heart rate increased significantly. Wow, sis, you look really beautiful, Lin Chen couldn't help but say. When Lin Mu heard this, she smiled and didn't say anything more walking into the closet, taking out clothes, and looking at Lin Chen who was still standing aside. Lin Chen was puzzled, what's wrong, sis, don't you know which clothes to wear? No. Just as Lin Chen was about to ask Lin Mu what she wanted to do, he heard Lin Mu's next words. I want you to go out because I need to change clothes. Oh, okay. Lin Chen felt a bit awkward for a moment, touched his head, and quickly left the room. When Lin Mu came out, he subconsciously swallowed. If saliva really came out, it would be really embarrassing. So beautiful. At the shareholders' meeting of Weimeng Enterprise, Chen Ziqing's father, Chen Xiaozhong, sat directly in the chairman's seat and glared at Chen Ziqing. Then he looked at the seats below, frowning, what's going on, wasn't there a meeting scheduled? Where did everyone go? Seeing Chen Xiaozhong so angry, Chen Ziqing tried to mediate, Dad, let's not worry about them for now, let's start the meeting first. Oomph, you have some sense. With that, he looked at the directors who were originally eight but now only three remained, and sighed. Everyone knows that Weimeng Enterprise is something we all built together. Now that our company is facing difficulties, we want everyone to think of solutions together. Saying that, Chen Xiaozhong suddenly looked much older, stood up, and bowed to everyone. Regardless of the outcome of our discussion, I want to apologize first. It's my fault for not teaching my son well, which led to the current situation of our Weimeng Enterprise. I'm sorry. The three sensible ones remained silent, seemingly waiting for something. However, soon a hurried voice entered their ears. Sorry for being late. Then, the door of the meeting room opened. Chen Xiaozhong still had his head down, but when he saw the red high heels and black shoes, he immediately looked up. Oh, General Chen, I just arrived, and you're bowing to me already. I really can't bear it, can't bear it. The arrivals were Lin Chen and Lin Mu. The three directors present stood up to show respect when they saw Lin Chen arrive. Only Chen Ziqing stood there foolishly, staring blankly, thinking he must have seen something wrong. His ex-girlfriend was actually standing with Lin Chen from the Lin family. What is their relationship? Are they lovers? What is Lin Chen's purpose for coming today? Is it for revenge? Chen Ziqing suddenly found it hard to breathe for a moment, feeling unable to accept this fact. But all he could hear was Lin Chen's light snort, you ask so many questions, I'll answer them one by one. What, what questions? The people present were a bit confused, and following Lin Chen's gaze towards Chen Ziqing, did Chen Ziqing speak? Chen Xiaozhong was completely puzzled about what was happening and could only watch quietly. First, let me introduce. Myself, of course, everyone here except General Chen should already know. Lin, Lin Chen. Chen Xiaozhong's mind went blank for a moment, Lin? It's actually Lin. Why is the Lin family involved in today's board meeting? Lin Chen seemed to ignore Chen Xiaozhong's surprise completely and continued, This beautiful lady next to me is my sister, Lin Mu. What? Chen Ziqing couldn't hold back for a moment, shocked, he bit his tongue and squatted on the ground screaming. He never expected that his ex-girlfriend turned out to be Lin Mu. The jewel in the Lin family's palm. If he had known Lin Mu's identity earlier, he would have cherished her like a treasure. As long as they got married, once they got married, wouldn't their Weimeng enterprise have a solid foundation? Lin Mu saw all of this, and for some reason, in an instant when she saw Chen Ziqing's reaction, she felt her own feelings were quite funny. It was almost ironic to the extreme. Lin Chen reached out and held Lin Mu's hand, and the two smiled at each other. Since Chen Ziqing had hurt his sister, today he would bring his sister in step on Chen Ziqing, rubbing it in fiercely. It was okay to bully him, but bullying his sister was absolutely not allowed. Now that you all know who we are, 
let me tell you about our new identities. We own 45% of Weimeng Enterprise in my sister's hands. Boom! Chen Xiaozhang's mind was once again blown. 45% of Weimeng Enterprise's shares, that was 45% of the shares. Even he himself only had 40% of the shares. And that was the empire he had painstakingly built. And now, Lin Chen had obtained 45% of the shares in a short period of time. He finally understood why the directors didn't show up today. It seemed that everything today was thanks to Lin Chen. Please, have a seat. Lin Chen said, pulling Lin Mu to sit next to Chen Xiaozhong, which was originally Chen Ziqing's seat. But now, Chen Ziqing had been pushed to the back. Today, let me briefly mention a few points. First, the company is on the verge of collapse, and only I can save you, so the chairman of the company must be replaced. What, replaced? Chen Xiaozhong thought he had misheard for a moment, but when he saw Lin Chen nodding affirmatively, he immediately retorted. It's impossible, it's impossible to replace me, Weimeng Enterprise is something I built from scratch. I won't hand it over to you no matter what. Hearing this, Lin Chen smirked, if that's the case, don't blame me for using force. It is clearly stated in the company's shareholder agreement that when someone holds shares equal to or higher than the chairman's shares, a replacement can be made. But the premise is that more than half of the directors must agree, this is the contract you drafted, do you remember? Chen Xiaozhong struggled to speak, oh, you don't need to remember, I've read it out for you now. Let's vote now. Those in favor of Lin Mu becoming the new chairman of the company, please raise your hand. Soon, all three directors raised their hands, and seeing this, Chen Xiaozhong's cheeks turned red with anger. You, you. Chairman, we chose based on your abilities, one of the directors explained. Yes, Mr. Chen, our company is in this state now, so it's better to change the chairman. Mr. Chen, step down. Hearing the words of the three of them, Chen Ziqing stood up in anger. You three know nothing. Without my dad, would you have the wealth you have today? Without my dad, would you have such high positions? Without my dad, would you have such a good life? Faced with Chen Ziqing's questioning, Lin Mu quietly said, but if it weren't for you, Weimeng Enterprise wouldn't be in its current situation. You? Chen Ziqing pointed at Lin Mu, but couldn't say a word for a long time. Because he saw that Lin Mu's eyes were no longer so innocent and full of love. His heart inexplicably stung a bit. Seeing this situation, Lin Chen quickly spoke, All right, since it's a unanimous decision, I announce that Lin Mu is officially the chairman of Weimeng Enterprise. After that, he looked at Chen Xiaozhong and said softly, Mr. Chen, please step down. Lin Mu sat in her seat and said, Weimeng Enterprise will be renamed Qing Mu Group starting today. I specifically want to say that the Aoki Group does not belong to the Lin family's business, the two are not related at all so if someone wants to sell shares, I will naturally buy them at a high price. Buy them at a high price. Yes, yes, do you have that intention? No, I am willing to follow Mr. Lin. After a discussion among the people below, they all came to one conclusion. Not for sale. Lin Mu smirked, she had expected this answer. So she continued, furthermore, starting today, the Aoki Group will change its business development field. Specifically, I will quickly put together a plan, and you will follow the plan directly. After finishing, she glanced coldly, does anyone have any other opinions? I have an opinion. Chen Ziqing stood up directly, looking at Lin Mu. His eyes were full of anger, but he suppressed it forcefully. What if I don't agree to you becoming the chairman of Weimeng Enterprise? After saying this, Lin Mu casually ran her hand through her hair, her words as cold as ice, devoid of any human. Warmth, the Aoki group is not a subsidiary of the Lin family, but I am also the jewel in the palm of the Lin family. This statement was already a blatant threat. No matter what, no one could compete with the Lin family, so even if they disagreed, they had to agree. Chen Ziqing was forcibly silenced and couldn't say a word, just looking at Chen Xiaozhong's grim face, he knew his days ahead would not be easy. Mu Mu, wait for me. Lin Chen and Lin Mu were about to leave the company, but were stopped by Chen Ziqing. Young Master Lin, I just need a few minutes to talk to Mu Mu, just a few minutes. His tone was full of pleading. Langer, wait for me in the car. 
OK. Lin Chen nodded. Lin Mu and Chen Ziqing walked to the street opposite the company, she sat directly on a bench, looking at Chen Ziqing in front of her. Before, when she looked at Chen Ziqing, she thought he was a humorous and witty person. But now, all she felt was disgust and sarcasm, she felt like she had been blind in the past. If you have something to say, say it quickly. Lin Mu didn't want to have any interaction with the person in front of her, let alone say another word to him. If it weren't for their past relationship, she would never have come here alone with him. Mumu, I know I was wrong, I was confused at that time, I had no idea what I was doing. He seemed to remember something, his eyes widened, he grabbed Lin Mu's clothes desperately, his tone urgent, I was set up that night, can you forgive me, I know I was wrong now, please. Chen Ziqing was about to kneel down in front of Lin Mu, but she stopped him directly. Huh, I saw it with my own eyes, what's the point of saying these things now? No, it's not like that, I actually love you, I have always loved you, you have to believe me. Hearing this, Lin Mu didn't want to waste any more time with the person in front of her. I'm leaving, take care of yourself. With that, Lin Mu pushed Chen Ziqing away and left without looking back. She knew that if she had revealed her identity earlier and dated Chen Ziqing, everything would not have ended up like this. But she had always been low-key and hadn't used her real name in relationships. Otherwise, she wouldn't have known what kind of person Chen Ziqing really was. Thinking of this, she couldn't help but feel lucky. Fortunately, things had come to an end here. Back in the car, Lin Chen glanced at Lin Mu, and when he saw that there was no trace of sadness in her eyes, he reached out and rubbed her head. This is my sister, it's not worth it to be so upset over a man. Lin Mu glared at Lin Chen, you messed up my hair. In front of Lin Chen, Lin Mu didn't care about her image at all, let alone her hairstyle, Lin Chen naturally knew, after rubbing his hands a few times, he spoke up, sis, you need to be careful with Chen Ziqing in the future. What if he uses all kinds of means to pursue you, and you can't resist for a moment, and end up back with him, what will you do? Thinking of this, Lin Chen shook his head directly, full of helplessness. Do you think I'm that foolish? Am I? Lin Mu pretended to be angry and looked at Lin Chen. Lin Chen just chuckled and immediately surrendered, no, no, my sister is so smart, how could she fall for it again? Hearing this, Lin Mu nodded happily. Then she looked at him, but how did you handle these things? You used to be a person without skills. Hearing this, Lin Chen looked at Lin Mu, wow, your little brother used to be Loki, but now it's all for you that I'm showing off. Ha ha. The two chatted all the way back home. After returning home, Lin Chen went to Lin Lao's room. After reporting the matter, Lin Lao looked at Lin Chen with eyes full of satisfaction. Well, well done, I thought it would take you 10 days or half a month to complete, but in just two days, you did it directly. And you did it very well. After receiving Lin Lao's praise, Lin Chen remained modest, it's all thanks to grandpa's good teaching. If grandpa hadn't taught me at that time, if grandpa hadn't given me this opportunity, I wouldn't have achieved what I have now. Lin Chen said with a smile, and Lin Lao pointed at his head, you, you know how to talk. All right, you've almost finished things here. If you want to go back to the country, then go. Lin Lao thought for a moment, then continued, Things here are all good, your father and I are holding the fort here for now. Once you've had enough fun, come back soon to inherit the Lin family. Okay, thank you, Grandpa. Lin Shen had long wanted to return to the country. Speaking foreign languages here was really uncomfortable, without speaking Mandarin smoothly. So after getting Lin Lao's approval, he told Lin Mu and Lin Xu, and then took Phoenix and Lily, and flew back to the country. Phoenix, how do you feel about this trip abroad? Do you have any thoughts? Phoenix didn't expect Lin Chen to ask this question directly, thought for a long time, and didn't know how to answer. So she simply shook her head, no. And Lily? Lin Chen knew Phoenix would answer like this, so he didn't press her further. Wow, young master, you're really handsome, really, my young master is super handsome. Lin Chen squinted his eyes and could see Lily's affection for him. Which was already at 100%. This progress was really fast. Stop right there. A loud shout made Lin Chen forget what he was going to say next, and he frowned, looking ahead. 
He could see a ragged man running desperately ahead, with a female police officer in uniform chasing after him. A female police officer behind. She looked very outstanding, with a petite figure and wearing a police uniform, which made Lin Chen feel a warm sensation below. At this moment, Lin Chen could only think of a song lyric, Running with the wind, freedom is the direction, chasing the power of thunder and lightning. Stop. Lin Chen was thinking of the lyrics when the man ahead ran directly towards him. Oh my god. Lin Chen was about to dodge, but according to the current situation, no matter how he dodged, it seemed he couldn't avoid it. Get out of the way, don't block the road. Lin Chen was about to help the female police officer, but heard her voice. What? Don't block the road? She actually thought Lin Chen was blocking the road, Lin Chen squinted his eyes, and in the moment when the man ran towards him, he suddenly reached out and grabbed him. Let go of me, do you want to die? The man said, pulling out a dagger and glaring fiercely at Lin Chen. However, Lin Chen was not afraid at all. He reached out to block the dagger that was about to strike and said, Brother, give it up. Save some face. With that, he pushed the man away, giving him a boost. Thanks, bro. The man ran off again desperately, with more police officers chasing after him. A young policewoman stopped in front of Lin Chen, her face full of hatred, as if he had stolen two million from her. What are you doing? Why did you let go after catching him? Do you know I can charge you with obstruction? The young policewoman said, rolling up her sleeves as if to arrest Lin Chen. But Lily, who was standing nearby, stepped in to stop her, saying, Miss, you can't say that. Lily's eyes, for a moment, no longer looked innocent and cute, but turned cold and fierce, locking eyes with the young policewoman as if sparks were flying between them. Seeing this, Lin Chen calmly explained, Yeah, how can you police officers act like this? You're slandering me, you know. Upon hearing Lin Chen's words, the young policewoman immediately became unsettled, looking at him and questioning him with a raised chin, All right, tell me, how did I slander you? Lin Chen looked aggrieved, I was originally planning to help you catch the culprit, but when you told me not to get in the way, I thought you were role-playing, so I let go and let the little culprit escape. You? The young policewoman was about to explode. However, seeing Lin Chen's genuinely aggrieved expression, she didn't know what to do. What's wrong with me? Come with me to the police station, she said, grabbing Lin Chen and walking away. But Lily reached out and stopped her again, can the police just take someone away like that? Hey hey hey, Lily, let go. I'm a good citizen, as long as this young policewoman doesn't regret it later. Lin Chen couldn't help but want to see how the young policewoman would beg him to leave the police station later. With that in mind, he unconsciously smirked and looked into the young policewoman's eyes, slightly raising an eyebrow, right? Humph, first of all, I won't regret it. Secondly, my name is Hu Tao, not young policewoman. Lastly, come with me to the police station, no more nonsense. After Hu Tao finished speaking sternly, she seemed afraid that Lily would interfere, so she added, obstructing police work will get you both arrested. Lin Shen looked at Lily and said, you don't have to follow me. Go home, I'll go have a cup of tea and come back. But. Behave, be good. With that, he followed Hu Tao. Before leaving, Lin Shen couldn't help but wink at Phoenix and Lily. Seeing this, Hu Tao immediately pushed Lin Shen into the car and didn't allow him to say another word. In the car, Lin Shen looked at Hu Tao, who had been silent the whole time, and roughly guessed what she was worried about. Don't worry, we'll catch the culprit. Catch your head, yes, with your help, we will definitely catch him. Hearing this, Lin Chen found it exceptionally cute. Just as he was about to reach out and pat Hu Tao's head, she stopped him. Stop your hand, I can accuse you of sexual harassment. Threats? Lin Chen was least afraid of threats. With that, he shifted his position slightly, getting closer to Hu Tao. This time, instead of patting her head, he directly wrapped his arm around her slender waist. It wasn't very soft, but it was quite elastic, making Lin Chen couldn't help but let out a low hum. Ah! Lin Chen's cry was heart-wrenching. I warn you, if you make any more moves, I will make sure you don't leave the police station. Hu Tao's face turned red, but she still looked at Lin Chen seriously, threatening him Lin Chen squinted his eyes, but he couldn't see what he wanted to see. 
This made him very puzzled. Hu Tao saw Lin Chen calm down for a while before letting go of him. System, why can't I use my perspective anymore? Since obtaining the true vision I, he had only used the perspective once, and it stopped working later on. What kind of deceitful trick is this? Host, because your points are pitiful, you can only obtain the skill of true vision I. As for how well the skill can perform, it still requires further point investment. Upon hearing this, Lin Chen was so angry that he wanted to kill the system for deceiving him into spending so many points, only to be able to detect people's inner thoughts now? Host, you can kill the system, but please think twice. The survival of the system determines the life and death of the host's soul. Threats, blatant threats. Fine, Lin Chen won't play along with him. Finally arriving at the police station, Lin Chen had just walked in and sat directly on the sofa. Hu Tao looked at Lin Chen and sarcastically said, You have a diligent but, did they make you sit down? After this question, Lin Chen crossed his legs and said, No, but I'm tired and I want to sit. Otherwise, are you going to kick me out of the police station? You. Upon hearing this, Hu Tao was very angry, but she suppressed her anger. Just as she was about to say something, she saw someone coming in from the door, escorting the culprit. The two locked eyes for a moment, and the culprit walked directly to Lin Chen, looking guilty. Brother, I'm sorry, I didn't give face to us men. A group of police officers looked at the two of them, their eyes filled with confusion. What kind of relationship is this, why do they seem confused? Not to mention them, even Lin Chen was confused. The little culprit was completely digging his own grave. If he now says he doesn't know this little culprit, who would believe him? No one. Is this catching an accomplice? The police officers began to speculate, grabbing the culprit and taking him away. However, before the culprit left, he apologized to Lin Chen again, Brother, I'm sorry. Go to hell. Lin Chen's temper flared up instantly. What kind of operation is this? Blatant slander. Hu Tao, who had not thought they were accomplices before, now had to suspect whether they were accomplices. Hu Tao looked at Lin Chen seriously and said, You, come with me for questioning. Lin Chen followed Hu Tao to the interrogation room, and as soon as he entered, he observed the surroundings. Hmm, not bad. Hu Tao was almost speechless, wondering if he was being interrogated or just visiting. She slapped the table and said, Quiet, this is an interrogation. Oh, okay. Lin Chen sat in the chair opposite her. Name. Lin Chen. Upon hearing this name, Hu Tao's hand holding the pen paused, and she looked at him with a puzzled and surprised expression. But then she chuckled lightly and continued to ask, Age. 18. Home address. Why, little policewoman, are you coming to my house in the middle of the night? Welcome. Be serious. Why were you at the airport? Hu Tao decided not to ask for the address and moved on to the next question. Of course, to return to my country. Where did you go? Megua. What did you do there? Go home. From what she could see, Lin Chen seemed to have no problems, but Hu Tao was still uneasy, her eyes filled with caution as she looked at Lin Chen. What's your relationship with the culprit? Upon hearing this question, Lin Chen was truly at a loss for words. I have no relationship with him, I already explained that to you. By the way, if you don't believe me, I can explain it to you again. Saying this, Lin Chen was about to continue explaining, but Hu Tao stopped him. You don't have to say anything. Just tell me how you can prove that you don't know the murderer. Hearing this question, Lin Chen was helpless. Then prove to me how you don't know me? If possible, Hu Tao really wanted to punch the person in front of her. After coming out of the interrogation room, Hu Tao saw Lin Chen's attitude of not taking the police station seriously, which really made her furious. According to regulations, without evidence, she could only detain him here for 24 hours. Instead of spending 24 hours here getting angry, it would be better to let Lin Chen leave early. With that in mind, Hu Tao looked at Lin Chen and said impatiently, All right, you can leave now. It's easy to ask the gods, but hard to send them away. Lin Chen was not leaving today. What? Why not leave? 
why do you want to stay here? Hu Tao was now feeling a bit incredulous, thinking that the person in front of her must be crazy. It was the first time she had seen someone come to the police station and not want to leave. She was really afraid she might lose her temper and act directly. However, before Hu Tao could act, she saw Lin Chen make the first move. Lin Chen reached out and grabbed Hu Tao's hand, saying, Let's go, I'll take you to eat something, maybe you won't be angry anymore. Hu Tao dodged his hand, but was still caught by Lin Chen. What do you want, Lin Chen? Tell me, what do you want, I'll try to satisfy you. Why do you want to satisfy me? Can you satisfy me in that way too? What? Hu Tao was stunned, and only after understanding what Lin Chen meant did she react to his words. Hu Tao was so angry that she felt like she was about to explode. She had been a police officer for so many years and had never encountered such a difficult person. What do you want in order to leave here? Horror. Tone was on the verge of collapse as she looked at Lin Chen sitting on the sofa, clenching her fists. Lin Chen picked up a cup of tea from the table and drank it, saying, Hmm, Westlake Longjing, not bad. Then he observed Hu Tao's face turning black with anger before speaking directly, You want me to leave? It's simple. With that, he snapped his fingers, Just let me kiss you, just one kiss, and I'll leave immediately. What a joke. Hu Tao was a police officer, not a prostitute. How could she agree to such an unreasonable request? Looking at Lin Chen, she directly refused. And Lin Chen naturally knew Hu Tao's answer. He had originally planned to make Hu Tao his maid, but after checking the system rating, he abandoned that idea. However, he could still have those maids play some role-playing games. Thinking of this, Lin Chen's mood improved a lot, and he looked at Hu Tao with a mocking expression. There were not many people who could get him into the police station, and since Hu Tao had let him in, she had to have enough ability to send him out. Otherwise, he wouldn't show any mercy. Seeing Hu Tao getting very angry, she looked at Lin Chen helplessly. Fine, since you don't want to leave, then stay here. Okay. And so, Lin Chen stayed here for a day, ordering takeout when hungry, and lying on the sofa to sleep after eating, enjoying his time. Hu Tao was furious but couldn't do anything about him. Are you going to leave or not? Hu Tao couldn't help but walk over and shout directly at Lin Chen. Not leaving. But I need to have my butler come over to bring me some clothes. With that, he lazily stretched and looked particularly relaxed. Okay, then you wait. Butler Lu was very fast. When he heard that Lin Chen had entered the police station, he rushed over in a hurry. My young master, how did you get in here? Butler Lu looked at Lin Chen and, seeing that there was nothing wrong with him, felt a little relieved. But still looking around and not seeing any police officers, he was quite curious. I have been wronged. Lin Chen only said this sentence, then directly took off his clothes and put on new ones. Just as Lin Chen finished changing, the steward Lu was about to ask about the situation when he saw someone appearing at the door. The head of the police station, Ma Tao. Ma Tao saw the steward Lu and was startled, immediately greeted him, Oh, Lu Lao, what brings you here, what wind blew you here? Hu Tao followed beside Ma Tao, feeling a bit uncomfortable seeing Ma Tao's obsequious manner. However, when she saw the so-called Lu Lao standing next to Lin Chen and remembered what Lin Chen had just said to her. If she wasn't mistaken, this Lu Lao was Lin Chen's steward. And judging by Ma Tao's level of respect for Lu Lao, then Lin Chen's identity. Thinking of this, Hu Tao couldn't help but shiver slightly, she couldn't be this unlucky. The steward Lu nodded slightly when he saw Ma Tao. My young master has been arrested and I came to inquire about the situation. Upon hearing this, Ma Tao was terrified. The steward Lu was well known in the capital, everyone knew he was from the Lin family, but what they didn't expect was that the young master of the Lin family was also here. What? Young master Lin is here? Ma Tao's eyes immediately fell on Lin Chen sitting on the sofa, and he was shocked. Seeing Lin Chen on the sofa, he greeted him, Hello, Ma Tao. Oh, young master Lin, how did you get in? Tell me, I want to see which little brat has no eyes. Upon hearing this, Lin Chen smiled and looked at Hu Tao standing beside him, then couldn't help but smirk. It's the lovely little beauty behind you. 
Upon hearing this, Ma Tao immediately looked at Hu Tao, his eyes sharp, what's going on? Hu Tao looked at Lin Chen and quickly explained what had happened. Ma Tao's expression changed from white to black, and finally turned green as he glared at Lin Chen. Young Master Lin, I'm really sorry, our policewoman may be a bit rigid, I hope you don't mind. Now, I'll have Hu Tao apologize to you. It's not comfortable living in this police station, you see. Seeing Ma Tao's somewhat decent attitude, Lin Chen considered it and pointed at Hu Tao, I told her, but your policewoman didn't agree. Ma Tao immediately looked at Hu Tao, what's going on, given the chance to apologize, you don't know how to apologize? Seeing Ma Tao about to get angry, Hu Tao, blushing, finally explained, Ma Tao, Lin. Young master Lin asked me to kiss him. Luckily Ma Tao was still here, if he wasn't, Hu Tao would have been too embarrassed and would have run away, how could she explain anything here? The air fell silent for a moment, Ma Tao looked a bit embarrassed and glanced at the steward Lu, as if to say, what should we do about this? When the steward Lu heard this, he was slightly stunned, but after thinking about Lin Chen's character and recent behavior, he felt that a kiss was already a lenient treatment. This is young master Lin, what, you don't want to? Seeing the steward lose silence, Ma Tao understood their attitude. He looked at Hu Tao and scolded her directly. Hu Tao looked at Lin Chen with a look of grievance, almost about to cry. Lin Chen crossed his legs and said, All right, all right, I forgive. You for this mistake this time, but since you've offended me, you won't get away with it in the future. Lin Chen wasn't interested in continuing to argue with Hu Tao, so he stood up, walked to the steward Lu's side. Steward Lu, I leave the matter here to you. With that, he walked out in big strides. But just as he reached the door, he heard Hu Tao calling his name. Young Master Lin. Um. Then, Lin Chen was kissed by Hu Tao. Seeing her looking resigned, Lin Chen felt bored. He reached for a tissue and wiped his mouth, saying, Next time, don't let me catch you. Lin Chen did let her kiss him, but if it became a burden, he would rather she didn't. Lu Butler, let's go. When he got home, he saw a figure rushing towards him. Lin Chen opened his arms and hugged Mu Qingqing. Mua! Young master, missed me? Of course I did. I missed you the most. Hee hee, Qingqing missed you too, waiting for you every day with Sister Charin. Oomph, I didn't. He Charin shook her head in a tsundera manner, denying it. Lin Chen snorted lightly, walked up to Yi Charin, and lifted her chin, saying, He Charin, I'm back, and your good days are over. What do you mean by that? Before He Charin could finish speaking, Lin Chen silenced her by kissing her. MM. It wasn't until He Charin couldn't breathe that Lin Chen reluctantly let her go. This was He Charin's true first kiss. And now it was taken away by Lin Chen. He Charin blushed, looking angry and shy at Lin Chen, not knowing what to say. Lin Chen was a bit upset from the incident at the police station, so he vented all his anger on He Charin. That's why the kiss was forceful. Lin Chen patted He Charin's head and said, Be good, there are better things waiting for you. With that, he went to have dinner with a few people. Since Lin Chen hadn't had dinner with them for a long time, this dinner was quite enjoyable. Throughout the meal, Bai Ha and Mu Qingqing kept talking about what had happened in the past few days, and time passed quickly. After eating and drinking his fill, Lin Chen looked at Yi Charin and snapped his fingers, You have half an hour, come to my room within half an hour. With that, he went upstairs directly. Yi Charin stood still as if petrified, blinking her eyes, making others wonder if she was alive. What's wrong, Sister Charin? Mu Qingqing looked at Yi Charin, not understanding her reaction. Feng Wang finished eating and went to bed without caring much. Bai Ha sat next to Yi Charin and said, It's okay, as a maid, we must go through this. But I don't want to. Yi Charin's eyes turned red as she looked at the two of them, feeling wronged. However, they couldn't empathize with her, so they could only offer words of comfort without much substance. Time passed quickly, and Yi Charin stood at the door of Lin Chen's room, hesitating to knock. After about three minutes of silence, she finally knocked on the door. Come in. As soon as she entered, she saw Lin Chen lying on the bed playing with his phone. When he saw He Charin come in, he frowned. He Charin was still wearing the clothes from dinner, looking like a wounded little rabbit, pitiful. 
Lin Chen chuckled lightly, patted the bed next to him, and said, Come up. Seeing her like this, he was still in a good mood. After all, He Charan was the first person he had set his eyes on, and now he finally had her, how could he not be happy? However, seeing He Charan still standing there motionless made Lin Chen raise an eyebrow, What? Don't want to? He Charan nodded, her eyes red, Young master, can you, can you spare me? Upon hearing this, Lin Chen's temper immediately flared up, and his eyes were filled with anger as he looked at He Charan. Oh? Spare you? You, as my maid, expect me to spare you? Do you know your own identity? He Charan felt a sense of fear as Lin Chen approached her. The man in front of her was too powerful, with a capricious personality, and she had no idea how to deal with him. I? I know. He Charan knew that without Lin Chen, she would probably still be stuck at home, living a glamorous but secretly miserable life. But? But she didn't want to do this. And Lin Chen wanted more than just an answer. He walked up to Yi Charan, looking at her as tears slowly streamed down her face, and smirked, Oh? Crying? Do you think your tears can solve anything with me? He Charan didn't know, she just shook her head, unsure of what to do, only wanting to escape. Stop thinking about it, you can't escape. Lin Chen said, his eyes widening as he reached out and pulled her onto the bed. Since you have become my maid, then enjoy what you deserve. Ah, uh, the heart-wrenching sound echoed throughout the Lin family, and several people next door thought something had happened upon hearing the sound. Lily, scared, rushed to Lin Chen's room without even putting on clothes. However, as she was about to push the door open, she heard muffled sounds coming from inside the room, causing her face to blush. She quickly returned to her room, unnoticed by others, lay down, and went to sleep. Early the next morning, Lin Chen looked at Yi Charan sleeping beside him, her tired face prompting him to gently rub her head. As he was about to get up, he noticed Yi Charan's hand tightly gripping his arm, looking like a lost child unable to find her way home. Lin Chen's heart ached at the sight, unsure of what to do in this situation, but he decided to lie back down and sleep with Yi Charan. By the time Yi Charan woke up, it was already around 11 in the morning. Feeling sore all over, she looked at Lin Chen beside her and her mind went blank thinking about what happened last night. She sat up, intending to leave after putting on clothes, but then heard a light laughter behind her. Her hurried movements to put on clothes stopped as she felt a large hand around her waist, pulling her into a warm embrace. Startled, He Charan was taken aback, but smelling Lin Chen's scent and recalling the events of last night, her face turned red. Awake already? Lin Chen, just waking up, his voice hoarse, but irresistibly charming to Yi Charan. Mm. She answered softly. What did you say? Lin Chen suddenly pressed down on Yi Charan, looking at her, my class monitor? Yi Charan, who had been a fierce class monitor not long ago, was now pinned under Lin Chen. The change was indeed rapid. Unable to bear the ambiguous atmosphere, Yi Charan stood up and left the room. Ding, congratulations to the host for successfully conquering a female, gaining 1,000 points. Shortly after Yi Charan left, the system's voice rang out. Lin Chen suddenly remembered that his true sight I had not fully recovered. Host, don't worry, you only need to accumulate 10,000 points to unlock all the functions of the true sight I, 10 points. If one point is equivalent to 10,000 yuan, then wouldn't that mean spending 100 million? Hmm, it's just 100 million, it's okay, it's okay. No, just as Lin Chen was consoling himself, the system immediately poured cold water on him. The host must spend money according to the system's requirements. What? I have to spend my own money according to your requirements? Lin Chen really wanted to give this so-called system a beating to vent his anger. Yes, the host must spend money, but this money cannot be spent on oneself. After the money is spent, there should be no trace of the spent money that can continue to generate funds. Hearing this spending method, Lin Chen was stunned in place. He wanted to curse, yes, he wanted to curse. If he couldn't spend money on himself, why not spend it on others? And in the end, there would be no profit. Thinking of this, Lin Chen quickly came up with an idea. It would simply be about indulging in pleasure, and when the time came, he would be left with nothing. 
Thinking of this, Lin Chen smirked, walked downstairs, and called a few of his maids. Let's go, I'll show you what a good life is like these days. In the capital, there is a luxurious place called Jin Bihuihang. Lin Chen had never been there because the food there was too expensive. And the seats there were very difficult to reserve because the people who came to eat there were wealthy. The wealthy care most about face, so booking the whole place was a certainty. Moreover, there were quite a few political figures here, and it was common to discuss business matters here. After Lin Chen and the four people entered, not only were the four of them amazed, even Lin Chen himself was shocked. As soon as they entered, they could see the magnificent interior, not the plastic kind of gold, but the kind of shiny gold that sparkled. It was dazzling to look at. Thinking of this, Lin Chen couldn't help but feel that he should have his own golden castle. If it weren't for the stubborn system, Lin Chen would have started construction long ago. But for now, he would reluctantly use someone else's. Wow, young master, this place is so beautiful. These young maids love shiny things, so as soon as they saw this hotel, they fell in love with it. Yes, young master, it must cost a lot to eat here. As Lin Chen's personal maid, Bai Ha also considered this. If it was too expensive, they could eat elsewhere. Beautiful, really beautiful. He Charan was also attracted by the decorations here, and his eyes were full of joy. Sir, we have already booked the place, so please go somewhere else. However, just as everyone's eyes were shining with the desire to eat here, a person came up and blocked their thoughts? Could Lin Chen tolerate this? Absolutely not. Lin Chen looked at the person in front of him, dressed in a butler's uniform, wearing gold-rimmed glasses, looking very refined. However, the condescending look in his eyes made Lin Chen sneer. What, are all these empty seats here reserved for your relatives? Sir, you're joking. There is a high-ranking official who has booked the place. This statement was true, but looking at the manager's tone, Lin Chen felt extremely displeased. He snorted lightly, since that's the case, call out this so-called high-ranking official, I want to have a chat with him. With that, the manager looked awkwardly at Lin Chen and a hint of sarcasm appeared at the corner of his mouth, Oh, I'm sorry, this high-ranking official is quite low-key, I'm afraid he's not available to see you. The words sounded nice, but Lin Chen naturally understood the manager's underlying meaning. It was simply that your status is lowly, and the high official doesn't have time to see you. In that case, I'll book the place too. How much? Watching Lin Chen prepare to take out his wallet, the manager reached out to stop him. Sir, you don't need to go through all this trouble. This official is more powerful than you think, so it's best not to compare too much. Oh, Lin Chen's temper exploded upon hearing this. Let me tell you, even if the Jade Emperor himself came today, he would still have to make way for me. Oh, who do we have here, such a big talk. Just as Lin Chen spoke, a person walked out from behind. Seeing his portly figure, Lin Chen couldn't help but chuckle. It was none other than Zhao Bin, a top official in the capital. Did this official need to hide his identity? Phoenix also recognized him, as she had obtained all the personnel information and photos that Lin Chen had looked at before. So when she saw it was Zhao Bin, she wanted to say something to warn him, but she remained silent. Oh, Mr. Zhao, I thought there was a high-ranking official inside, didn't expect it to be you. Zhao Bin squinted at Lin Chen, looked at him a few times to confirm he didn't know him, and snorted. You know me? Indirectly saying I have a low rank? What a joke, he was already a top official in the capital, not a low rank. Lin Chen grabbed a chair and sat down directly, hmm, I don't know you, your rank is too low. This statement made Zhao Bin so angry that he spat out blood. Since he didn't know him, how did he know his name at first sight? It was clearly a lie. However, Zhao Bin didn't intend to argue with Lin Chen too much, pretending not to know anything in front of these women and acting like a little kid, there was no need to get angry with him. I heard you want to book the venue? How about this, I'll introduce you to a hotel, guaranteed service, and an 80% discount, what do you think? The three words 80% discount sounded harsh to Lin Chen's ears. He chuckled, mimicking Zhao Bin's tone, how about this, I'll introduce you to a hotel, not only great service, but also excellent views, it's free, you can eat as you please, my treat. Zhao Bin's face turned a bit strange, 
filled with anger when he looked at Lin Chen. Lin Chen obviously didn't care, leaning back with his legs crossed, looking relaxed, clearly looking for trouble. How about this, young man, since you want to book the venue, I'll give you half, but you can't come to where I am, how about that? Upon hearing this, Lin Chen considered it for a moment, it sounded good. However, Lin Chen had originally planned to book the venue, but now that he couldn't, he felt very unhappy. No no no, how about this, I'll give you money, you leave, I'll take over this venue. Zhao Bin didn't want to continue talking with Lin Chen, he slammed his hand on the table. Alright, since you want to book the venue, one million a day, I'll ask you, can you afford it? Zhao Bin could tell which rich second generation Lin Chen belonged to at a glance, bringing women over with some dirty money from home. However, no matter how wealthy the family was, no one would be willing to pay a million a day for a venue. Even if there were some, Zhao Bin didn't recognize the person in front of him. How about this, I'll give you two million, you pack up and get out. Seeing that Zhao Bin didn't want to continue arguing with him, Lin Chen felt the same way. He treated others the way they treated him. Which family's child are you, why are you so arrogant in your tone? Upon hearing this, Lin Chen smiled, never mind which family I'm from, I'm afraid if I say it, you won't be able to handle it. By the way, since I've given you money to leave, you better leave with your tail between your legs. Don't wait for me to say something I shouldn't say before you leave, because by then, it won't be so easy to walk away. Oof, what can you say, you little brat? It's better not to be so arrogant in your tone, it's easy to get burned. Zhao Bin was full of arrogance, completely not believing that Lin Chen could say anything threatening to him. But some people are like this, give them a good face and let them go, if they don't leave, then don't blame Lin Chen for not being merciful. I'll ask one last time, are you sure? Lin Chen's expression was serious, with no hint of joking. With a slightly fierce look on his face, both Bai Ha and Mu Qingqing were infatuated and fascinated. Oomph, what am I not sure about? Five years ago, a series of train collisions on the high-speed rail. Four years ago, the Guo family had a mysterious accidental death. Three years ago, the sudden heart attack of a top official in the capital. Lin Chen's words were slow and casual, but each word felt like a needle to Zhao Bin. Seeing Zhao Bin's face change several colors, Lin Chen had no intention of stopping, continuing, two years ago, 15 three-year-old girls went missing. One year ago, a eh? Stop. Before Lin Chen could finish his words, Zhao Bin interrupted directly. Seeing Zhao Bin walking towards him, Lin Chen was not afraid at all, even a little expectant. What nonsense are you talking about, I don't understand. Lin Chen sneered, if you don't understand, why are your fingers trembling? If you don't understand, why is your reaction so big? Oh, by the way, your face is darker than the bottom of a pot, what's that all about? Seeing Lin Chen acting like a tiger, Zhao Bin was at a loss for what to do. But he had only one thought, that is, he must not let anyone else know about this matter. And the person in front of him must not live. Thinking of this, his gaze towards Lin Chen became even gentler, with a slight smile, he said, young man, in consideration of our good rapport, I'll leave this place to you today. As Zhao Bin was about to leave with someone else, Lin Chen spoke up, stop. Zhao Bin frowned, clenched his fists, adjusted his facial expression, do you have something else to say, young man? Of course, I just said, when I give you money and you don't leave on your own, now that I've said all I have to say, it might not be so easy for you to leave now. Lin Chen's tone was arrogant, making Zhao Bin feel very uncomfortable. He had met many people, with various personalities, but he had never seen such an arrogant person before. So, young man, what do you plan to do? Lin Chen stroked his chin, thinking about how to handle this matter. After all, what Zhao Bin had done was despicable. How about this, you kneel down, cow out of me, call me dad, and say you won't dare again, then I'll spare you. Hearing this, Zhao Bin's face turned extremely ugly. Clenching his fists, his nails embedded in his flesh. What did you say? He was after all a top official in the capital, how could he kneel down directly? And call someone else dad? This was like rubbing his face on the ground, rubbing it hard. How dare you, do you know what your status is, how could you say such things to the mayor? One of Zhao Bin's lackeys couldn't bear to listen to Lin Chen's words and shouted. Oh? 
My status? Of course, I know what my status is. I also know that if you, Zhao Bin, don't do as I say, then with one phone call, within half an hour, your position will be directly removed. Ha ha ha, young man, nowadays, if you talk big, you need to have evidence. Do you have any evidence? Zhao Bin was a bit wary at first, but after hearing Lin Chen's words, he realized that this kid probably had some problem in his head, so he dared to act out here. Oh? Evidence? That's not something you need to worry about. Let me ask you one more time, will you kneel or not? I won't kneel. What can you do to me? Zhao Bin stood tall and proud, with a fearless look, which already made Lin Chen think about his next move. Since Zhao Bin had already said he wouldn't kneel, Lin Chen naturally didn't force him, after all, forcibly twisting a melon is not sweet, and forcing someone to be a father is not loving. He understood all this, so he picked up his phone directly, Manager Lu, Zhao Bin, do you understand what I mean? Yes, young master. You have 15 minutes. Okay, we'll wait now. After making a series of phone calls, Lin Chen sat down on a chair, put his arm around by his waist, and sat down, looking very pleased. Seeing this scene, Zhao Bin felt a bit nervous for a moment, because he couldn't be sure whether Lin Chen really had the ability. Manager, bring a bottle of wine, he said, throwing a pile of red banknotes on the ground. It was more like a small mountain of red banknotes than a pile. The manager was stunned when he saw the money on the ground. He had not seen when Lin Chen threw the money, and how did he manage to bring out such a large pile of money? But the manager didn't have time to hesitate now. He walked straight to the front desk, took a bottle of wine, and placed it in front of Lin Chen. In Zhao Bin's eyes, this scene looked more like the image of a wealthy young man. Instantly, Zhao Bin felt a lot more at ease. Oomph, young man, you are wasting my time now. If you don't remove me from my position within half an hour, you will have to compensate me for the time wasted. Hearing this, Lin Chen didn't care at all, tell me, how do you want me to compensate you? Thinking about it, Zhao Bin thought for a moment and calculated it himself. First, we have been arguing for a long time. During this time, I could have done many things. Second, you have been disrespectful to me and even threatened me. Lastly, you have wasted my time. So, how do you plan to compensate for these offenses? If I don't remove you from your position within half an hour, I will obey your commands. Whatever you want, I will do. Good. Zhao Bin wanted to hear Lin Chen say those words. After all, Lin Chen knew some of his secrets, and once those things were exposed, not only would he lose his job, but he might even lose his life. However, just as Zhao Bin was confident about how to deal with Lin Chen, he received a call from his superior. Zhao Bin, you have been fired. As soon as he answered the phone, Zhao Bin heard this sentence, and he was completely shocked and couldn't believe it. Wait, what did you say? Zhao Bin looked at Lin Chen, and Lin Chen could already tell from his expression that manager Lu had done his job. Fired? Can I ask why I'm being fired? Even though I may not have done much in this position, I have still put in effort. What? Murder case? That's impossible, absolutely impossible, absolutely impossible. Zhao Bin was in a panic, looking at Lin Chen, completely. Disbelieving. His legs gave way, and he knelt down on the ground. Detained? No, it can't be. However, before Zhao Bin could finish speaking, the call was already disconnected. If Lin Chen guessed correctly, the police should be arriving soon. Lin Chen walked in front of Zhao Bin, smiled at him, and said, So, do you believe me now? Oh, by the way, you just said you didn't believe me, and that I should compensate you for your lost time. How about it now? Do you still need compensation? I can compensate at any time. Looking at Lin Chen's arrogant face, if possible, Zhao Bin really wanted to tear his face apart and make him arrogant in front of him again. However, Zhao Bin couldn't do that. Nevertheless, he had to remain calm in order to avoid exposing too much. Lin Chen naturally knew Zhao Bin's thoughts. He lowered his voice and whispered in his ear, Don't worry, what needs to happen will happen. After saying that, Zhao Bin looked at Lin Chen's eyes as if he saw a demon, his eyes filled with fear. Who, who are you? Lin Chen. 
Soon, a group of police officers walked in and took Xiaobin away. Before leaving, Xiaobin couldn't help but glance at Lin Chen, his eyes filled with regret and loss. Seeing this look, Lin Chen didn't care at all. Instead, he looked at the manager again, so, can I take over now? The manager had already seen Lin Chen's abilities. Even the top leader in the capital could be brought down by Lin Chen, so he couldn't believe there was anything Lin Chen couldn't do. He he, of course, of course, who said you couldn't, come forward and let me see. The manager nodded and bowed to Lin Chen, making Lin Chen feel a bit ironic. But he didn't say much, as he didn't want to waste his good mood on such a person. Go, reserve a venue for me, and I'll book all the places here for ten days. Ten days. My goodness, that's a lot of money. The manager was so happy that he couldn't close his teeth, and he said to Lin Chen, All right, all right, I'll arrange it for you, Mr. Lin. When Lin Chen handed over his card, the manager was stunned in place. A black card, he had never seen one, but he had heard of it. It was the most prestigious symbol of status, and he didn't know how many people in the country owned one. But he never expected that the person in front of him was one of them. His breathing became rapid, accompanied by a sense of fear. Fortunately, he hadn't offended the person in front of him just now, or he might have been in big trouble. As the manager went to swipe the card, Lin Chen heard the voice of the system. Ding, congratulations, host, you have accumulated enough points and activated the function of true sight. Hearing this voice, Lin Chen felt a white light in front of his eyes. In the blink of an eye, his vision became clear and bright. He could see things much better than before, even the details of the surroundings. Amazing! Lin Chen couldn't help but exclaim, looking at Mu Qingqing and the others, whose eyes had turned greedy. It seemed that they wanted to try out this function to see how useful it was. He also glanced at the manager who was approaching him, and his eyes now held a hint of mockery. Somehow, the manager felt that he was completely exposed in front of Lin Chen, making him feel insecure. But he still forced himself to say, Mr. Lin, your room is ready. If you need to stay or have a meal, just let us know. Got it. After dealing with a series of tedious matters, Lin Chen lay down on a large bed with four maids. The bed was exceptionally large, big enough for ten people to lie down comfortably. And now, Lin Chen was lying in the middle of the four of them. Smelling the pleasant scent of their perfume, he felt very content. Ah, this feels great. Yes, young master, I've never been to such a luxurious place before. Mu Qingqing spoke, slightly embarrassed. When Ichiran first saw these shiny decorations, he immediately felt dizzy and as if he was merging with them. I have been there, but I still had a good time with the young master. Lin Chen heard their words and smiled, there will be plenty of opportunities for you to come in the future, and I will even build a golden castle specifically for you. After saying that, he didn't forget to add, of course, the condition is that you must behave. Hee <laughs> hee, okay? Wow, young master, you are too kind. Yes, young master, I love you even more now. Love me? Then come and give me a kiss. Instantly, the room was filled with the sounds of love and affection, which sounded very pleasing to the ears. Phoenix sat shyly on the sofa, feeling a bit embarrassed watching the scene in front of her. After about half an hour, Lin Chen blushed as he emerged from the blanket and picked up his phone. Young master. Manager Lu, is there something you need? There are guests at home, if you are available, please come back. Although Manager Lu rarely appeared, he suddenly asked Lin Chen to come home. There must be something that required Lin Chen's attention. Lin Chen had to temporarily leave his beloved behind. I have something to attend to, so you all stay here and behave. If you're hungry, ask the manager to bring you food, eat whatever you want. Yes, young master. Watching Lin Chen leave in a red. Lamborghini, he quickly returned home. Upon opening the door, he saw a man sitting on the sofa. He appeared to be around 30 years old, with a side-parted hair, a strong profile, and a robust physique, indicating his high status. Without manager Lu's introduction, Lin Chen already knew who this person was. An inconspicuous businessman in the capital city, and if he guessed correctly, he was probably a high-ranking official as well, an interesting case of dual identities. Should I call you Secretary Zhang or Director Zhang? 
When Zhang Jiqi heard this, he was momentarily stunned but quickly recovered. His reaction was so quick that even Lin Chen couldn't help but admire it. Ha, Lin Xiao, you truly are something. You can tell my identity with just one glance. Not only Zhang Jiqi was surprised, even manager Liu was taken aback. Lin Chen already knew who Zhang Jiqi was without any introduction? Ahem, since young master already knows director Shang's identity, I'll leave the rest to you two to discuss. With that, manager Liu stood up and left the living room. Now, it was just Lin Chen and Zhang Jiqi in the room. Lin Chen didn't feel too constrained and sat comfortably on the sofa with his legs crossed. This was his home, so any formality should come from Zhang Jiqi. Zhang Jiqi, on the other hand, showed no signs of awkwardness and instead looked at Lin Chen with a strange glint in his eyes. This made Lin Chen pause for a moment and say, wait, let me guess why you're here. After all, he couldn't use his true sight too often as it could deplete his abilities. So for now, Lin Chen could only make an educated guess. If I'm not mistaken, you're here to propose a collaboration with me, right? Upon hearing this, Zhang Jiqi was no longer surprised and simply nodded. After all, someone who could accurately guess his identity must be extraordinary. Since Lin Xiao has already brought it up, I'll be straightforward and not hide anything. Lin Chen stroked his chin and waited for more information. I know you got Zhao Bin into the police station, so as soon as I found out, I came to see you. I really want to give you a thumbs up, really. Zhao Bin is a person who has gained power through deceit and trickery, rather than through actual ability or strategy. Lin Chen knew that Zhao Bin lacked practical skills, but the current Zhang Jiqi was not to be underestimated. So, if you can see through Zhao Bin's hidden actions, it means you know some things about others as well. Upon hearing this, Lin Chen raised an eyebrow. Let's make a deal then. I hope that you, Lin, can help me secure the position of the new mayor of the city. Oh? Lin Chen found Zhang Jiqi's sudden visit quite unexpected, but now he was being asked for help? What do I get in return? Lin Chen knew he lacked nothing. Ha, huh, I know you lack nothing, Lin, but I know one thing you lack. Women. If you help me secure the position, I will personally introduce you to women from all over the country and even abroad. And I promise to repay you for your help once I become mayor. After hearing Zhang Jiqi's offer, Lin Chen thought it was not a bad plan. After all, rooming a mayor personally could be interesting. He wouldn't admit that he was enticed by the prospect of meeting many beautiful women as Zhang Jiqi had mentioned. With that in mind, Lin Chen smirked, if you become mayor and do something wrong, how will you handle it? I will listen to your decision. Good. Lin Chen felt reassured by Zhang Jiqi's response. Making Zhang Jiqi the next mayor was just a way to please those above. Three days later, Lin Chen was lounging in a luxurious hotel with Mu Qingqing when he heard the news on TV. Zhang Jiqi has officially taken office as the new mayor of the city, with reports suggesting that the appointment was made with the help of the Lin family abroad. Lin Chen was not entirely satisfied upon hearing this and furrowed his brow, but he didn't say much. Feeling bored with life, he grabbed his car keys and decided to go out. Young master, where are you going? Let me accompany you. Bai Ha, sent by the Lu family to protect Lin Chen, offered. However, given Lin Chen's abilities, even someone with a little skill would be no match for him now. Lin Chen was a fourth-level Thai boxing practitioner. With that in mind, he declined by his offer and walked out alone. As he reached the underground parking lot, he saw a group of men surrounding a woman, seemingly intimidating her. The woman looked terrified, shaking her head in resistance. Seeing this, Lin Chen frowned. It was broad daylight in the luxurious parking lot, and these men were audacious. The reason the parking lot was secure was due to the backing of powerful individuals. Lin Chen wasn't sure of their exact influence, but he knew it was significant in the city. Therefore, causing trouble at the luxurious parking lot was almost unheard of. However, he had just discovered one today. As he approached to investigate, a bald man stepped forward, twirling a thick baseball bat in his hand, with a few pieces of chive leaves sticking out of his teeth. Little girl, I advise you to hand over the money now to avoid more trouble. After speaking, the three people behind him. 
looked at the beauty with a strange look, of course, if you really don't have money, you can pay with your body. Seeing that you look so beautiful, brother, I can give you a discount. Yes, big brother, we can do as the third brother said. Seeing this girl looking so innocent, maybe we can even get some extra benefits. Yes, big brother, let's let the brothers have a taste. The bald man didn't speak, just stared at the girl in front of him with his eyes. The girl felt scared being stared at, shaking her head in fear, please, spare me, give me a little more time, I will definitely repay the money. After speaking, the bald man not only didn't show mercy, but became even more unscrupulous, oh? Give you some time? How much time have I given you from the beginning of borrowing money until now? That's right, our big brother has given you enough time. If it weren't for your good looks, how could we have given you so much time? Wake up, girl, either pay back the money or pay with your body, you choose. Hearing their words, the girl hugged her fragile body, trembling all over. Please, I will definitely repay the money, three days, give me three more days, I will definitely repay the money. It seemed like she made a big decision, the girl clenched her fists, feeling a sense of despair. However, the bald man seemed not to intend to give her three days. He walked in front of the girl, grabbed her face and said, I said, either pay back the money or pay with your body, choose now. Feeling the stench emanating from the bald man, the girl's body trembled involuntarily. Perhaps out of fear, tears flowed uncontrollably. Please, beg you, as long as you give me three days, I will definitely, definitely repay the money. The girl was fine without crying, but once she started, the bald man felt a sudden itch in his heart, a hot sensation rising in his lower abdomen. Oh, don't say that, Lin Xian, you look quite appealing when you cry. Lin Xian. When Lin Xian heard this name, he realized that it was the same as his surname. He inexplicably felt a lot of goodwill, never expected to meet someone with the same surname. However, Lin Xin didn't have time to think much, as he saw the bald man reaching out to touch Lin Xin's face. Oh, this smooth and delicate face, it must feel so good to kiss. The bald man looked lecherous, his face wrinkled with a smile, thinking he looked handsome. His expression became even more radiant. However, just as the bald man was about to kiss her, a scream was heard. Ah! In this silent parking lot, it sounded extremely terrifying. Big brother! Big brother! What's wrong with you? Damn, big brother, are you okay? When the bald man stood up, he saw a needle on his face. It was a small embroidery needle, skillfully inserted by Lin Chen, causing no bleeding. But when the bald man pulled it out abruptly, blood gushed out immediately. Ah! Who the hell are you, daring to ruin my plan? Me? You don't need to know who I am, you just need to know that I've saved this woman, that's enough. Lin Xian heard this voice, looked up at Lin Chen in surprise. With just one glance, she was certain of her life. Until later, the impact of Lin Chen appearing in front of Lin Xian would be the moonlight of her life. Of course, that's a story for another time. Right now, Lin Xian only felt that Lin Chen's figure was so majestic, so reassuring. It made her want to rush over and seek help. She thought so, and she did the same. Save me. Lin Chen looked at Lin Xian holding his hand, smiled lightly, and touched her head, don't worry, everything will be fine. Just six words, like a shot of adrenaline, made Lin Xian no longer worry. The bald man saw the situation here and immediately reached out to grab his non-existent hair, shivering as he said, are you acting in a drama? This is about settling debts, understand, settling debts. Worried that Lin Chen didn't understand, the bald man was about to explain when he heard Lin Chen's voice. In a lazy, indifferent tone, Lin Chen said, of course I know, not much different from a beggar. Then he added, but I suggest you brush your teeth after eating leek dumplings. The bald man, red-faced with anger, looked at Lin Chen and said, say it again. Lin Chen leaned against a pillar, looking relaxed as if he was watching a show. His attitude angered the group in front of him. This kid is too arrogant. Yeah, let's teach him a lesson. How dare he speak to our boss like that, does he know who our boss is? Before Lin Chen could respond, one of the men behind him answered, listen, our boss is known as Lion, a famous figure in this area. Go ask around, see who dares to mess with our boss. 
Hearing this introduction, Lin Qian felt a bit scared and touched Lin Chen's arm, whispering, Let's run, they are dangerous. Lin Chen found it amusing. When did he, Lin Chen, need to run when saving a woman? Don't worry, everything will be fine. Lin Chen chuckled, Oh, he's so famous. But I've never heard of him. You? The bald man couldn't take it anymore. While others could insult him, they couldn't deny his efforts over the years. The four men ran towards Lin Chen, who was unfazed by the situation. He casually lit a cigarette and smoked. B. Careful. Lin Qian saw the bald man approaching Lin Chen and couldn't help but warn. However, Lin Chen just smirked. As the bald man came within a meter, Lin Chen swiftly dodged, causing the man's fist to hit the pillar. Then, with a swift kick, he hit another man in the face. Turning around, he knocked down two more men. Lin Qian couldn't believe her eyes, amazed by Lin Chen's skills. The men struggled to get up and support their boss. Boss, what do we do, he's a tough one. Damn. The bald man's speech was slurred, but he still gave orders. The three men hesitated but were tripped by Lin Chen before they could act. Ha! Huh? Lin Chen was surprised to see them fall without him doing anything. The three men gasped for air and fainted. The bald man's legs went weak seeing this. But remembering his boss's status, he tried to maintain a tough appearance. Who are you? Lin Chen chuckled mockingly, you don't know me? I'm Lin Chen, from the overseas Lin family. Zip the bald man took a sharp breath, how could Lin Chen not have heard of him, he was the most famous figure in the capital recently. Thinking of this, the bald man immediately knelt weakly on the ground, looking at Lin Chen, almost bowing his head. Young Master Lin, it's all my fault, I didn't know, I didn't recognize you, please don't blame me, don't blame me. Seeing the bald man's extreme reaction, Lin Chen widened her eyes and looked at Lin Chen. Who is Lin Chen from the overseas Lin family? Lin Chen thought to herself, but after thinking for a long time, she still couldn't figure it out. But now, she was happy because she was finally rescued from the clutches of these people by Lin Chen. Oh? You actually know I'm Lin Chen, but I don't know your name, am I too ignorant? Hearing this, the bald man dared not nod, but quickly replied, No no no, you are the esteemed young master Lin, how could you understand our mundane matters, we are not worthy of your attention. Lin Chen finally understood why the bald man was doing relatively well, mainly because he had a silver tongue. Leaning against a pillar, Lin Chen asked softly, How much does Lin Qian owe you? Four thousand. What, only four thousand, and you're resorting to violence for this? Lin Chen said in shock, thinking there was much more money involved. After his surprise, he reached into his pocket, took out a handful of money, and threw it on the ground. The bald man's eyes widened at the sight of the money. He quickly bent down to pick up the money, his greedy appearance making Lin Chen not want to bother with him. Looking at Lin Chen who had been hiding behind him, he smiled, What's wrong, am I too handsome for you? Hearing this, Lin Chen nodded, then shook her head. Lin Chen was amused by her actions and reached out to help her tidy her hair. Why do you owe money? He knew his question might be a bit nonsensical, but he couldn't help asking. After all, Lin Qian couldn't even come up with 4,000 yuan, so he wondered what had happened at home. Hmm. Lin Qian nodded and began to recount the recent events. My family has always been relatively poor, and recently we lost a lot of money in business, so we have no money left, but we need to survive, so I had to borrow money. Lin Chen roughly understood the situation, it was just a matter of a filial girl helping her parents bear the burden. However, the situation was not over yet. If that was all, it would be fine, but the main problem is that my brother has been supporting another woman outside, using the family's money, so... Lin Qian looked helpless as she spoke, suddenly appearing much older. She wiped the tears from her face, looked at Lin Chen, and her eyes lit up. But thank you for helping me. Although I know you are wealthy, I will definitely pay you back that money, just give me some time. Gurgle, Lin Xian's stomach growled at the wrong time. Hearing this, Lin Xian smiled, let's go, I'll take you to eat. No need, I'm not hungry. How could Lin Xian not know what Lin Xian was afraid of, it would be awkward to go out to eat with him. It's okay, consider it a thank you for helping me. 
With that, Lin Chen took Lin Xian to the car. Along the way, Lin Chen started chatting with Lin Xian casually. Your name is Lin Qian? Yes. Coincidentally, my surname is also Lin, Lin Chen. Hearing this name, Lin Qian was a bit puzzled, scratching her head and looking at Lin Chen beside her. Is the name Lin Chen very famous? Why did the bald man get scared as soon as he heard your name? Lin Chen looked at Lin Qian and was attracted by her innocent appearance. He reached out and touched her hair, then checked Lin Qian's personal information. Name, Lin Qian Personality, Innocent Skills, Virtuous LV3 Rating, 90 Favorability, 40 The favorability is actually 40 points, and the rating is up to 90 points. Lin Chen murmured. It was unexpected that he would have a favorability of 40 points with someone he just met for the first time. What? It's nothing, I just wanted to say that Lin Chen is indeed very famous. But the bald man completely mistook the person, I am not that Lin Chen, so you have to keep it quiet. With that, he pretended to put his hand to his mouth, signaling Lin Chen to keep it quiet and not expose it. Looking at Lin Chen's cute appearance now, Lin Chen had some thoughts about developing the person in front of him into his fifth maid. However, the most urgent task now was to solve the problem of the two people's meal. Because of the scuffle with the bald man just now, Lin Chen's suit, which was originally without a single wrinkle, was now full of wrinkles, making him frown. But he was in a hurry and didn't bring a new suit, so he could only make do with it. Unexpectedly, as soon as he walked to the entrance of the restaurant, he was stopped by the doorman. Sir, this is a high-end hotel here. If you really want to consume, you can go across the street to dine. Lin Shen followed the doorman's gaze and could see the situation on the street across. It was a dirty and messy snack street, completely incomparable to here. It was not that Lin Shen looked down on the snack street, but he felt that his dignity had been seriously offended. I brought the girl to a five-star hotel, and you want me to eat across the street? Lin Shen was full of suspicion that the person in front of him was blind, or did he not know how much his clothes were worth? He was about to speak when he saw Zhang Jiqi coming out from inside. When Zhang Jiqi saw Lin Chen, he was as excited as if he had seen his biological parents again. There was excitement in his eyes. Young Master Lin, I didn't expect to see you here. Why don't you come in? Hearing this, Lin Chen snorted coldly, the doorman saw me wearing rags and didn't want to let me in. The doorman was called out, and he couldn't help but tremble all over. Lin Chen might not know him, but he definitely knew the mayor. Mayor, I. The doorman was about to explain, but he heard Zhang Jiqi's cold voice, What, do the doorman now look down on people? Hearing this, not to mention the doorman, even Lin Chen was intimidated by Zhang Jiqi's voice. He used to be soft-spoken to himself, but now he had become so harsh. No, I didn't, I just saw this gentleman, I. I. The doorman couldn't come up with any reason to explain, because he just looked at Lin Chen and felt like he couldn't afford to spend money, so he stepped forward to stop him. Zhang Jiqi sneered, I'll give you another chance. Be careful not to look down on people in the future. After he finished speaking, he immediately smiled at Lin Chen, young master Lin, please. I dare not, I dare not, how can I trouble the mayor? Young master Lin, please. Lin Qian followed behind Lin Chen, not saying a word, just listening to the conversation between the two in front. Young Master Lin, what happened to you today? Why are you wearing this clothes? Zhang Jiqi saw the situation in front of him and was a little puzzled for a moment. How did Lin Chen, who usually cared about his image, become like this now? But Lin Chen just smiled indifferently and explained, I ran into some hooligans on the road, so I became a hero to save the beauty. Hearing this, Zhang Jiqi was first stunned, then looked back at Lin Qian to understand the cause and effect of the matter. Too presumptuous. I must deal with the chaos in that area. Zhang Jiqi said angrily, then looked at Lin Qian behind Lin Qian, showing a look that only the two of them understood. Since that's the case, I won't disturb Lin Xiao. Okay. Lin Qian nodded, and after Zhang Jiqi left, he reached out and hugged Lin Qian. Lin Qian was completely stunned. Setting aside the fact that Lin Qian had saved her, just the fact that Lin Qian knew the mayor was enough to astonish Lin Qian for a while. 
Not to mention the mayor's respectful attitude towards Lin Chen. Could it be, is Lin Chen really some kind of extraordinary figure? Thinking of this, her gaze towards Lin Chen was full of scrutiny. Lin Chen naturally understood Lin Chen's thoughts, but seeing how Lin Chen was contemplating now, he found it cute and didn't disturb her thoughts. So when Lin Chen finally reacted, Lin Chen had magically filled the table with dishes. And looking at the style of these dishes, she could tell at a glance that they were beyond what she could afford. She immediately felt embarrassed and rubbed her head, um. Lin Xiao, these dishes, I. Before she could finish her sentence, Lin Xian felt she couldn't continue. Lin Shen had saved her, and now he wanted to have a meal. If she said she couldn't afford it, it would be too embarrassing. But the truth was, she really couldn't afford it. Upon hearing what Lin Xian wanted to say, Lin Shen smiled and looked at her lovingly. However, he had another idea in mind. Since that's the case, you'll have to come up with a different way to thank me. After saying that, Lin Xian furrowed her brows, what? Have you ever heard of something called a human banquet? As soon as the words were out, Lin Xian cast a suggestive glance at Lin Xian, appreciating her figure that could rival those four little beauties at home. But this person, who knows if she understands these things? Thinking about the upcoming human banquet, Lin Xian couldn't help but feel a bit excited. However, the following answer disappointed him. I don't know. Lin Xian shook her head directly, admitting she had no idea about such things. Lin Chen nodded knowingly, since. You don't know, I can explain it to you. With a mischievous look in his eyes as he gazed at Lin Chen, he said, a human banquet is simply replacing the dishes on the table with naked beautiful women. Lin Chen glanced meaningfully at Lin Chen, who was startled and quickly stood up, shaking her head. Impossible. Seeing Lin Chen's rejection, Lin Chen chuckled, okay, I was just teasing you. Seeing that Lin Xian still seemed a bit uneasy, he continued, I was just joking with you, bringing you here for a meal, not to make you pay. After hearing this explanation, Lin Xian felt a sense of emptiness in her heart, but she quickly ignored it. Come on, try it and see if it's delicious. Lin Xian's eyes were full of sincerity, his expression gentle. For a moment, Lin Xian was once again captivated by his gaze, and they looked at each other for a long time. However, Lin Xian couldn't resist the hunger in her stomach and sat down to eat directly. How is it, delicious? Lin Xian watched Lin Xian eat, knowing from her speed that she was really hungry, otherwise how could she eat so quickly? Despite this, she still had a hint of cuteness that caught Lin Xian's attention. Lin Xian raised her head and nodded. Mmm, delicious. Throughout the meal, Lin Xian watched Lin Xian eat. Despite Lin Xian's petite appearance, she actually ate more than Lin Chen. This surprised Lin Chen. At the moment Lin Chen raised her head, she reached out to wipe her mouth with a tissue, then awkwardly smiled, I'm really sorry, the food was too delicious, I couldn't resist. Pfft, upon hearing this, Lin Chen couldn't help but burst out laughing. How could there be such a lovely person, so cute that he wanted to pinch her cheek? Lin Chen thought so and actually reached out to do it. Lin Chen was startled by his sudden move immediately took a step back instinctively, but still got caught by Lin Chen. Since you like the food so much, do you want to keep eating it in the future? Lin Chen's eyes dimmed for a moment, looked down at the floor self-deprecatingly, and said softly, no, it's too expensive, I can't afford it. Lin Chen felt a pang of heartache. He reached out and patted Lin Chen's head, silly, if you want to eat in the future, give me a call, I'll take you to eat. With that, he directly gave Lin Xian a contact information, if you need anything in the future, just let me know, I'll help with whatever I can. Are you leaving? Lin Xian listened to Lin Xian's words, as if he was about to say something that should be said before parting, and she felt a bit reluctant. Since you said that, can you help me with something now? Lin Xian seized every moment to be with Lin Xian, feeling a strong emotion inside her, even she didn't know why. Lin Xian was naturally willing to help a beauty, and leaned in close to her ear, just say what you want. A warm sensation passed by Lin Xian's ear, and a certain part of her body seemed to have become sensitive. But what blushed even more was her face. I? I want you to help teach my brother a lesson, we can't afford to support his girlfriend at home. Upon hearing this, Lin Xian smiled and snapped his fingers, that's a small matter, easy. 
But, if I really help you, how will you thank me? This ambiguous statement made Lin Xian first stunned, then she remembered what he had just mentioned about a human banquet. After staring at Lin Chen for a few seconds, her face turned red, and she said softly, Lin, you can do anything. That's what he wanted to hear. Lin Chen immediately called Phoenix. Find out where Lin Biao is now. Lin Biao is Lin Qian's unreliable brother. Luxury International. Okay, keep an eye on him for me. Yes, young master. After everything was settled, Lin Chen went to the front desk to pay the bill, then took Lin Qian to Luxury International. The security guard at the door, upon seeing the car Lin Chen was driving, instantly regretted his actions. He really underestimated him. Not only did he offend the mayor, but also someone who even the mayor had to give some face to. However, what's done is done, and it's too late to regret now. Meanwhile, Lin Xian sat in Lin Chen's car, suddenly remembered something and took out her phone. Looking at the message on her phone, she was shocked. Lin Xian couldn't help but look at Lin Chen and said, So you are Lin Chen. Her voice was full of astonishment, leaving Lin Chen momentarily puzzled by what had happened to this silly girl. You, you, you. Lin Chen was so excited that she couldn't speak properly. Me, me, me? You really are that Lin Chen. Lin Chen couldn't recall the name for a moment, but after glancing at the phone screen, she suddenly remembered. So you are Lin Chen from the overseas Lin family? Lin Chen nodded, not denying it. What? Wow, but you told me you weren't that Lin Chen. Yeah, I didn't say I wasn't Lin Chen from the overseas Lin family. This statement was flawless, leaving Lin Chen momentarily unable to find any rebuttal. However, as she looked into Lin Chen's eyes, there was a slight change in her expression. If just now she was still looking forward to a perfect romance with Lin Chen, now she doesn't even want to think about it. Because the disparity between the two of them is just too great. So great that she doesn't even dare to think about it. Why are you not talking? Lin Chen looked at Lin Xian, who was lost in thought. Of course, he knew what she was thinking. Lin Xian smiled and said, It's nothing, I just don't know what to say for a moment. Yes, everything she had fantasized about was so different from what she had imagined, it was a bit difficult to accept for a while, which was quite normal. But Lin Xian couldn't dwell on it for long, as they had arrived at the entrance of a luxurious international hotel. From the outside, it looked like a relatively luxurious hotel, but just by looking at the decorations inside, one could guess the price for a night. Lin Shen couldn't help but smirk, having such a brother was truly Lin Shen's tragedy. When Lin Shen found out that her brother was in a certain room, she felt a wave of disgust in her heart, but also a sense of deep loss. The conflicting emotions of good and evil made it unbearable for her. Lin Shen instinctively put his arm around her shoulder and asked the front desk, Hello, I would like to ask when this person's room was opened and what kind of room was opened. It's mid-afternoon now, and it's not time to open a room yet. So, there was only one possibility, he had opened a room by the hour. The front desk showed a professional smile and said, Sir, it is against our hotel policy to disclose customer privacy. Upon hearing this, Lin Shen squinted his eyes, intending to activate his true sight, only to find out that even the front desk didn't know. With so many guests checking in every day, it was normal for them not to know. Thinking about this, Lin Chen simply took out his wallet and pulled out a wad of money, not sure how much it was. But judging by the thickness, it should be enough to stay here for a month. I'll ask again, when was the room opened, and what kind of room was opened? Seeing the pile of money on the table, the front desk's eyes sparkled. Swallowing hard, he said, Sir, I'm sorry, it's against our hotel policy. Another wad of money appeared on the table. Seeing this, the front desk completely disregarded the hotel's policy and immediately smiled like a flower, Sir, please wait a moment, I will help you check. Saying that, the front desk reached out to take the money on the table, but was directly stopped by Lin Xian. Lin Xiao, what are you doing, there's no need to use so much money, I would feel guilty. It's okay, don't worry. With that, Lin Xian reached out and held Lin Xian's soft hand. Sir, the room was opened an hour ago, it's a room by the hour, and there is still one hour left. Getting the answer he wanted, Lin Chen snapped his fingers and said with a slight smile, Thank you, beautiful. 
A flirtatious look made the front desk dazzled. Even she didn't know when Lin Chen left, back in the car, Lin Chen looked at Lin Chen with a complex expression. Next, we wait for your brother to come out. Lin Xian didn't say anything, just sat in the car. Because there were only two people in the car, the atmosphere was a bit awkward for a while. Lin Chen's hand had unconsciously reached out to touch Lin Xian's leg, leaning on her shoulder, smelling her unique scent. It smells good. Lin Chen shyly glanced at Lin Chen and found that she didn't reject this closeness, instead feeling a sense of being filled up inside. It made her ignore the deepest desire in her heart. The two of them maintained this posture until the appearance of someone. Lin Xin saw it and immediately got up from Lin Xian, saying, Don't get out of the car, watch the show from inside. With that, Lin Xin pressed a few buttons in the car and then got out of the car. Looking at the empty shoulder, Lin Xian suddenly felt like something was missing, feeling empty inside. And as Lin Chen walked out and took a look his appearance is quite attractive, especially those peach blossom eyes, I wonder how many girls he has charmed. The girl in his arms seems to be attracted to his face only. Otherwise, she wouldn't accompany him to this kind of hourly room. After figuring out the general personalities of the two people, Lin Chen went straight into action. Beauty, you are really good looking. Lin Chen pretended to sincerely compliment on the surface, but in fact, he was already a bit unacceptable in his heart. The girl looks okay, just like a current internet celebrity face. Big eyes, pointed chin, small nose, internet celebrity bangs, not much distinctive features. Hearing someone praise her, the beauty glanced at Lin Chen and nodded in thanks, thank you. This thank you was not well received. Hui Hui, what are you thanking for? Do you even know who he is? Just thank him. His woman was being flirted with by a man on the street, and instead of giving him a slap, she smiled and said thank you? This immediately ignited his anger, pushing Lin Chen away, who are you, buddy? Can't you see my girlfriend is taken? I'm right here, are you blind? Fortunately, Lin Chen had a purpose, otherwise, he would have taken care of this person long ago. According to Lin Chen's temper, he really couldn't stand it. Lin Chen, sitting in the car, could see the situation outside clearly. Looking at her brother's current state, she was itching with hatred. But at the same time, she was a bit scared, afraid that Lin Chen would get angry and harm her brother. Thinking about this, she couldn't help but sweat. I was just complimenting your girlfriend's good looks, did I say something wrong? Lin Chen added, since you said that, let me ask your girlfriend a question. Beauty, do you mind changing partners? I won't take you to stay in hourly hotels, nor let you be harassed by other men on the street. Upon hearing this, Hui Hui didn't rush to deny, but first looked Lin Chen up and down. Then she looked at the car behind Lin Chen, her eyes shimmering with a golden light. It seemed a bit awkward, she also looked at the man. There was no comparison at all. One was successful in career, handsome, driving a Lamborghini. The other was poor, average-looking, couldn't even afford a bicycle. There was no need for comparison, the answer was already obvious. Looking at Hue Hue's eyes, the mocking words came out of her mouth, don't be fooled by some people who look like monsters, maybe their face is fake, the car is borrowed, and their heart is incomplete. This sarcastic remark really pleased Lin Chen, completely shattering the perfect image he had created. I was just asking a question, don't be nervous. Lin Chen was about to pat him on the shoulder, but he dodged. Do you have no shame? Can't you see I don't want to talk to you at all? Why is your face so big? He was already impatient, and looking at Lin Chen's expression, he had reached the point of no return. Buddy, I'm treating you like a human being, that's why I'm saying so much to you here. How can you be shameless? As he spoke, Lin Chen took out a retractable iron rod from his pocket, about three meters thick. Lin Chen in the car couldn't help but be shocked, fearing that something bad would happen to her brother. She subconsciously swallowed and saw Lin Chen waving the iron rod, her body trembling, not knowing what to say. When Hui Hui saw Lin Chen's current state, her eyes were shining. Lin Chen smirked and said, Hui Hui, come with me, this man is not worthy of you. Okay. Just with one sentence, Hui Hui directly let go of his arm, walked beside Lin Chen, and held his hand. You. 
Hui Hui, how could you do this? Originally intended to scold Lin Chen, but seeing the iron rod in his hand, I couldn't say anything for a while. Just looking at Hui Hui's appearance of loving the rich and despising the poor, made me so angry that I wanted to slap her. However, Hui Hui completely disregarded it, not only did she not apologize when she saw me angry, but she became even more aggressive. What's wrong with me? Look at your poor appearance. If it weren't for you looking decent, I wouldn't even be with you. Oomph, you spend less time in bed with me than my ex did, and you still have the nerve to book a room with me? How ridiculous. After saying this, Hui Hui smiled and looked at Lin Chen. Honey, do you want to book a room with me? I'm very good at it. As she spoke, she winked and looked flirtatious. Lin Qian in the car furrowed her brows inexplicably, feeling uncomfortable. She had to swallow her anger and couldn't spit it out. She could only point at Lin Chen and say, you just wait for me. After saying this, she left angrily. After seeing her leave, Hui Hui stuck to Lin Chen like an octopus, with her hands wandering on his body. Little brother, I don't even know your name yet. Lin Chen. Lin Chen? Hui Hui was stunned for a moment, her eyes looking surprised at Lin Chen, but then she laughed lightly. There was a hint of probing in her words, could it be the Lin Chen from the Lin family? What do you think? Lin Chen raised an eyebrow and asked. Hui Hui fell silent for a moment because she didn't know for sure. However, she stopped her actions. Let me tell you why I did these things. Lin Chen said, looking at his car and snapping his fingers. Lin Chen walked out of the car and stood next to Lin Chen. What's going on? Hui Hui was a bit confused for a moment about this operation. But she still looked at the two of them. She is my sister. I know my brother has other women outside, and I can tell you, he has more than just you. Seeing Hui Hui's widened eyes, one could imagine how skilled she was at coaxing girls. You know about my family's financial situation. If my brother dates properly, I won't say much. So what I'm doing now is to forcibly tell my brother that his actions are wrong. After hearing what Lin Xian said, Hui Hui's mind was in a state of confusion. It took her about a minute to understand the specific situation. So, you really are Lin Chun from the Lin family? Lin Xian deflated for a moment. She had said so much, but the woman in front of her still focused on Lin Chen. She shook her head helplessly, waiting for Lin Chen's answer. Yes. Lin Chen said, putting his arm around Lin Chen's waist, ignoring the bewildered Hui Hui behind him, and the two of them got into the car. For some reason, Lin Chen felt very satisfied with Lin Chen's recent actions. The sense of satisfaction was unprecedented, filling her heart completely. The next woman will continue to break up tomorrow. After all, according to Lin Chen, there were quite a few women, otherwise she wouldn't have lost one. Without much anger. Listening to Lin Chen's words, Lin Chen felt warm in her heart for a moment. Thank you. Why be polite with me? You said that after I help you, you'll agree to do whatever I ask. If you end up dissatisfied with what I ask you to do, you'll hate me, won't you? Lin Chen chuckled. So, don't rush to thank me. Lin Chen said, reaching out to rub her head. After taking Lin Chen back home, Lin Chen returned to his splendid mansion, just walked in, I saw three maids playing happily there, chasing each other, it was really very pleasant. Phoenix was sitting alone on the sofa, looking at the three people in front of her calmly, she must have been used to their appearance. Lin Chen walked to Phoenix's side and sat down. Why don't you join them? Master is joking, my personality is not like that. Oh? Your personality doesn't allow you to be a maid, but aren't you still my maid now? Lin Chen reached out and pinched Phoenix's chin, their eyes met. Unintentionally, Lin Chen's Adam's apple moved. Slowly leaning towards Phoenix's lips. Phoenix subconsciously wanted to dodge, but was directly controlled by Lin Chen, unable to move at all. Hmm dash Phoenix whimpered softly, looking at Lin Chen's handsome face in front of her, her mind momentarily blank. And it was because of this distracted movement that Lin Chen became more audacious, starting to touch her all over. Before long, Phoenix's legs had been weakened by his teasing. 
She almost couldn't control herself and was about to lie down on the bed. Seeing this, Lin Shin just smiled slightly, then reached out and hugged Phoenix, walking towards the room. It wasn't until she was placed on the bed that Phoenix realized what situation she was in. Her mind cleared in an instant, she stared in astonishment at Lin Chen. Master, I. She said, then hid towards the innermost part of the bed. Seeing this movement, Lin Chen chuckled, What, are you so eager already? Hearing this, Phoenix's face immediately turned red. About a minute later, she looked at Lin Chen. Master, I. Before Phoenix could finish her sentence, Lin Chen interrupted, What, your relatives are here again? Phoenix was first stunned, then suddenly seemed to remember something, her face turned embarrassed. And it was in this awkward moment that Lin Chen seized the opportunity, walked directly in front of Phoenix, and almost forcefully pressed her down. Hmm dash a muffled groan, she looked at Lin Chen on top of her, and began to resist desperately. Lin Chen, on the other hand, smelled the cold fragrance on Phoenix's body. Phoenix naturally felt it, the atmosphere became awkward for a moment, she dared not move, afraid that Lin Chen would do something inappropriate. However, the situation was already set tonight, if Lin Chen didn't act, it would be too cowardly. Lin Chen directly lifted Phoenix's arms above her head, restraining her. Master, I. Phoenix, I have given you many chances, I have let you adapt for so long, it's time for you to fulfill your own responsibilities. With that, Lin Chen ignored whatever else Phoenix had to say, and leaned on her neck, starting to suck. Moon dash because it felt good, Phoenix couldn't help but make a slight sound. Just as the last layer of defense on Phoenix was removed, she suddenly realized that she was naked under Lin Chen. Master, please, Hmm dash Hmm. Even now, please? With that, Lin Chen disregarded Phoenix's words. Early the next morning, Lin Chen found that Phoenix was no longer by his side, which surprised him. After being with him, most people would be exhausted the next morning, but Phoenix was different, not only did she wake up earlier than others, but she was also nowhere to be found. Lin Chen smiled, in any case, he had finally subdued the pride of this little maid, Phoenix. Ding, congratulations to the host for successfully conquering a female with a score of over 90, adding 1000 points. Hearing the system's voice, Lin Chen asked, System, did you forget to assign a task again? Yes. Host, your next task is to earn 1 billion within a week. What, earn 1 billion? Lin Chen seemed to have heard something funny like a joke. It's one thing to spend a billion, but how to earn a billion? Thinking about this, Lin Chen couldn't come up with any good ideas for a long time, so he simply went downstairs and saw everyone busy there. Only Feng Huang was sitting on the sofa, arms crossed, lost in thought. Lin Chen walked over and sat directly next to Feng Huang, throwing a flirtatious glance at her. Young master, Feng Huang's face immediately blushed, and she even greeted Lin Chen, a complete change from her usual self. Lin Chen took a closer look and found that Feng Huang's affection for him had increased to 60 points. This discovery made Lin Chen feel pleased for a while. Considering Feng Huang's aloof personality, it was difficult to even get her attention, let alone affection. And now, Lin Chen had managed to skyrocket her affection for him to 60. It was really not easy. Did you sleep well last night? After hearing this slightly ambiguous question, Feng Huang nodded, hmm, the answer was still just a few words, but Lin Chen knew that Feng Huang's heart was already burning, just lacking an opportunity. Lin Xiao Just as Lin Chen was about to say something, he was interrupted by the manager. Lin Xiao, your exclusive booking will expire starting tomorrow. Upon hearing this news, Lin Chen didn't react much, just waved his hand to indicate that he knew. He then looked at the other three maids and said, you have an hour to pack up, we're going home. Although they had been living here for 10 days, the luxurious surroundings didn't feel like home at all. The girls had long wanted to go back, and now upon hearing Lin Chen's words, they excitedly went back to their rooms to pack. Only Feng Huang sat on the sofa, looking indifferent. Why aren't you packing? Young master, I can leave at any time. Hearing this response, Lin Chen was very satisfied. This was indeed an excellent example of a personal maid. After the five of them returned home, the four maids immediately went back to their rooms. Mu Qingqing sat on Lin Chen's lap, 
looking happy. Young master, home is still the best, everything has a familiar taste. Due to running down, Mu Qingqing's hair was slightly messy. Lin Shen reached out to help tidy it up, and then heard by his voice, no, I think as long as young master is there, it doesn't matter where we live. What about you, Charin? Me? I don't care. With a proud look, Lin Chen narrowed his eyes but didn't say much. Thinking that he had things to do, he put down Mu Qingqing. All right, since we're back, tidy up your rooms. With that, he handed a black card to Feng Huang. Later, you can let Feng Huang take you out to play and buy some things. But you must follow Feng Huang's orders the whole time. Okay. Finally, we can go out and play. Ha, ah, love you, young master. After giving instructions, Lin Chen patted Feng Huang's shoulder and walked out of the house. This time, Lin Chen drove a relatively low-key car. He had chosen this car initially because he had lost his mind. A red BMW, for ordinary people, it might be a lifelong pursuit, but for Lin Chen, it was just a car abandoned in a corner. Today, Lin Chen drove it to the agreed meeting place with Lin Chen. When Lin Chen saw the car Lin Chen was driving today, she was a bit surprised. So you have another car? Lin Chen smiled, thinking she would be curious why he was driving such a low-end car. But he didn't expect Lin Chen to care about the number of his cars. Thinking of this, Lin Chen reached out and touched Lin Chen's face, I have many cars at home. If you're willing, you can drive them interchangeably in the future. For a moment, the ambiguous atmosphere in the car suddenly intensified. Lin Chen blushed and looked at Lin Chen, her eyes filled with happiness and shyness. With a probing tone, she asked, Are you, confessing to me? Lin Chen raised an eyebrow, Of course, you are so beautiful. If I don't confess to you, who else would I confess to? Just as Lin Chen was about to speak, Lin Chen dodged. Lin Chen was about to ask why when Lin Chen awkwardly took out her vibrating phone. She pointed at the phone apologetically. Lin Chen found it amusing, nodded, and signaled for her to answer the call. Unexpectedly, as soon as she answered the phone, Lin Chen could hear the angry voice on the other end. Lin Chen, what's going on? Why haven't you delivered the money to me yet? It was Lin Biao's voice, and he sounded very angry. If he didn't hear wrong, Lin Biao must be urgently in need of money. After hanging up the phone, Lin Qian looked at Lin Chen with a mournful face. My brother asked me to give him money. Tisk, Lin Chen sneered, then reached out and patted Lin Qian's head, it's okay, I'll take you to see your brother and give him some money. No, I know you have a lot of money, but my brother is like a bottomless pit. No matter how much you give, it's never enough. Lin Qian objected upon hearing that Lin Chen wanted to give money to Lin Biao. Don't worry. Lin Chen didn't react much, just started the car and headed to the place Lin Biao mentioned. Lin Biao had arranged to meet at a park. As soon as Lin Chen parked the car to the side, he saw Lin Biao holding a woman in his arms. This woman looked quite harsh, clearly someone who had been around in society and had been with many men. Lin Chen smirked, got out of. The car with Lin Qian. When Lin Biao saw Lin Chen following, his brows furrowed tightly. Why did you bring him along? He was still resentful about Lin Chen trying to take his woman yesterday, and now he saw him again. Lin Qian retorted impatiently, So what if I bring someone, what's it to you? Instead of answering Lin Qian's question, Lin Biao looked at Lin Chen's car and sarcastically remarked, Oh, what happened? Not driving a Lamborghini today, switch to a BMW? What, yesterday's car was borrowed, and you were in a hurry to return it, right? Lin Shen didn't get angry at this remark, instead leaned against the car and chuckled, exactly, we're poor at home, can't afford a good car. Lin Shen couldn't help but roll her eyes at Lin Shen's words. If Lin Shen's family was poor, then there were hardly any wealthy families in the world. However, Lin Biao coldly sneered at this remark. It's okay, not afraid of being poor, afraid of being poor? As long as you realize your mistakes in the future, you can still hang out with me. Lin Chen almost burst out laughing at this. Hang out with him? In what way? Deal with this kind of woman who knows nothing but how to seduce men. Lin Chen thought about it and shook his head, feeling disgusted at the thought of dealing with such a woman. 
Now, Lin Chen's gaze shifted to the woman in Lin Biao's arms. Miss, you look pretty good. Interested in being friends? Before Lin Chen could finish his sentence, Lin Biao's foot came straight at him. If Lin Chen hadn't dodged in time, he would have been kicked by Lin Biao. For a moment, a hint of anger flashed in Lin Chen's eyes, making Lin Biao shiver. But by the time Lin Biao looked back, Lin Chen had already regained his composure. Lin Biao thought he might have been mistaken and became bolder in his speech. You little bastard, I gave you face, let you hang out with me, but you dare to flirt with my woman? Women running with others, generally the one who feels heartache is not their own woman being lost. It's about losing dignity. This is a matter of a man's dignity, and Lin Biao is naturally the same. The woman who was approached, upon hearing Lin Chen's question, responded with a disdainful attitude, saying, How about it, are you very rich? Do you want to be friends with me? The woman's name is Lu Baofeng, she is a prostitute. Upon hearing this, Lin Chen actually wanted to say, The thing I like the least is money. But doing so would seem pretentious, which doesn't match his usual low-key personality. Thinking about this, he looked at Lu Baofeng. I don't have much money, so I can only afford a BMW. After saying this, he couldn't help but add, Of course, if you really want to be friends with me, I will treat you well. If you were my lover, I would definitely steal an electric bike to support you. Get lost. Lin Biao was completely provoked and directly cursed at Lin Chen. Lin Chen smirked, What? Can't poor people steal someone's partner? Screw you. This is my woman. If she leaves with you, I'll kneel down and call you dad. Beautiful. This is exactly what Lin Chen wanted to hear. His gaze towards Lu Baofeng instantly changed. The confidence he exuded made Lu Baofeng momentarily think that Lin Chen had changed. Earlier, although Lin Chen's eyes showed confidence, they were more like Pan Jun. But now, it was different. In addition to confidence, there was a sense of playfulness in Lin Chen's eyes. The kind of aristocratic demeanor that was inadvertently revealed made Lu Baofeng a bit stunned. Miss, how about this, I'll give you money until you think you're worth it, then you can be with me. Fang Fang, don't believe him, he can't produce money. Trust me, you must not believe him. Lin Biao spoke, his tone full of certainty. However, to Lin Chen, it sounded ridiculous. Things judged by one's intuition are often inaccurate because there is no basis, including now. Since he was going out, Lin Chen didn't carry much cash on him, but he always had his checkbook with him. 100,000. This was Lin Chen's starting price. Upon hearing this price, Lu Baofeng's body trembled slightly. He had been telling her he was rich, but she hadn't seen any money yet. But she didn't expect the person in front of her to directly produce 100,000. Seeing this, greed filled Lu Baofeng's eyes. She almost couldn't believe it. She didn't expect Lin Chen to be so wealthy, offering 100,000 to a woman he didn't know. It made her breath catch for a moment. However, she quickly regained her composure. Humph, I want to see how much money you can really produce. Saying this, she saw Lin Chen continue to raise the price. 200,000. 300,000. 400,000. 500,000. I'll go with you. Lu Baofeng couldn't resist the temptation anymore. Although she knew Lin Chen might continue to increase the price, if she persisted and failed in the end, it would be more pitiful than anyone else. So now, she only knew when to stop. Lin Chen always liked smart women, so he didn't make it difficult and gave Lu Baofeng 500,000. You, you can actually produce 500,000? She looked at Lin Chen in disbelief. I don't want you to be. With me, I just need you to leave. Hey, what do you mean? Do you think it's fun to break up others? Not understanding Lin Chen's behavior, she spent 50,000 but wanted his woman to leave him? And he didn't want anything in return? What kind of operation was this? She was a bit confused for a moment, then heard Lu Baofeng's continuation. Well, I actually wanted to leave him a long time ago. If he hadn't lied to me about being rich, I wouldn't have been with him. Thank you, I'm leaving. Out of nowhere, he took 500,000, 
and even dumped? Pan Krishau? Don't mention how happy she was. However, completely furious. WOC, are you crazy, what do you want in the end? What's wrong with you? Hearing this, Lin Chen looked relaxed in content, crossed his arms, and looked at the angry person. Leisurely said, anyway, you have many women, just find another one. Not to mention Lin Chen, even he himself felt ironic. He raised his fist, ready to punch Lin Chen. But Lin Chen dodged with a quick move. The swift action, not visible to anyone, and the whole process showing a lazy feeling, made him feel discriminated against. What do you want, tell me your purpose? Not wanting to waste time with the person in front of him, he directly asked. Lin Chen thought for a moment, glanced at Lin Chen, and could see some emotions in her eyes. Don't you know what I'm doing? But seeing his confused look, he knew he didn't understand. However, Lin Chen was not in a hurry to explain, just looked at him and said calmly, who just said that as long as Lu Baofang goes with me, you will kneel down and call me dad? His face turned red and said, but, Fang Fang didn't go with you. You're wrong, it's not that Lu Baofang didn't go with me, it's that I don't want this kind of woman who plays tricks. Seeing him silent, Lin Chen directly said, kneel down and call me dad and I can tell you why I've been hindering you from picking up girls. Teeth clenched, he looked at Lin Xian who had been standing silently beside him, and his anger immediately rose. You prodigal thing, when your brother was bullied, you didn't say a word. Lin Xian heard this, her eyes full of sarcasm, how do you usually treat me, don't you have any guilt in your heart? You? He didn't say anything more, because he knew he was at fault, so he looked directly at Lin Xian, his eyes red. If you don't give me a reasonable explanation, then. Hearing the sound of bones cracking, Lin Chen chuckled lightly. Remember, it's a reason, not an explanation. I don't need to explain anything to anyone when I do something. Arrogant, really too arrogant. But he had no qualifications to refute Lin Chen's words, because what Lin Chen said was true. With a thud, the sound of knees hitting the ground. He knelt down, opened his mouth as if he wanted to say something, but couldn't speak for a long time. Hmm. How come, a man dares to say something but not do it? Hearing Lin Chen's words, he closed his eyes, and suddenly shouted, Dad. My son is so obedient. Lin Chen looked at him with a smile. It seemed that he still cared about his reputation. Can you tell me why you want to steal my woman now? He said impatiently, but looking at Lin Chen's eyes, he had softened a lot. However, seeing this, Lin Chen shook his head inside, ah, look at what you've done, it's really hard to say. Lin Chen stepped forward and grabbed Lin Chen's arm, indicating that she would speak. Don't you know why? Lin Chen's emotions were slowly getting out of control, but Lin Chen did not step forward to stop her. Because Lin Chen had been holding back for a long time, and this was a good opportunity to vent. Since Lin Chen had done what he should do, the next thing was left to Lin Chen to do. What has happened to our family, don't you know? Do you dare to say you don't understand the situation at home? But look at what you're doing now. Keeping women outside? I won't say anything if you're in a serious relationship, but you're wasting other girls' youth, do you know that? After saying these words, Lin Chen sighed deeply, her tone seeming to carry a hint of pleading, can you go home and see your parents? I'm asking you if you can. Lin Xian's tone was almost roaring at this point. Feeling a bit moved, she glanced at me, unsure if it was out of fear or genuine remorse, and nodded directly. Brother, Lin Xian spoke up, don't let me see you with those improper women again, otherwise, it won't be so easy to talk about it later. Lin Xian's tone was serious, even making his breathing speed up a bit. After scrutinizing Lin Xian again, he suddenly thought of a question, who, who are you exactly? Somehow, he felt that his sister might have really hooked up with a wealthy man. Lin Chen looked at Lin Chen, chuckled lightly, originally intending to be more discreet, so as not to expose Lin Chen. But seeing Lin Chen's determined gaze, Lin Chen understood her meaning. Lin Chen. What? Lin Chen? The name Lin Chen had been popular in the capital recently, appearing on almost every major TV show. However, he couldn't be certain if the Lin Chen in front of him was the same as the one on TV. The person involved naturally noticed his confusion and chuckled lightly, if. 
You think so, then it is. That was no ordinary person, that was Lin Chen, the heir of the overseas Lin family with countless assets. But now, being brushed off so casually by Lin Chen was simply too understated, too understated. After thinking all this, when he looked up again, he couldn't see Lin Chen's figure anymore, including his own sister. He rubbed his head, thinking about what had just happened, sighed, and took a taxi home. Lin Xian received a call from her father, telling her to come home. Upon hearing this news, Lin Xian felt very happy, and the first person she thanked was Lin Chen. What? Do you still need to be so polite with me? Lin Chen leaned against the window, one hand lightly holding the steering wheel, with a countless charm in his movements. Lin Xian was stunned by his appearance, he was simply too handsome. But she quickly regained her composure and looked at Lin Chen, continuing, Of course, I have to thank you. If it weren't for you, my brother wouldn't have remembered he had a family. Seeing a hint of dimness in Lin Chen's eyes, Lin Chen reached out and patted her hand, immediately changing the subject. You don't need to thank me, have you forgotten, you said that as long as I can help you, you will obey my orders. Remember this, right? Lin Chen confirmed, and when he saw Lin Chen blush and nod, he knew the silly girl had probably misunderstood. It's not a human feast, Lin Chen explained, I'm not that extreme. Then, he parked the car on the side of the road, looked at Lin Chen in front of him, and gave a faint smile. Although the matter at hand was serious, Lin Chen still felt like laughing a bit. Because seeing Lin Chen looking so wary of him, he was already wondering if he was a completely bad person. The car was quiet for over 10 seconds, then Lin Chen spoke seriously, I want you to be my maid. What? Lin Chen thought she had misheard for a moment, but looking at Lin Chen's serious expression, she knew it was true. After hearing this, Lin Chen felt her mind go blank, unable to think at all. After about three minutes of calming herself down, she looked at Lin Chen. Why a maid? In fact, Lin Chen wanted to ask, why not a girlfriend? But after thinking about it, she probably understood her position and didn't indulge in daydreams anymore, this is the first time Lin Chen has encountered this question. He has four maids, but no one has ever asked him this question before. He thought about how to answer this question in his mind. He then snapped his fingers and said, because I have four maids. Upon hearing this, Lin Chen was stunned once again. Secondly, you also know my identity. So, this is my answer. The answer is simple, he has many maids, so he cannot consider having a girlfriend. The second reason is also straightforward. I have money, so I want maids. In fact, Lin Xian had a momentary thought of saying, I don't mind. But the words that came to her mouth were all held back. Lin Xian knew that women like Lin Xian would not accept this kind of play for a while. He considered this point and casually said, I can give you time to think about it. After all, mutual consent is important in such matters, so. I agree. Before Lin Chen could finish his sentence, he heard Lin Chen's response. I agree. If her first answer was impulsive, then this time it was the result of careful consideration. What's wrong, is there something on my face? Seeing Lin Chen looking at her, Lin Chen hesitantly reached out to touch her cheek. Seeing that there was nothing there, she looked back at Lin Chen. But as soon as she raised her head, her eyes met with Lin Chen's gaze. For a moment, there was a flow of emotions between the two. Lin Chen replied, No, it's just that you look so certain in making your choice, it's beautiful. Upon hearing this compliment, Lin Chen's face blushed shyly once again. Lin Chen found himself increasingly fond of the girl who blushed so easily. She looked pure yet alluring. Seeing this, Lin Chen couldn't help but want to taste his new maid. Subsequently, the two of them kissed unabashedly in the car. After about 15 minutes, they reluctantly parted ways. Lin Chen licked his lips with relish, as if savoring a delicious treat. He then took Lin Chen back home. Upon returning home, the four maids were watching TV. When they saw him suddenly bringing a girl back, they probably knew what was going on. Bai Hao was the first to react, walking directly to Lin Chen's side and linking her arm with his as if declaring her sovereignty. Master, is this young lady the new maid you brought back? Although Baiha did not deliberately use the word maid, having only heard the term a few hours ago, it still sounded a bit harsh to Lin Xian's ears. 
But since she was new and had a gentle personality, she didn't dwell on it. Lin Chen kissed Baiya on the cheek and replied, Yes, she's new. Then, he looked at Feng Wang, He Charen, and Mu Qingqing, and introduced, Lin Qian, same surname as me, don't bully the newcomer in the future. Lin Chen was just joking, and the four of them nodded in agreement, don't worry, master, we're not that petty. Lin Qian looked at the four of them and smiled awkwardly. She felt that the four people in front of her seemed to excel in every aspect compared to herself. She was now curious why Lin Chen had brought her home. But before Lin Qian could think too much, she heard Lin Chen instruct, Feng Wang, take Lin Qian to choose a room. Then, as if suddenly remembering something, he continued, and give Lin Qian one million, so she can take care of things at home first. One million? Lin Qian was shocked to hear this amount. Would he just give her one million with just a sentence like that, seeing Lin Qian's surprised expression, Mu Qingqing smiled and explained, Chen Chen, don't be surprised. The young master is very good to us, and this money is nothing to him. Young master. Yes, the young master. After speaking with them, Lin Qian walked out directly, not knowing what else he had to do. But Lin Qian looked at Lin Qian's back and felt a strange emotion in her heart for a moment. Qian Qian, what's wrong? Are you reluctant to leave the young master? Mu Qingqing teased, but Lin Qian denied it directly. No. Then they chatted about how they became maids for the young master. Mu Qingqing smiled and introduced, these two, Feng Huang and Bai Ha, are among our earliest maids, also personal maids. He Charan is a college classmate of our young master, forced to become a maid. As for me, I was selected from ten girls by the young master, of course, it was voluntary. And you, how did you come here? After Mu Qingqing finished introducing, she was curious about how Lin Xian came here. I, I guess it was voluntary too. Come on, tell us more. Seeing a story to listen to, Mu Qingqing couldn't help but get excited. After leaving home, Lin Chen began to think about how to earn a billion within a week. It was already the second day, but he still hadn't thought of a good way. He took out his phone and called manager Lu. Young master, are you facing some problems? Manager Lu knew his young master's character well, and he wouldn't call unless something was wrong. I want to ask you, how can I earn a billion within a week? Manager Lu was stunned, not knowing how to answer. Young master, do you need money? However, in that instant, Lin Chen suddenly came up with a good idea on how to earn a billion in a week. Manager Lu, I got it, hang up. Just after hanging up the phone, Lin Chen already had a rough plan in his mind. Since that was the case, he could do three things together. First, he could start an assassination team, with Bai Ha, no one would be safe from assassination. Second, he could build an entertainment venue, with Feng Huang managing it, it would definitely be a successful business. Third, he could open a law firm, with his own true sight, no case would be unsolvable. Thinking about this, Lin Chen already had a direction in mind. However, building an entertainment venue was a bit difficult at the moment, as it would take a month to construct a place, and he only had a week. Thinking about this, Lin Chen called Feng Huang. Now, I'm going to various places on your website to promote, the Lin Law Firm and Baiha Assassination Grand Opening. What? Feng Huang on the other end clearly didn't understand Lin Chen's meaning, but he didn't explain much, just thinking about the next steps. When he returned home, he saw Feng Huang tapping on the computer keyboard. When she saw him come back, she stood up. Young master, the task you ordered has been completed. The phone number left is yours, but I have processed it so that others cannot find information about the phone number. Hearing this, Lin Chen was about to say something when his phone rang. Hello, is this Bai Ha assassination? Yes. I need you to help me assassinate someone, can you do it? Tell me the person's identity. It's our deputy mayor of Jingchun, Li Zhenghong. Upon hearing this news, Lin Chen couldn't help but speculate that the person calling him was Zhang Jichi. But then he dismissed that thought. Okay, the price is 1 million per person, money to be transferred to the account, with a 50,000 deposit. Lin Chen's voice was cold and serious as he spoke. Upon hearing this, the other person made an unreasonable request, I want to see you in person. 
Upon hearing this, Lin Chen hesitated slightly. If you don't see me, I won't do it. It's up to you. After saying this, just as he was about to hang up the phone, he heard the voice on the other end continue, Sorry, sorry, I'm just a little worried. I'll transfer the money to your account after I've done the job. After hanging up the phone, all five maids in the room looked at Lin Chen, their eyes filled with astonishment and surprise, which made Lin Chen chuckle lightly. What's on your mind? Young master, how did you start doing this business? Yes, young master, this is murder. Aren't you afraid of being caught by the police? He Churin said impatiently. Lin Chen walked directly to He Churin, grabbed her chin, and said, So, you really want your man to be caught by the police? Upon hearing this, He Churin didn't answer impatiently. Lin Chen glanced at Bai Ha and said seriously, Listen, I need to make a billion in a week, so the law firm and Bai Ha assassination are my means. Of course, if possible, I will also establish my own commercial empire. It will be a magnificent enterprise that monopolizes the entire capital city, and also a money empire. After hearing Lin Chen's words, some people's eyes were filled with longing. All right, Bai Ha, I'll leave the assassination of Li Zhenghong to you. Lin Chen saw the bank information on his phone and saw that the money had come in, and added, it's best to act tonight. Tomorrow morning, I need to see the news. Yes, young master. Tonight was destined to be a restless night. However, that was only for others. Bai Ha was carrying out the assassination, while Lin Chen was lying in bed with Lin Qian, doing something that left people to their imagination. Early the next morning, Lin Chen got up very early. Just as he sat up, he heard the voice of the system in his mind. Ding, congratulations to the host for successfully conquering a woman with a score of over 90 points, and the points automatically increased by 1000. Friendly reminder, there are five days left until the host's task time. Lin Shin didn't pay much attention, just went downstairs and turned on the TV. Just as he turned on the TV, he saw Bai Ha, who was wearing pajamas, sitting next to him. Good morning, young master. Good morning. Young master, are you here to watch the news about the assassination last night? Yes. After all, this was the first business deal Lin Shen had done himself, so he had to pay attention. But before the news on TV started, Bai Ha asked Lin Shen a question. Young master, do you know that last night when I went to assassinate, I saw Li Zhenghong forcing himself on a woman? Lin Shen smiled, of course I know that Li Zhenghong is that kind of person, otherwise I wouldn't have let you kill him. Forcing himself on a woman is shameful for many men. If you don't have the ability, then don't do it. Forcing yourself will only make others laugh at you. Just as Lin Shen had this thought in his mind, he saw the news on TV. This morning at 5 o'clock, the body of Deputy Mayor Li Zhenghong was found in his room, with a woman beside him who had fainted. The police determined this to be a homicide, and the killer placed a lily flower next to the body. What could be the intention behind this? We hope everyone continues to pay attention. They had no intention of listening to the rest of the conversation. Lin Chen looked at the lily and smiled. Well done, you did the job excellently. With that, Lin Chen leaned in to kiss the corner of the lily's lips, as a reward for her. Lin Chen's phone beeped. Checking it, he saw a bank transfer notification for the final payment of 50,000 from last night, now totaling 1 million. Still a long way from a billion, but Lily's successful first assassination and the lily flower by the bed had made it clear to all the big shots what it meant. Lin Chen's phone started ringing incessantly. The pace was overwhelming, making it seem like the assassination industry was in high demand. Nevertheless, he answered each call. Soon, Lin Chen had selected five individuals for Lily. These five people are located in different provinces and cities, each in a high position, so the price is double from yesterday. A total of 10 million for the task, how many days to complete? You'll receive the message by noon tomorrow. With that, Lily began to prepare for the assassinations. Due to Lily's busy schedule, Lin Chen didn't have much time to stay at home. The once lively home now felt desolate. One day, Lin Chen received a case, coincidentally a call from Zhang Jiqi. They agreed to meet. When Zhang Jiqi saw Lin Chen, he stood up and shook hands. Lin, long time no see. 
Lin Chen replied, we just met the day before yesterday. Zhang Jiqi paused, then joked, well, a day without seeing you feels like three autumns. Lin Chen smiled and said, I wouldn't dare do that to you. Lin Chen was more at ease with Zhang Jiqi, as he had helped him rise to power. Lin Chen cut to the chase, if you have something to say, go ahead. Zhang Jiqi observed Lin Chen's reaction and expression as he mentioned Li Jinghong's matter. Not seeing any reaction from Lin Chen, Zhang Jiqi hesitated, did I overthink it? But then he shook his head, no, that shouldn't be the case. He cautiously asked Lin Chen, do you know anything about this matter, did you do it? Lin Chen crossed his legs, poured a glass of wine, and drank it. After finishing the glass, he looked at Zhang Jiqi. If I said I did it, what would you do? Lin Chen's expression turned serious and cold, devoid of his usual playful tone. Zhang Jiqi felt uneasy, but remained composed. Ha, Lin, you're just joking, I hope you don't take it seriously. Lin Chen shook his head and chuckled, so, now that you're a mayor, you're afraid to continue investigating the killer? Zhang Jiqi was now in a dilemma. If he continued the investigation, it would lead to Lin Chen. But if he stopped, he would betray Lin Chen's efforts to help him rise to power. With Lin Chen's words, Zhang Jiqi knew that the person behind the matter was the young LIN.SO. He also casually said, Ha, Lin Xiao, rest assured, I will definitely continue to investigate this matter. After all, I cannot let down your efforts, Lin Xiao. Lin Chen's hand tapped on the table, sounding particularly crisp in this quiet room. This sound was torment for Zhang Jiqi. He couldn't figure out what Lin Chen was thinking, so he couldn't make a good judgment. Ha, ah, Zhang Jiqi, don't be nervous, I was just joking with you. After hearing Lin Chen say this, Zhang Jiqi took a deep breath and wiped the sweat off his forehead. Young master, you really know how to joke. Lin Chen poured a glass of wine and leisurely drank it alone. Zhang Jiqi's main purpose in coming today was to see if his thoughts and the truth of the matter were in line. After understanding everything now, he felt much more relaxed. The two chatted for a long time, and when Lin Chen's phone rang, Zhang Jiqi left politely. Young master, my task is complete. Upon hearing Lily's words, Lin Chen unconsciously nodded in approval. She was indeed his personal maid, excelling in all aspects, which made Lin Chen very pleased. All right. I'll be back soon. Lin Chen looked at his income and had already earned 10 million. He still needed another 90 million to reach 1 billion. Spending 1 billion in normal circumstances was very easy, but earning 1 billion now was extremely difficult. However, Lin Chen didn't think too much about it now. Instead, he went straight back home and gave Lily a big kiss as she sat on the sofa. Lin Chen could see dark circles under Lily's eyes and her tired face which made him feel a bit sorry. Feng Huang, take down all the online ads for me. Upon hearing this, Lily was surprised, young master, what's wrong? Did I do something wrong? No, you did too well. Lin Chen was a man, and since it was a task given by the system, he had to earn it himself. Relying entirely on a woman was not Lin Chen's style. With that in mind, Lin Chen reached out and patted Lily's head, don't overthink it, I just noticed how tired you've been these past few days. It seems I neglected you. Rest at home, and leave the rest to me. Lily looked at Lin Chen, a faint smile appearing on her lips. After giving his instructions, Lin Chen said to Lily, to reward you, I'll take you to a bar. With that, Lin Chen looked at the other four people, let's go together. At first, Lin Qian was a bit hesitant about going to the bar, but seeing everyone so happy, she didn't want to spoil the mood and followed them to a very lively bar. Just as Lin Chen parked the car and walked to the entrance, a bartender approached him. Sir, hello, how many of you are there? Would you like us to open a room for you? Jokingly, Lin Chen brought a girl, so of course, they needed a room. How else could they have fun? Six of us, open your best private room for us. Lin Chen was generous and straightforward in his request. However, seeing the awkward expression of the bartender, he was a bit puzzled. But it was only a moment of confusion, and Lin Chen already knew why the bartender looked that way. What, is someone already in private room number one? Lin Chen had never been there, but he knew that private room number one was the best. 
The bartender immediately nodded and rubbed his chin, how about this, sir, I'll take you to the VIP room, the environment there is also very good. Lin Shen glanced at Lily, and Lily immediately nodded, that's fine, young master. When the waiter thought that Lin Shen would agree and was about to take them, he heard Lin Shen's next words. All right, go call the people in private room number one to come out, switch them to the VIP room, and I'll cover their bill for tonight. Lin Shen was already very polite, but he still saw the waiter looking embarrassed and said, Sir, you are putting me in a difficult position. I dare not go up to the people in private room number one. Seeing the waiter's troubled expression, Lin Shen knew that there was probably a big shot inside. However, no matter how big a shot was, in Lin Shen's eyes, did that count as a shot? Not at all. Lin Shen lit a cigarette, sat on the sofa with five beautiful women, crossed his legs, and seemed to be thinking about how to handle the situation. But in reality, Lin Shen was thinking about what kind of alcohol they should drink next. Go call your manager. Since the current waiter was unable to meet Lin Shen's demands, he had the right to request a replacement. But the waiter clearly did not want to call the manager and was still trying, Sir, trust me, our VIP room is very nice, you. Just go call the manager, stop talking so much. He Chu Ran said a bit impatiently. She hated this kind of person the most. Lin Shen looked at He Chu Ran, his eyes showing complex emotions, but He Chu Ran's eyes only showed arrogance, with a hint of liking. However, Lin Chen ignored her directly. Soon, the manager came over. Seeing the grand scene and the many women around Lin Chen, he knew that Lin Chen was not someone to be trifled with. He nodded and bowed, saying, Sir, hello, I am the manager here, may I ask if you need anything? Lin Chen patiently continued, Go, and bring out the people from private room number one and switch them to the VIP room. Also, tell them that I will cover their bill for tonight. Hearing Lin Chen's words and his demeanor, the manager was a bit at a loss. He smiled awkwardly and said, Sir, it's not that our bar doesn't respect you, but... It's because the people in private room number one are not to be trifled with. And isn't it true that everything has to be done in order? The manager tried to persuade Lin Chen, but Lin Chen, being who he was, would not easily give in. He raised his hand, signaling the manager to stop talking. Regardless, you have 15 minutes. Either you handle this matter yourself, or you bring me to private room number one, and I will handle it myself. Upon hearing this, the manager probably realized that there was no point in arguing with Lin Chen. He looked at Lin Chen and, feeling helpless, compromised, all right, let me go and ask on your behalf first, to see if they are willing to switch. With that, after seeing Lin Chen nod, the manager went directly to private room number one. Meanwhile, Lin Chen sat here, watching the beautiful women on stage singing and dancing, his eyes fixed, which seemed to Yi Chu Ran to be lustful. Oomph, what? Hearing Yi Chu Ran's voice, Lin Chen knew that Yi Chu Ran had misunderstood something again. He looked at her straight in the eyes, full of scrutiny. It's nothing, young master, you continue to watch the beautiful women on stage. Hearing this, Lin Chen knew that Yi Chu Ran was jealous. He reached out and pinched her cheek, indulgently saying, You, why are you so fond of being jealous every day? With that, he directly hugged her, looking very fond of her. But Yi Chu Ran still said in a bad mood, Wow, what do you mean I'm fond of being jealous? I'm not jealous at all. You are Lin Xiao, how could I dare to be jealous? Originally thought that Lin Shen would be angry, after all, Yi Chu Ran called his name. But unexpectedly, he not only wasn't angry, but continued, jealous, jealous, how can you not be jealous, with these conditions now, vinegar can be eaten casually. Ha ha. Bai ha couldn't help it and burst out laughing. He Charan's face couldn't hold back a bit, glanced at Bai ha, and rolled his eyes. What are you laughing at, what's so funny? Ah. Just as Bai ha finished speaking, she could clearly feel the choking sensation on her neck. Lowering her head, she saw that Bai He's hand was accurately pinching her neck. Young master, look, she's bullying me. Lin Chen frowned, Bai Ha, let go. Bai Ha pouted and released her hand, but her gaze towards Yi Churin remained unfriendly. Lin Chen, seeing the war between these two women, sighed helplessly. Now he finally understood why the emperors in ancient times were all so annoyed, all because of these women causing trouble. However, Lin Chen absolutely couldn't say anything to make them get along peacefully, 
he could only intervene slightly when they were about to fight. The rest depended on their own fate. After a brief moment of quiet on this side, the manager walked over directly. Just by looking at his eyes, Lin Chen could tell that he had run into trouble. Seeing the look in Lin Chen's eyes, the manager also felt helpless. Sir, it's not that our bar is not good, it's just that the guests in private room number one are really unwilling. As if afraid of angering Lin Chen, he added, but the guests in private room number one said that as long as you don't bother them, they will cover all expenses at the bar tonight. Ha! Huh? Lin Chen rubbed his ear upon hearing those words, feeling amused. I set this condition for them, why are they now turning it back on me as it is? How could he tolerate this? Absolutely not. Lin Chen stood up directly, leisurely saying, I want to see who dares to speak with such arrogance. Manager, lead the way. The manager, fearing trouble, walked away quickly. When Lin Chen reached the door of private room number one and was about to push it open, he was stopped by the manager. With just a glance from Lin Chen, the manager's legs went weak with fear. He then explained, Sir, let's forget about it, the people inside really can't be provoked. Lin Chen didn't want to say anything more to the manager, he just glanced at Bai Ha, who immediately understood and moved the manager aside. Feng Wang stepped forward, opened the door of the private room, and as soon as the door opened, a strong smell of alcohol and various women's perfumes wafted out. Lin Chen coughed several times before he could react. The mixture of these smells was really unbearable. Ha ha ha! However, seeing Lin Chen's reaction, several people inside the private room burst into laughter. Seeing Lin Chen's comical appearance, they couldn't help but mock him. Looks like this small fry has never been to a bar before. What, are your parents too strict and don't let you come? Or do you simply not know what kind of place this is? You still want to compete with us for private room number one, that's just too arrogant. Bai Ha was about to act upon hearing these words, but Lin Chen stopped her. Oh, what's this, the little lady is angry. Be good, don't be angry, let big brother pamper you. As he spoke, he intended to reach out and pull Bai Ha over, but Lin Chen grabbed his wrist with one hand. The two locked eyes, and a moment of killing intent flashed in Lin Chen's eyes. The person in front of him was scared stiff. That kind of gaze was something he had never seen before, making him feel deep despair. My woman, keep your hands. Off her. As soon as the words fell, Lin Chen pushed forward abruptly, causing the person to stumble and fall to the ground. Ugh, a muffled groan was heard, and the manager, with a mournful expression, walked in. Gentlemen, please don't cause trouble. Spare me for the sake of my little brother. Before the manager could finish his words, he was thrown out by Baiha and she reached out to close the private room door. In an instant, only Lin Chen's group and the group opposite remained in the room. One person from the opposite group had come in with Lin Chen and had been sitting on the sofa drinking without getting up. Lin Chen naturally noticed the situation on the other side, smirked, and sat directly on the sofa. Just as he was about to relax and bring the glass of wine to his lips, he was interrupted by a force. Lin Chen quickly reacted to prevent the glass from falling to the ground. However, due to the repeated disturbances from the opposite side, he no longer intended to drink the wine. With a sudden forceful movement, he threw the glass at the person in front of him. Boss! Be careful! Bang! The glass fell to the ground and shattered. Lin Chen, curious about the person in front of him, saw a transparent panel appear. Name, Nishan Personality, Cold Skills, Taekwondo LV4 Seeing this, Lin Chen probably knew the identity of the other party. The Nye family, a well-known martial arts family in the capital. Because each member of their family is a Taekwondo master, it is best to avoid provoking them to avoid trouble, as one might not even know how they died. Lin Chen, however, was unfazed. He even had the urge to compare his Thai boxing skills with this so-called Taekwondo master. Of course, this was just a passing thought. Tell me your purpose, Nishan suddenly spoke, his voice deep and different from the young idols on TV. Lin Chen found his voice magnetic and somewhat admirable. Change the private room, Lin Chen's response was concise, as he believed the manager had already discussed it with them. Despite the refusal, Lin Chen was the type of person who would take matters into his own hands if necessary. 
No change. Nia Shan refused directly, without any hesitation. Hearing this, Lin Chen smiled. Since we both like this private room, how about this, we have a fight, and whoever wins gets to stay in this private room, and the loser leaves voluntarily. Nia Shan raised an eyebrow, seemingly surprised by Lin Chen's audacity to challenge him. But at the same time, a slight smile appeared on his lips, exuding confidence in every move. Boss, don't agree to him. Fighting with someone like him already determines the outcome. Yes, boss, you will definitely win. Boss, don't bother with useless things. Boss, don't fight. Despite their advice, Nia Shan looked at Lin Chen and replied with a smile, okay. Boss. They were about to say more, but Nia Shan stopped them directly. Bai Ha, upon hearing this, felt nervous. Young master, you can't. You don't know anything. Bai Ha stopped speaking immediately after saying this. She couldn't belittle her young master indirectly. Fortunately, Lin Chen didn't mind and was focused on Nia Shan. But Bai Ha was still worried and had already started contacting people, ready to send them to the hospital if anything happened. If Lin Chen knew what Bai Ha was doing, he would probably find it adorable however, he didn't have time to think much now, just looked at Nia Shan in front of him and chuckled lightly. Let's begin. The two arrived at an open space and started their duel. Duels between experts probably start with a stare down, so the two began with a few minutes of staring at each other. Lin Chen's eyes were fierce, and at this moment, what could be seen in his eyes was no longer playful or casual, but full of killing intent and seriousness. For a moment, neither of them gave in, just looking at each other slowly. On Nia Shan's side, the four people there were acting as bystanders, discussing the situation here. Look at that guy, pretending to be serious, he must be showing off. Yeah, he doesn't know his own strength, trying to fight our leader, he needs to prove himself first. It's okay, let our leader teach him a lesson, it's good to learn a lesson. Oh, he must have lost his mind. Hearing the comments from the other side, Bai Ha and her friends were not convinced, so they directly retorted, how can you speak like that, don't look down on people. Don't be too sure, the winner is not certain yet. Wow, you guys are so blind. Don't talk while watching the fight. Feng Wang, on the other hand, just looked at Lin Chen without saying a word. Although they spoke confidently, each of them was uncertain in their hearts. Let's begin. Someone shouted, and they finally looked at Nia Shan and Lin Chen. They saw Nia Shan launching the first attack, a sidekick aimed at Lin Chen's head. Lin Chen easily dodged it by sidestepping. Nia Shan felt uncomfortable, so he quickly followed up with a double kick, his leg strength fierce enough to make it difficult for Lin Chen to evade. But now, Lin Chen reached out and grabbed Nia Shan's leg. He started attacking from left and right, furrowing Nia Shan's brow, as his leg couldn't move. He could only use his remaining leg to attempt a high kick, barely avoiding Lin Chen's moves. Impressive. Lin Chen praised. You're not bad yourself. Nia Shan said lightly, exerting force under his feet again. By this point, Bai Ha's eyes were wide open, watching Lin Chen's skillful performance, almost unable to believe that he was their young master. His swift, accurate, and fierce attacks were simply amazing. Taekwondo and Muay Thai are actually completely incomparable, one using legs and the other using fists. For someone else, it might be a bit challenging, but for Lin Chen, it was a piece of cake. After about 15 minutes, the two still hadn't determined a winner. However, in the final moment, when Nia Shan unleashed a series of three high kicks, Lin Chen swiftly moved and struck towards Nia Shan's stomach. Bang! Nia Shan fell to the ground in a cross position, the sound of bones tearing entering everyone's ears. Wow! Of course, Lin Chen didn't come out unscathed either, as his footing was unstable, causing him to step back several times before stabilizing himself. Leader! Leader, are you okay? Oh my! I can't move. Seeing Nia Shan's condition, Lin Chen took the tissue handed to him by Bai Ha, wiped his sweat, and helped Nia Shan up, who barely managed to stand. You're awesome. Nia Shan looked at Lin Chen, his eyes no longer as arrogant as before, now with a hint of admiration. Seeing this, Lin Chen modestly said, You're too kind, just some fancy moves. Ahem. 
Nye Shan coughed more severely upon hearing this remark. But he still looked at Lin Chen and didn't say much more. Here, it's yours. After saying that, he left, but then seemed to remember something and added, I'll cover tonight's expenses. Watching Nye Shan disappear, Lin Chen finally sat on the sofa to rest. Wow, young master, you're amazing. Yes, young master, you look so handsome just now. Really damn handsome. Young master, I have to say, you are really amazing. Onlookers see the fun, experts see the doorway. Baiha could tell at a glance that the competition just now belonged to a showdown between masters. She never expected Lin Chen to win. Hearing their praise, Lin Chen smiled and said, piece of cake, piece of cake. Then he snapped his fingers. Manager, can we have the private room now? Upon hearing this, the manager immediately ran to Lin Chen, bowing even lower. Sir, of course the private room is yours now. I will send someone to clean it for you. Although the manager did not see what happened inside just now, seeing Nye Shan being helped out and the room being handed over to Lin Chen, he knew who had won and who had lost. The experienced manager naturally understood the situation and immediately called a cleaner to come and tidy up. After making sure everything was clean and Lin Chen's instructions were all prepared, the manager looked at Lin Chen and said, Sir, everything is ready here. If you need anything, just let me know. With that, the manager slowly backed out. After the competition just now, Lin Chen was already thirsty. He picked up a bottle of red wine and started drinking. Wow, young master is amazing. Seeing Lin Chen drink in one go, they all showed infatuated expressions. Ha, uh, Feng Wang, have a drink. Lin Chen looked at Feng Wang with a sly smile, and Feng Wang had no choice but to obey. She picked up a glass from the table and started drinking. And so, the atmosphere in the private room became more lively, and the six of them soon got excited, completely forgetting the unpleasant incident just now. The next morning, Lin Chen woke up with a heavy head and a bit of a headache. Sitting up and looking around the room, he realized he was in his own room. And lying next to him was Lin Qian. Seeing Lin Chen's movements, Lin Qian opened her eyes and smiled at him. Good morning, young master, are you up? Lin Chen nodded in confusion, looking at the condition of the bed, which was not in a mess after a big battle. What happened last night? Young master, you had too much fun last night and drank too much. I didn't drink much, so I and sister Feng Wang brought you back. Seeing Lin Xian's current state, Lin Chen shook his head. He couldn't remember what happened last night. But upon hearing Lin Xian's words, he reached out and patted her. Thank you for your hard work. Lin Xian held Lin Chen's arm and leaned on it, saying, Young master, you don't need to thank me. I am your woman, it's my duty. With that, she reached out and touched Lin Chen's face, looking affectionate, and Lin Chen kissed her forehead. Good girl. Lin Chen went downstairs and saw them all watching TV there, and he chuckled. How was last night, did you have fun? As long as young master is there, we are happy. Bai Ha answered first, and Lin Chen pointed at her, praising, well said. But soon, Lin Chen remembered something. Only three days left to earn one billion. Just three days, time is running out and the task is heavy. Thinking of this, Lin Chen thought of a place he could try. That is the boxing club. This is no ordinary boxing club, but a place where you can make money. Everyone inside is a boxing expert, and there are even domestic Sanda champions. Of course, despite the impressive people. Inside, winning a round can earn a lot of money. Thinking of this, Lin Chen set off immediately. Young master, where are you going? Do you want me to accompany you? Upon hearing Bai He's words, Lin Chen immediately refused. Sitting in the car, Lin Chen thought of his unused points. System, spend all my points to increase my Muay Thai level. Ding, congratulations, host, your Muay Thai level has reached level 6. Upon hearing this level, it was actually a bit insufficient in specific terms, but after thinking it over, there was only this one method left. Through the ability of the true vision eye, one could see what move the opponent would make next, and then quickly counter it. Lin Shin couldn't help but feel excited that he could come up with such a good method. Because this boxing match was something that couldn't be seen by others, 
most of it would take place in more remote areas. And the boxing arena Lin Chen was going to was in the outskirts. Just as he parked his car and got out, he saw a large group of people walking towards the inside, each with an excited look on their faces. Lin Chen squinted his eyes, used the true vision eye to take a look, and then realized that a big shot had come to compete today. Hello, if you need to sign up for the competition, you can fill out this form first, a girl said to Lin Chen, handing him a form. Lin Chen reached out to take it, just about to start filling it out, but was stopped by a man with a black. Alice, why are you giving forms to everyone, our forms are printed out for free. Manager Zhang, I'm sorry, Alice apologized, sticking out her tongue helplessly. She looked at Lin Chen and smiled apologetically. Manager Zhang looked at Lin Chen, his mocking gaze becoming more obvious. I mean, with your small frame, how could you possibly beat our national Sanda champion, dis? Just as manager Zhang was scrutinizing Lin Chen, Lin Chen also took a look at him. Apart from being overweight all over, there was nothing remarkable about him. Especially the belly that looked like it was eight months pregnant, which made Lin Chen couldn't help but sigh. TSK TSK TSK. What do you mean? Feeling mocked, manager Zhang was very unhappy, clenched his fists immediately, and was about to hit Lin Chen. I know I may not be able to beat this, but you, definitely can't beat him. Hearing Lin Chen's casual tone, manager Zhang became even angrier. Looking at Lin Chen with no good intentions, he said, so I'm just reminding you, you better get out of here, as for whether I can beat this, that's none of your business. With that, he snatched the form back and put it in the drawer. As he turned to leave, Lin Chen took a quick step and stood in front of him. His eyes were sharp, a suffocating feeling pressing down on manager Zhang. What if I insist on participating? Manager Zhang's breathing started to accelerate, the sudden pressure making him feel nervous, not knowing where to look, a sense of helplessness washing over him. Uh. Manager Zhang looked at Lin Chen, not daring to act recklessly anymore, and took out the form, placing it on the table. The prize money for this competition is 3 million, and if you can beat this, it's 5 million. During the competition, if there are any accidents, it's not our responsibility. What, only 5 million? Lin Chen initially thought there would be a lot more money, but he didn't expect it to be only 5 million? He regretted it for a moment, but since he was already here, he might as well have some fun. Manager Zhang looked at Lin Chen with disdain. You might not even get the 3 million, let alone 5 million. Don't worry, if I get the 5 million, what will you do? After filling out the form, Lin Chen looked up at Manager Zhang and asked. What? Manager Zhang felt a chill in his heart. This was what he was thinking to himself, why would he know what he was thinking? This was too eerie. I'm asking you a question. Lin Chen was getting impatient, staring at manager Zhang and asking. If, if you get 5 million, I'll, in front of you, eat these cigarette ashes. Manager Zhang pointed to the ashtray beside him and said. Lin Chen thought about it, it seemed feasible. Okay, I'll remember what you said. Carrying the competition pass, Lin Chen walked into the arena. It was more like an outdoor venue than an arena. Surrounding it were rows of seats, and the most important part below was the competition area enclosed by guardrails. It wasn't much different from a concert venue, but it was much smaller in size. Lin Chen entered the competition changing room to change clothes. As soon as he walked in, he noticed a group of people staring at him. Each one of them looked strong and muscular, with powerful tendons. Compared to Lin Chen, who had fewer muscles and just a hint of abs, he didn't stand out like they did. For a moment, Lin Chen felt like an outsider among them. However, Lin Chen didn't care. Having more muscles didn't guarantee a win. It was his attitude that made him indifferent to their stares and comments. This attitude, in turn, irritated a few people. They walked up to Lin Chen, who was changing clothes, and mocked him, Kid, you're quite arrogant. Lin Chen looked up to see three muscular individuals standing in front of him with disdainful expressions. Lin Chen wasn't afraid of the situation. He just smirked and said, I may not be arrogant, but if you think I am, then I'll be a bit more arrogant. After changing his clothes, Lin Chen stood up, ready to head to the competition area, but the three individuals stopped him. Hold on, 
Did I say you could leave? Lin Chen silently stared at them. Others nearby gathered to watch the commotion. Lin Chen was surrounded by many people, each pointing and commenting on his appearance. Disregarding their words, Lin Chen casually touched his chin and looked at the three individuals in front of him. Whether I can leave or not doesn't seem to be up to you. With that, he maneuvered past the three individuals and continued walking forward. Enraged by this, the three individuals shouted, Hey, who said you could leave? One of them grabbed Lin Chen's shoulder and squeezed it hard. Feeling the pain, Lin Chen swiftly broke free from the grip. The sound of bones cracking echoed between them. The onlookers were astonished to see the man's hand being broken free. Enraged, the man massaged his hand and charged towards Lin Chen. Before he could reach Lin Chen, he collided with a pillar. Lin Chen feigned innocence, claiming it was unintentional. The sound of a whistle signaled the assembly for the competition. Lin Chen didn't want to escalate the situation further and instead offered a hand to the injured man, saying, Brother, take care of your injury. The onlookers shook their heads, knowing that Lin Chen had offended a formidable figure known as Tiger Brother, a frequent winner in the arena. They eagerly anticipated the upcoming showdown. Lin Chen overheard their discussions and found it amusing. Tiger Brother? General Chan Sheng? Is that all you've got? Lin Chen sneered, it looks like there's nothing interesting about today's match. Lin Chen had just entered the arena and could see a large group of spectators, all seemingly there for Dis. However, after looking around, he didn't see Dis anywhere, probably hiding somewhere to secretly watch the match. Listening to the host's passionate speech on stage, Lin Chen sat calmly in his seat, waiting for the upcoming match. The competition was quite random, as long as there was someone on stage, anyone could step up to compete. So the clever Lin Chen naturally waited until the end, because the best is always kept in reserve. As the match neared its end, Lin Chen finally stepped up. Facing him was a burly man, and the audience below couldn't help but comment on the stark difference between the two. Oh my god, what is this guy thinking? Such a huge gap, isn't he afraid of getting beaten to death? Come down, you can't win. Hey, let's sit back and watch the show. The scene of blood and flesh flying around later will be really exciting. Lin Chen was completely unfazed by these comments, just looking at the person in front of him, using his true sight to assess the opponent's abilities. He confidently smirked, while the person in front of him didn't say much, just took a step forward and charged at him. Lin Chen calmly sidestepped, then thrust his fist towards the man's temple with precision and speed, knocking him down with a single blow. Wow! The onlookers were somewhat incredulous, wondering how such a vast difference in strength resulted in just one move. It must have been a mistake, otherwise this kid couldn't have one. Yes, it must be a mistake. Let me try. When Tiger Brother saw Lin Chen stepping up, he was eager to get revenge for earlier. The showdown on stage was now between true masters. The two men locked eyes, one serious and full of anger, the other calm and playful. Lin Chen wanted to see what Tiger Brother was really capable of. Begin! Upon hearing the signal, Tiger Brother almost couldn't wait to attack, his moves fierce and seemingly aiming to corner Lin Chen. Lin Chen, however, remained calm and began to counter the attacks. Indeed, Tiger Brother lived up to his nickname, but the title of General Changsheng seemed a bit exaggerated. Lin Chen increased the force in his hands, and with a swift move, he heard Tiger Brother cry out in pain. Damn it, I'll kill you. Feeling the pain in his wrist, Tiger Brother's eyes turned red with rage, determined not to let Lin Chen off easily. Seeing Tiger Brother losing his composure, Lin Chen found him easier to deal with. In a match, once someone loses their rationality, everything becomes easier to handle. Winning a match depends not only on brute strength but also on intelligence. A heart-wrenching roar came from Tiger Brother's mouth as his arm was about to break in Lin Chen's grip. Bang! Tiger Brother fell to his knees, unable to get up. The audience below was shocked, unable to believe what they were seeing. They were regular guests here and knew Tiger Brother's role well. But their general Changsheng had been defeated by a skinny kid. This was unacceptable. Wow, amazing. Cheers erupted from the crowd, but a few discordant voices could still be heard. 
Oomph, so impressive now, let's see how he fares against Dis later. Exactly, Dis is much stronger than Tiger Brother. Exactly, the person in front of us clearly celebrated too. Early. Ah, he's in for it now. The first two times were just luck. The host appeared at this moment and asked Lin Chen, do you want to continue challenging Dis? Yes. Although he didn't have much money, Lin Chen was having a great time playing. How could he not continue? Dis, who was praised by everyone, made him curious about how amazing he really was. Did you hear that? Our new champion is going to challenge Dis. He's actually going to challenge Dis. Hearing the host's exaggerated style, Lin Chen couldn't help but cover his ears. Let's give a round of applause for Dis. However, when they saw Dis, even Lin Chen couldn't help but be surprised. This was not a person, it was more like a gorilla. His physique couldn't be simply described as fat or strong. It was both fat and strong. Lin Chen couldn't help but gasp and exclaimed, Oh my god! Dis was much more polite than the previous two challengers and even shook hands with Lin Chen when he got on stage. But it wasn't just a handshake, it was a test. Yes, he was testing how strong Lin Chen really was. In a simple test of strength, Lin Chen was no match because his hand was completely controlled, making him contort in a twisted state. Seeing Lin Chen's current condition, the onlookers couldn't help but be amazed. Just a handshake and he's already defeated, what's the point? Ah, it's over, the winner is clear. You should step down now. Originally expected to be embarrassed, Lin Chen surprised everyone by joking with Dis after the handshake, you have a strong grip. I wonder if your strength will be as strong in the upcoming match. This seemingly innocent remark was actually quite provocative. Dis didn't say much in response, just shrugged slightly and remained silent. Ready. Begin. After the referee's words, Dis didn't immediately attack, but waited for Lin Chen. Lin Chen provocatively smirked and said, since you don't understand, don't blame me. With that, Lin Chen swiftly ran towards Dis. His speed was so fast that no one could react, and he was already in front of Dis. Lin Chen wanted agility and speed against this opponent. Feeling his speed was a bit slow, Lin Chen even contracted his muscles to make his movements faster. His punches were swift and direct, aimed at Dis's face with a strong blow. Duong. Despite the deafening sound, it was more bark than bite. Dis felt as if he was being tickled, with no real impact. Seeing this, Dis raised his hand, signaling Lin Chen to continue. Lin Chen didn't back down, observing the situation when he saw Dis's lack of reaction. Everyone has weaknesses, and the person in front of him was no exception. But where exactly was the weakness? Lin Chen had to find out. Next, Lin Chen could be seen rapidly landing several punches on Dis. The audience shook their heads in disbelief. Knowing there's a tiger in the mountains, yet still heading towards the mountain, how foolish. Save your energy, you might need to run later. Yeah, looking at you, you seem invincible. Lin Chen was delighted because he had discovered Dis's weakness. Once hit, Dis would definitely fall and not get up again. That's the spot. It's the most important part for every man, but also the most vulnerable. As long as he receives a blow, he will definitely make Dis kneel down. If it weren't for having no other choice, Lin Chen naturally wouldn't do this. Because after hitting Dis several times in a row, he still couldn't find the so called weak point, so he could only resort to this last resort. However, often the last resort may also be the best strategy. Lin Chen smirked and once again charged towards Dis. But unexpectedly, Dis would no longer wait passively, but instead attack directly. Wow, why did the move change? Lin Chen, helpless, could only defend himself first. However, despite that, he was still hit in the chest, feeling a sharp pain for a moment. Great. Dis is the best. Awesome. Seeing Dis punch Lin Chen, the audience below started cheering. Lin Chen didn't say much when he saw this, just touched his nose and smirked. Come on, a real duel. Lin Chen's eyes turned red, and he rushed forward desperately. As the two ran, Lin Chen suddenly stopped, only to see Dis charging towards him. Then, he bent down and made a sudden move towards Dis's crotch. 
A backhand move. Ah, a heart-wrenching scream came out of Dis's mouth, echoing throughout the arena. Dis kneeled. And he knelt in front of Lin Chen. No one saw clearly how Lin Chen made his move, but one by one, they were all stunned, completely unable to believe it. 3, 2, 1. Lin Chen wins. The referee's announcement brought the audience back to reality, with wide-eyed stares directed at Lin Chen. Quick, give me a slap, I must be dreaming. Smack. Ouch, that hurts, looks like this is real. Next, let our winner come and claim today's 5 million prize money. Lin Chen took the 5 million, and as he was about to leave the stage, he faintly heard Dis's voice muttering, deception. If someone said Lin Chen was inferior in skills, he might not argue with them. But to accuse him of deception, that was something he couldn't tolerate. Leaning close to Dis's ear, he whispered, How did I deceive? Why don't you speak up about my affairs? Seeing his smug look, Dis gritted his teeth and from his throat said, Get lost. Lin Chen patted Dis's face, Sometimes, you need to learn how to speak. Then, he glanced at him, I was planning to teach you how to speak, but seeing that you lost today, you must not be in the mood, so maybe another day. With that, Lin Chen walked out of the arena with a happy face. But just as he was about to leave, he saw Supervisor Zhang standing in front of him with a fawning expression. What's up? Lin Chen looked at Supervisor Zhang, raising an eyebrow. Supervisor Zhang nodded and bowed, hee hee, there's a little something. Lin Chen looked down on Supervisor Zhang's behavior from the bottom of his heart. But fortunately, he won today, so he was in a good mood and didn't mind wasting some time with him. Just spit it out, why are you staring at me? Lin Chen kicked Supervisor Zhang. Supervisor Zhang didn't dare to touch his pants and just looked dejected, saying, It's like this, Lin Chen, I didn't know you were so powerful just now, so I unintentionally offended you. Please forgive me. Oh, so he came to apologize. Lin Chen raised an eyebrow, chuckled, and said, Do you think you, with that attitude, could offend me? You're overestimating yourself. Hearing this, Supervisor Zhang's face turned red and then pale, I I see. Seeing that Supervisor Zhang had nothing more to say, Lin Chen rolled his eyes and left. The harvest from today's outing was not bad, but it was still 8,500,000 away from a billion. Thinking about this, Lin Chen felt a headache coming on, not knowing what to do. System, what happens if the mission is not completed? No points added, no rewards. Hearing this, Lin Chen was taken aback, huh? No punishment? Lin Chen originally thought there would be punishment, so he went to such lengths to earn money. He almost got beaten to death, but now he hears the system saying that not completing the task is no big deal? He finds the system's words a bit unbelievable. However, the system chuckled and continued, there was supposed to be punishment, but seeing the host's ability to earn money was too trashy, so I decided to give up on this task. Lin Chen felt like punching the system to death. How could there be such a deceitful system? But just as he felt Lin Chen's anger, the system continued, of course, if the host wants me to carry out the punishment, that's also possible. If it weren't for the system's flat voice, Lin Chen would have suspected that this damn system was specifically targeting him. What punishment? Shorten your manhood by two centimeters. Hearing this punishment, Lin Chen was so scared that he quickly covered himself, immediately warning, I'm telling you, if you really dare to shorten it, I'll make you regret it. At this point, the system fell silent, and Lin Chen only felt relieved when he realized that nothing had changed. After a busy day, Lin Chen returned home and saw five people, but none of them were in the living room. Lin Chen was puzzled, called out to them, and then saw five mermaids walking out in a row. Young master, you're back. Young master, where did you go today? Wow, young master, you're sweating a lot. Went to flirt with girls again, huh? Hearing this, Lin Chen felt so wronged. But without explaining too much, he directly reached out and pulled Lin Chen, and the two returned to the room. Come, help me massage my arms and legs. Upon hearing this, Lin Chen didn't react much, she walked directly to the bed and followed the order. What did you do at home all day? Lin Chen chatted with Lin Chen, for some reason, chatting with Lin Chen gave him a feeling as if they were an old married couple. 
So whenever Lin Chen felt tired, he would chat with Lin Xian to relieve his emotions. I just read a book in the room, played with my phone, and when I got bored, I lay down on the bed to sleep. Lin Xian's days were indeed boring. However, upon hearing this, she just chuckled lightly and said, that's because without the young master, many joys are missing. Oh, you can talk. Your sweet talk has increased, let me taste how sweet it is. With that, he kissed Lin Xian directly on the lips, and the two began to blend together again. Lin Xian slept until early the next morning, and upon waking up, he saw that Lin Xian was nowhere to be found. Just as he was about to go downstairs, he heard the system's voice again. Ding, the host gives up the task, now announcing the next task. Spend 20 billion within a month. Upon hearing this task, Lin Chen was relieved, as long as it wasn't about earning money, everything was fine. However, to prevent this damn system from issuing money-making tasks again, Lin Chen had to be prepared this time. With that in mind, Lin Chen's first reaction was to call Feng Wang. However, just as he called out, he saw a stunning beauty in front of him. This beauty was so stunning that it startled Lin Chen. But upon closer inspection, there was also a kind of stunning beauty. The standard oval face paired with captivating peach blossom eyes, a delicate cherry mouth that made people want to kiss it. Even more enchanting was the touch of vermilion under the eyes, truly captivating. For a moment, Lin Chen seemed to forget how to breathe. The so-called femme fatale, is it just like this? Thinking of this, Lin Chen looked at the beauty in front of him and asked, Who are you, and why are you here? He didn't remember ordering a beauty service. However, just as Lin Chen was about to call Feng Wang again, he heard the beauty introduce herself. Lin Xiao, I am Su Meyer. The mayor asked me to serve you. Upon hearing this, Lin Chen understood Zhang Jiqi's intention. This was about keeping a promise. After all, Zhang Jiqi had promised Lin Chen a bunch of beautiful women once he took office. Thinking about this, Lin Chen received a call from Zhang Jiqi. Lin Xiao, how is this beauty? Is she satisfied? Before Lin Chen could answer, Zhang Jiqi's voice came through again, I have put a lot of effort into finding this beauty since becoming mayor. I finally found a qualified beauty, please accept her. Upon hearing this, Lin Chen smiled and said, I really like her. After hanging up the phone, Lin Chen looked at the beauty in front of him. Name, Su Meyer personality, alluring skill, soul enticing level 5 rating, 94 affection, 40 seeing this series of data, Lin Chen felt satisfied and nodded. He walked up to her, lifted her chin, and asked, do you know who I am? Su Meyer smiled seductively and said, the overseas Lin families. Before Su Meyer could finish, Lin Chen kissed her directly. When Su Meyer couldn't breathe, he released her lips. However, her face blushed from the kiss, making her even more attractive. Wrong answer, try again. Lin Chen thought Su Meyer would need some time to think, but she immediately answered, My master, young master. Lin Chen was pleased with Su Meyer's answer and kissed her again. Su Meyer saw that Lin Chen hadn't finished dressing and helped him button up his clothes. Her fingers occasionally brushed against Lin Chen's skin creating a tantalizing sensation. Lin Chen was already feeling hot and bothered. He was about to embrace Su Meyer and head to the room when she stopped him. Young master, don't be in a hurry. Su Meyer pushed Lin Chen onto the sofa. Lin Chen, who had always been passive, felt a strange sense of conquest rising in his heart. Young master, I am new here. I think you should spend more time with me to see if I can stay by your side, right? Su Meyer then took Lin Chen's hand and moved it towards her intimate area. And, it's not good to run red lights. Lin Chen's hand moved, and when he felt the barrier, his expression turned cold. Did Zhang Jiqi really send me a bleeding woman? Su Meyer's eyes immediately showed panic, but she quickly regained her composure and smiled at Lin Chen, saying, The mayor intended to wait until my condition improved before sending me over, but I couldn't wait to see you, so I came even though I wasn't feeling well. She then apologized, so, I hope you don't mind, Lin Xiao. Lin Chen couldn't help but admire her perfect explanation, but he still found a flaw. Oh? Su Meyer, did you forget your identity when you said that? Without giving Su Meyer a chance to breathe, he continued, Let me tell you, since Zhang Jiqi sent you here and I agreed to take you, you are now mine. 
But you keep defending Zhang Jiqi. What are your true intentions? Lin Chen's serious tone and expression truly frightened Su Meyer this time. She looked at Lin Chen in confusion and said, Young master, I. I don't have any ulterior motives. I am just stating a fact. Su Meyer looked at Lin Chen helplessly, which made him smile. Ha, huh, I didn't expect my Su Meyer to be flustered too. I thought you were always confident in everything you did. Lin Chen said, reaching out to gently pat her cheek. This face is indeed quite good looking, hmm, can be considered a beauty. Thank you for the praise, young master. Su Meyer was scared, but after hearing Lin Chen's words, her rapidly beating heart slowly returned to normal. What role is Lin Chen? How could he not see through Su Meyer's true intentions? His true sight was not just for show. He was just teasing Su Meyer. Phoenix. What happened this morning? Why can't I wake them up? Lin Shen thought, but he didn't expect to find the answer in Su Meyer. Young master, I asked those sisters to sleep a little longer. What? Lin Shen was a bit skeptical, thinking how could these people be so obedient? Just let them sleep longer, and they did? Young master, it's not what you think. Hearing Su Meyer's coquettish tone, Lin Chen felt his bones go weak. Hmm. I used a sedative, so they slept a little longer. Su Meyer's voice became smaller and smaller as she felt a pair of eyes on her, giving her chills. In that case, how did you get in? Lin Chen had already dismissed all the servants in the villa, so how did Su Meyer get in when those five beauties were still asleep? I picked the lock. Lin Chen didn't know how to describe his feelings furrowing his brows slightly as he re-evaluated the person in front of him. A face that could topple nations, but who knew she had such cunning? I don't think you fully understand your identity and status, as well as where you are. You can't act recklessly here. Lin Chen stood up directly, looking coldly at Su Meyer who he had just punched to the ground. Seeing her pitiful appearance, Lin Chen couldn't help clenching his fist. Everything Su Meyer did was undoubtedly challenging his limits. How could Su Meyer be so presumptuous in his villa? Lin Chen was about to go upstairs when Su Meyer grabbed his hand. Young master, I know I was wrong. Although her tone was not very submissive, her attitude was sincere. This left Lin Chen unsure of what to do, so he coldly ordered, Wake them up for me. Yes, young master. About ten minutes later, five beautiful women in pajamas stood in front of Lin Chen, his five maids. They looked completely confused, not knowing what had happened. Seeing this, Lin Chen couldn't help but shake his head, not knowing what to do with this group of fools. Do you know what happened? All five shook their heads. Lin Chen sighed, you were drugged and knocked out. The one with the biggest reaction was Bai Ha. Impossible, with my skills. How could someone enter my room without me noticing? Lin Chen calmly looked at Bai Ha. If that's the case, then tell me why you woke up so late this morning. Bai Ha fell silent for a moment, not knowing how to answer. Bai Ha looked at Lin Chen in astonishment. Lin Chen then shifted his gaze to Su Meyer, and Bai Ha noticed Su Meyer's presence. Sorry, it was me, Su Meyer said awkwardly, explaining the situation apologetically. I didn't enter your rooms. As for the specifics, I'll keep it a secret. Upon hearing this, the usually calm phoenix spoke up, Humph, if you don't want to talk, then don't talk. Who do you think you are pretending to be? It was rare to hear phoenix speak, let alone directly confront someone they had just met. Seeing this, Lin Chen couldn't help but ask curiously, Phoenix, do you know her from before? Phoenix shook their head directly, I don't know her. But the look in Phoenix's eyes towards Su Meyer was full of disdain. Now, it was Lin Chen who was puzzled. If the two didn't know each other, why was Phoenix confronting Su Meyer? According to the usual protocol, shouldn't it be He Churin who confronts people? Even if Mu Qingqing confronted someone, Lin Chen wouldn't be surprised. But it was unexpected that it was Phoenix? Since Phoenix refused to speak, Lin Chen didn't blame them. He narrowed his eyes and quickly understood the answer. It turned out that the two had a brief encounter before, during the time when Lin Xu, Lin Chen's father, was grooming talents. At that time, Lin Xu had a hard time choosing between Phoenix and Su Meyer, 
originally favoring Sumire more. However, to everyone's surprise, Sumire, for fame and fortune, actually slept with Lin Shu. It's worth noting that Su Meyer was only in her teens at the time. Upon learning of this incident, Lin Shu was furious and immediately kicked Su Meyer out, focusing on grooming Phoenix instead. When Lin Chen received this news, he was truly astonished. He knew Su Meyer was more open minded, but he never expected her to be so bold. However, through the true vision, he could see the bloodline. That's why Lin Chen decided to keep her. However, Lin Chen also knew that Phoenix disliked Su Meyer not because they competed in the past, but because Su Meyer used underhanded means. Although grooming Phoenix became the priority at the time, in the end, she was pushed into the abyss by her own hands and became her servant. After understanding this matter, Lin Chen reached out and firmly grasped Su Meyer's chin. Upon hearing her painful voice, he spoke, I warn you, as long as I want to know about your past, I will find out. Since you've become my servant, behave yourself, or your fate will be beyond your imagination. Yes, young master. Su Meyer's face turned red with pain, but she dared not scream. Upon hearing this, Phoenix anxiously stepped forward, young master, she cannot stay. Lin Chen approached and said, know your place, don't act recklessly. If the previous sentence was a reminder, the next one was a warning. Knowing Phoenix's character, once an enemy appeared, it would be a fight to the end. With Lin Chen present, he would never allow such a situation to occur. Phoenix hesitated for a moment, then heard Lin Chen's next words, Find me some people, I want to build the most luxurious entertainment club in the capital. At this statement, Phoenix had no doubts and simply nodded in understanding. As Lin Chen headed upstairs, the awkward situation remained below. Su Meyer sat alone on the sofa, her chin still sore from Lin Chen's grip. Phoenix kept their head down, coldly watching Su Meyer. Lin Chen felt the atmosphere was awkward and ran her hand through her hair. Mu Qingqing stepped forward and held Phoenix's arm, showing her support. He Charan rolled her eyes at the scene and remained silent. Bai Ha also scrutinized Su Meyer. Although the relationship between Bai Ha and Phoenix was not great, as personal maids, they had to ensure Lin Chen's safety. So, as long as Phoenix felt someone was dangerous, Bai Ha would stand by Phoenix's side. Su Meyer, I warn you not to cause trouble, or I won't spare you. Phoenix said coldly, then turned and left without waiting for Su Meyer to respond. Mu Qingqing naturally followed Phoenix and left together. Su Meyer glanced at Feng Wang and couldn't help but speak. Out, what's so great about it, really, don't think too highly of yourself. Bai Ha heard this and was originally thinking that maybe Feng Wang had made a mistake, perhaps Su Meyer wasn't that bad at heart. But now, she had no good feelings towards Su Meyer at all. Take care of yourself. Bai Ha said before leaving. Lin Xian walked up, patted Su Meyer on the shoulder, and then walked away. Only He Charan was left alone, sitting on the sofa, watching TV. Su Meyer glanced at He Charan and struck up a conversation, they've all left. Aren't you leaving too? He Charan picked up a bag of potato chips from the table and asked back, just because they left, does that mean I have to leave too? After Lin Chen finished giving instructions, he went straight upstairs, thinking about how to spend the 2 billion. He planned to use 10 billion to build an entertainment club for Feng Wang, and the rest of the money would be used for. After thinking for a while, Lin Chen immediately had an idea in his mind, donation. When Feng Huang heard about Lin Chen's idea, she was taken aback. Donation? Lin Chen narrowed his eyes and explained to Feng Huang, Don't worry, this donation is not the same as your previous donation, it's for the orphanage. Although Lin Chen explained it clearly, he still wanted to know why Feng Huang was so sensitive about this matter. The only explanation should be something that happened between her and Lin Xu in the past. He narrowed his eyes, but couldn't see anything. What's going on? Could it be that the true side I can't be used anymore? Lin Chen muttered in confusion, but still looked at Feng Wang. It shouldn't be, he could see everything clearly, even down to the underwear. He was a bit excited to find something that the true side I couldn't see, but he didn't show it too obviously. He just told Feng Wang to handle everything and then left to take care of these matters. Okay. With this, Lin Chen's two billion was all spent. For some reason, he felt a little relieved, maybe because there were still things weighing on his mind. 
In the evening, Lin Chen finally came downstairs and saw a strange sight. He Charan and Su Meyer were sitting on the sofa, chatting from time to time, not looking awkward at all, but rather having a harmonious feeling. Lin Chen was puzzled, he never expected these two people to be able to sit together. Perhaps it was because he Charan often challenged him, Lin Chen didn't ask too much, and sat directly at the dining table. When everyone saw Lin Chen sitting on the chair, they walked to their seats and sat down. However, there was a problem with the seating arrangement. Feng Wang and Su Meyer both stood in place, looking at each other as if neither would give way, causing Lin Chen to furrow his brow. What's going on? Young master, I want to sit next to you. Hearing Su Meyer's coquettish voice, they all got goosebumps. Young master, I don't care, I want to sit here. Su Meyer said, raising her head high, as if she wouldn't listen to anyone. Lin Chen looked at the two in front of him, opened his mouth, and for a moment didn't know what to say. His previous four maids, although their relationship wasn't very good, never quarreled. But now, why were they starting a fight as soon as they arrived? According to the basic rules, Feng Wang, as the personal maid, should sit next to Lin Chen with Bai Ha on the other side. But now, Su Meyer had taken Feng Wang's seat, making Feng Wang naturally angry. If it were an ordinary person, Feng Wang might have just moved to another place, but because it was Su Meyer, she was being stubborn. Su Meyer, Feng Wang is the personal maid. Lin Chen's words were clear, Feng Wang's status is higher than yours, so you better move away, but Su Meyer heard this, she walked forward, grabbed Lin Chen's arm, and started shaking left and right. Young master, I want to sit next to you, I want to. Lin Chen was a little dizzy from the shaking, but no matter what, he couldn't show favoritism to a newcomer. Be good, sit in the back. Lin Chen said indifferently, showing no patience, making Su Meyer pout and return to her original seat with a low mood. Before leaving, she even gave a glare to Feng Wang. Seeing this, Lin Chen couldn't help but frown and remind, since you're here, make yourself comfortable. If you don't want to stay, you can leave any time. Facing a group of women, Lin Chen felt overwhelmed. He had been lying at home for several days, and if he continued to lie down, he felt like he would mold. He had to go out and have fun. With that in mind, Lin Chen began to search for fun places in his mind. However, the most common and popular place was Sanya. Thinking of this, Lin Chen simply went downstairs and shouted, Gather! Like an ancient brothel owner, when the girls heard this voice, they all came out and sat on the sofa. Seeing the five people in front of him, Lin Chen nodded in satisfaction, hmm, not bad. Taking five beautiful women to Sanya, and also checking out the bikini beauties in Sanya, to see if they could match his girls. Thinking of this, Lin Chen was very excited and said with a smile, I've been bored lately, so since you're here and I haven't taken you out to play, I've decided to take you to Sanya. Hearing this, everyone present was excited. Mu Qingqing exclaimed happily, Wow, really? I can finally go out and play. Wow, so happy, the young master is the best to us. Although I Charin didn't show it too obviously, the slight upturn of her mouth still revealed her current mood. Feng Huang remained indifferent, but Lin Chen caught it. After he finished speaking, Feng Huang's eyes flashed with a hint of light. Su Meyer was more obvious, looking at Lin Chen in front of her, she reached out and hugged his arm. Young master, you are so good to me, taking me out to play as soon as I arrived. It had to be said that Su Meyer's emotional intelligence was really low. Everyone was in a happy mood at the moment, but she said something like that, as if Lin Chen was only taking them out because of her. Don't be so confident. Young master, what are you really thinking? Don't you have any idea in your heart? You? Su Meyer was completely caught off guard by Bai He's retort, feeling at a loss for words. However, the look of refusal in her eyes made everyone see it clearly. Seeing this highly charged atmosphere, Lin Chen couldn't help but consider whether he should let Su Meyer stay. It wasn't that he couldn't afford to keep her, but he was afraid of trouble. Thinking of this, he looked at Su Meyer and decided against it. We will leave tomorrow. Then, looking at Feng Wan, the entertainment club was still under construction, so someone had to oversee it. Feng Wan, book the plane tickets, I'll leave the matters of the entertainment club to Zhang Jiqi. Yes, young master. When Lin Chen saw Zhang Jiqi again, Zhang Jiqi was sitting on the sofa at home, looking very happy, 
and eagerly asked, How is it, young Master Lin, are you satisfied with Su Meyer? Lin Chun understood the implications in his eyes and nodded with a smile, It's okay, I'm just worried that this girl has a strong personality and won't last long with me. Young Master Lin, rest assured, this is absolutely. Before Zhang Jiqi could say more, Lin Chen stopped him. I didn't call you here today because of this matter. Oh? I'm listening. I'm going to travel to Sanya for a while, and I'm in the process of building an entertainment club, Lin Chen said, pausing as he glanced at Zhang Jiqi's reaction. So, I want you to help take a look and supervise them. Upon hearing this, Zhang Jiqi seemed very interested, his eyes filled with excitement. Oh? Young Master Lin is building an entertainment club? Yes. Then I must take a good look. Young Master Lin's business will definitely thrive. When it prospers, please take care of me more. Sure, in the future, when you come, it's free. Free? This was a huge favor, considering that the entertainment club Lin Chen was building was only accessible to high-end individuals. It was impossible to enter without spending a significant amount of money. Offering Zhang Jiqi free access was indeed a very thoughtful gesture. Upon hearing this condition, Zhang Jiqi's eyes turned red. All right, thank you, young Master Lin. Don't worry, the task you entrusted to me will be done well. Lin Chen was confident in Zhang Jiqi's ability to handle things. After giving instructions, he chatted with Zhang Jiqi for a while before Su Meyer came down. The two exchanged a glance, and Su Meyer smiled, Mayor. Su Meyer, since you're here, you must take good care of young Master Lin. It's your responsibility. Upon hearing Zhang Jiqi's words, Su Meyer smirked mischievously, of course. She walked directly to young Master Lin and knelt down, massaging his legs. Seeing this, Zhang Jiqi finally relaxed. He stood up and said, since young Master Lin has given all the orders, I won't disturb you anymore. Watching Zhang Jiqi leave, Lin Chen smirked. It had to be said that Zhang Jiqi was very good at ingratiating himself with people. Lin Chen glanced at Su Meyer massaging his legs and patted her head. Miss, is the massage good? Yes. The next morning, Lin Chen saw the five girls had packed their bags and were chatting happily downstairs. He realized that he needed to take them out more often in the future, as staying cooped up at home would make them restless. Good morning, young master. Morning. After breakfast, the six of them headed to the airport. In less than a few hours, they arrived at their destination. Sonia. Feng Huang had already arranged a five-star hotel for each of them, ensuring they had their own room. Once you've settled in, we'll go eat. Lin Chen instructed. After a few hours on the plane, everyone must be hungry. However, what was supposed to be a happy occasion turned sour when they were confronted by someone upon arrival. As Lin Chen walked past a man, the man deliberately bumped into him and started cursing, accusing Lin Chen of being blind. Lin Chen frowned. His good mood was about to be ruined by this troublemaker. Despite feeling annoyed, he restrained his temper and watched as Baiha stepped forward to defend him. Are you blind? Our young master didn't touch you. By his words caught the man's attention, and he noticed the five girls standing nearby. His eyes lit up, almost drooling in public. However, he quickly realized his actions and said, You little girl, can't. You speak properly? If you can't, let me teach you. He reached out towards Baiha. But Baiha, with her skills, wouldn't tolerate anyone touching her before the other party's hand could come over. Baiha directly dodged to the side and kicked towards the other party's fingers. Ah! A heart-wrenching scream came from the restaurant, attracting onlookers. Isn't this by Jia's young master by Jing Tian? Yes, it's by Jing Tian, but how could young master Bai be beaten by someone? Yes, young master Bai is one of our Sanya's four young masters. Being kicked by a woman, TSK TSK, this woman is asking for trouble. Exactly, I heard that last year a woman defied young master Bai, and he directly ordered his men to arrest all of that woman's family members, just to make her obey. Ah, this woman is quite beautiful, but she picked the wrong person. Listening to the discussions of the bystanders, for some reason, all six people felt like laughing. Young master Bai was impressive, but their young master was not to be trifled with. 
Their young master was Lin Chen of the overseas Lin family. That was the Lin family. A force to be reckoned with. How could they be afraid of such a person? TSK TSK, in the end, it was uncertain who would live or die. Bai Jingtian naturally heard the discussions of the people nearby and confidently raised his chin, How about it, do you know how formidable I am now? If you know what's good for you, apologize now, I'm in a good mood and might spare you. However. With that, Bai Jingtian's gaze shifted to Bai Ha, however, this woman, I might just have to play with her for a few days. Looking into Bai Ha's eyes, Bai Jingtian seemed like a hungry wolf eyeing its prey, appearing particularly fierce. It seemed that once Bai Ha fell into Bai Jingtian's hands, she might not survive. Oomph, don't even think about it. First, our young master won't apologize, and second, our sister Bai Ha will not go with you. He Charin directly mocked, always disliking those who didn't know their place. It was absolutely impossible for Lin Chen to apologize now. Lin Chen saw these people starting to talk and just smirked, sitting on a nearby chair, watching them. Well, don't say, each of these women is prettier than the last. She's spirited, I like it, Bai Jing Tian said, walking directly towards He Charin. He Charin was not skilled in martial arts like Bai Ha, so Bai Ha directly blocked Bai Jing Tian from approaching, smirking, and said, Our young master's women are not many, but they are exceptional. Someone like you probably won't ever experience that feeling in your lifetime. I don't give a damn about you, go ask around outside, what status I hold, can your young master even compare to me? Bai Ha smirked, since that's the case, you don't need to ask around, our young master's name doesn't need investigating. What, are you afraid that others won't know your young master's name, is it embarrassing? Ha ha ha. Bai Jing Tian said mockingly, grinning. Bai Ha was not angry, and Su Meyer saw this scene and walked straight towards Bai Jing Tian. Sir, you are really handsome. Bai Jing Tian was surprised to see a beautiful woman walking towards him, and he grinned, he he, little beauty, you have good taste. Su Meyer, you. Bai Ha saw this scene and her eyes were no longer calm, how could she be so two-faced? Feng Huang just squinted her eyes, she knew this matter was definitely not that simple. Sir, do you think I'm pretty? Su Meyer said, playing with her hair, exuding a mature woman's charm, effortlessly captivating Bai Jing Tian. Bai Jing Tian wiped his mouth, looking at Su Meyer's perky chest, and nodded eagerly, beautiful, especially beautiful. Seeing this, Su Meyer smiled even more brightly, like a poppy flower, extremely alluring, but just in a moment, you could see the fierce flash in her eyes. She lifted her leg and kicked hard. Ah ha! A heart-wrenching sound came, Bai Jingting knelt directly on the ground, covering his crotch with his hand. Su Meyer laughed even more happily at this moment, as if basking in the sunshine. Sir, thank you for praising my beauty, but no matter how beautiful I am, I am still my master's woman, and you will never have me. This is the biggest difference between you and my master. Ha ha! Su Meyer's hearty laughter made people shiver, she was truly a venomous woman. By Lume, dealing with a man doesn't require so much talk. Lin Chen, who had been sitting on the side, smiled faintly when he saw this approach. Yes, this was the dish he liked. Bai Jingting's face was twisted in anger, pointing at Lin Chen, You wait for me, I will make you kneel before me. Seeing Bai Jingting fleeing in panic, the onlookers who had been watching the scene just now dared not stay any longer and quickly left. Even someone who dared to provoke Bai Jingting, their identity was truly unimaginable. And looking at these five women, each one was a beauty, they were definitely not ordinary characters. The waiter, seeing that the battle here had finally ended, approached with the menu. Sir, would you like to order now? Lin Chen nodded and handed the menu to the five of them. Order whatever you want. Soon, a table full of delicious food appeared, and they, accustomed to Lin Chen's, tastes, naturally knew the deliciousness of these dishes. They couldn't resist the urge and started to eat heartily. Lin Chen sat at the table, playing with his phone while eating. If he remembered correctly, Bai Jingting just now was the son of Bai Laozu. And this Bai Laozu had some connection with their Lin family. Twenty years ago, when the Lin family was in decline and wanted to borrow money from Bai Laozu, he refused due to his noble status and disdain for any relationship with the Lin family. Lin Shen didn't hold a grudge for not lending money, borrowing was a favor, 
not borrowing was a duty, there was nothing wrong with that. But the biggest mistake Bai Laozu made was spitting on Lin Lao's head. Lin Shen saw this through the system, otherwise he wouldn't have known so much. Since his son came to provoke him, Lin Shen decided to take the opportunity of the trip to deal with the Bai family once and for all. Thinking of this, a smile appeared on Lin Shen's lips, strangely similar to Su Meyer's smile just now. Seeing that everyone had finished eating, Lin Shen spoke up, since everyone has finished eating, let's go back and rest. Tonight, I will take you to see the night view of Sanya. Okay. Lin Shen didn't return to the room immediately, but took a few turns outside before returning to the room to rest for a while. In a daze, he felt his lips being kissed softly, sweetly, and deliciously. As Lin Shen opened his eyes, he saw Su Meyer lying on top of him, her eyes misty. Young master, you're awake. Lin Shen nodded, looking at the sky outside, it was already evening. He hugged Su Meyer's waist and asked, how did you get in? Young master, you're naughty. Did you forget that I can pick locks? Lin Shen paused, I thought you only knew how to pick locks at our house. With that, Lin Shen pressed Su Meyer down, his hand exploring her body up and down, quickly finding her sensitive spots. With each movement of his hand, he could feel Su Meyer trembling slightly all over Lin Shen was already feeling uncomfortable underneath, he leaned over to Su Meyer's ear and softly asked, is it done? Upon hearing this, Su Meyer shyly nodded and reached out to hook Lin Chen's neck, saying, Young master. This call made Lin Chen feel all tingly, is this all there is to being charming and beautiful? Lin Chen quickly took out his belongings, ready to go in, when he heard a voice from outside. Young master, it's time for dinner. Upon hearing this voice, Lin Chen immediately felt annoyed. Damn it! The most annoying thing about doing this kind of thing is being interrupted. But unfortunately, he was interrupted now. Lin Chen angrily got up from Su Meyer, put on his clothes, and said, Let's go, it's time for dinner. Su Meyer's eyes flashed with a hint of dimness, but she didn't say much, just followed Lin Chen outside. Due to Lin Chen's bad mood, he ate very little, and after finishing the meal, a group of six people walked out. The handsome men were too handsome, the beautiful women were too beautiful, attracting envious glances from passers-by. If they didn't go to the bar to have some fun at this time, it would be a waste of their visit. The most bustling place here is naturally the Yuzhu residence not far from the hotel. The name sounds very elegant, but in fact, Yuzhu residence is a special kind of wine here. As soon as they walked in, they smelled a scent of wine, refreshing and elegant, really pleasant. Lin Chen went straight to the front desk, booked a VIP room, and went in. After entering, Lin Chen ordered several bottles of wine and started drinking with the five people. When they were about to have fun, they heard a voice from outside. You scumbag, I treated you so well, but you actually cheated on me, what do you want to do? This was followed by sounds of kicking and hitting, making Lin Chen furrow his brows. Young master, should I go out and see what's happening? Bai Ha asked. Then they heard Su Meyer's sarcastic voice, didn't you hear that the woman cheated? Since that's the case, why should we care about their life and death? Seemingly indifferent, she even rolled her eyes. Baiha couldn't stand it anymore, she went forward and was about to grab Su Meyer's neck when they heard. The voice from outside continue. Miss Su, I didn't do it, I swear I didn't. I really didn't cheat, Mr. Lu just asked me some questions, there's really nothing between us. The woman was crying and explaining non-stop. Bai Ha seemed to have heard this, looked triumphantly at Su Meyer. See, the woman didn't cheat, you accused her wrongly. You? Su Meyer was speechless for a moment, and Bai Ha asked again, young master, let me go out and see. If the woman continued to be beaten like this, who knows what would happen. The voices outside became more intense, Lin Chen frowned and nodded. Just as Bai Ha reached out to open the door, Su, who was kicking the woman, stopped in his tracks. He looked into the room and said irritably, What are you looking at? Haven't you seen a man taking care of his woman before? He Zyron was angry, and sarcastically said, A man hitting a woman, how despicable can he be? I'm sorry, the people I associate with are all from the upper class, they have mutual understanding and don't hit women. You? His iron was clearly insinuating that Sue was from the lower class and not a real man. Upon hearing this, Sue ignored the woman on the ground, 
and walked straight into Lin Chen's room. Pointing at Yi Ziren, he said, say that again to my face. Yi Ziren looked at Su without any fear in his eyes, just sneering. I'll say it again, what's the matter, I'll say it again, it's still the same. Incompetence is incompetence. Do I have to say it a few more times for you to not be incompetent? He Churin sarcastically remarked. Su Xiao, on the verge of exploding, still managed to sit down on the sofa, crossing his legs directly. He reached out and took a glass from the table, pouring some wine. Looking at this relaxed and contented appearance, Lin Chen raised an eyebrow, this place, doesn't seem to be your territory, right? Hearing this, Su Xiao smiled, I know, even though this is not my territory, but your woman has offended me, shouldn't I have a say? Upon hearing this, he Charan's eyes dimmed for a moment, but then he stood up directly and said, What, do I have to report to you like a child just because I mentioned you? I? Before Su Xiao could answer, he Charan continued, Well, I'm sorry, our young master doesn't need a son like you. You? Su Xiao was left speechless, raised his hand, tilted his head back, and drank a glass of wine. After downing the glass of wine, he felt much more comfortable. Looking at the people in front of him, he said, What, is there no one in Noda's private room to take charge? If the family's dog bites someone, shouldn't the owner come out to speak? This statement made Lin Chen smile, If you compare my woman to a dog, then what do you think you are? Hmm. Mu Qingqing interjected, Young master, I know, I know, a cat. Lin Chen snapped his fingers, Yes, a cat. The nature of a cat is heartless and cold-blooded. Well, no wonder, even hitting his own woman, he probably isn't much better. Lin Chen leisurely drank his wine, not at all like scolding someone, but more like chatting with an old friend, which made Su Xiao feel itchy. He took out his phone, typed a message, and sent it. Hurry, bring people. With just four words, Lin Chen made his intentions clear. Smirking, he said, if I bring people, it wouldn't be fair, after all, I'm the only man here, and I don't know how to fight. Upon hearing this, Su Xiao felt relieved and burst into laughter. Since you've seen my message, I won't beat around the bush. I've already called someone, if you have any sense, apologize to me. Lin Chen frowned, what, do you three or four young masters like to make others apologize? Hearing this, Su Xiao was taken aback. You know me? Lin Chen nodded immediately, of course, as one of the three or four young masters, how could I not know? With that, he saw a glint in Su Xiao's eyes. Lin Chen squinted, looking into Su Xiao's true thoughts. Since they know my identity, isn't it just right for them to know how capable I am? Lin Chen raised an eyebrow, so arrogant? But Lin Chen didn't mind at all, waiting for Su Xiao to call someone over. In this situation, it was all about the three or four young masters coming to fight one by one, or two by two. Lin Chen had a reputation, he wasn't afraid of these small fries. Su Xiao, I'm here. However, when the person arrived and saw Lin Chen, he froze in place. Nia Shan. Lin Chen remembered this person, he didn't expect Nia Shan to be here. It seems that old enemies do meet again. Thinking of this, Lin Chen smiled. Lin Xiao. Nia Shan, long time no see. Su Xiao saw the two greeting each other and was momentarily stunned, completely unaware of Nia Shan's address to Lin Chen. You, you know each other? Su Xiao was dumbfounded for a moment. He had called someone to help him fight, but he didn't expect that the two people actually knew each other. Now, Su Xiao began to wonder how deep the relationship between the two of them was. Did Nia Shan have any grudges with the person in front of him? What was their relationship like? After thinking about a bunch of questions, Sua Xiao glanced at the two with a blank mind. Seeing Sua Xiao's current expression, Lin Chen couldn't help but want to laugh. How could someone with such a brain be one of the four young masters? Seeing Lin Chen sigh, Sua Xiao also wanted to sigh along, but after some thought, he stopped himself. Nia Shan, help me take care of him. After hearing this, Nia Shan just shook his head and truthfully replied, Sua Xiao, I can't beat him. What? How do you know you can't beat him? Are you just finding excuses because you don't want to help me? Thinking this, Sua Xiao threatened, Nia Shan, don't forget, who helped your Nia family when it was in decline. 
Hearing this, Nieshan couldn't help but furrow his brow and look at Sua Xiao in front of him, still nodding politely. Sua Xiao, I really haven't forgotten about that matter. Since you helped me back then, I'm not heartless. But? Before Nieshan could finish his sentence, Sua Xiao interrupted, but what? Nieshan nodded, but, I had a little disagreement with Lin Xiao before, and we've already fought once, and I lost. After Nieshan finished speaking, he lowered his head. Lin Chen naturally understood Nieshan's current state of mind. As a proud person, he always conducted himself based on his martial arts skills. But now, admitting his weakness in front of others was undoubtedly more difficult than death. Lin Chen chuckled lightly, Sua Xiao, do you still want me to apologize? Sua Xiao was completely stunned, glanced at Nieshan, then at Lin Chen, and shook his head. No, then get lost. Watching Su Xiao leave the room, Lin Chen then turned to Nia Shan and asked, Are you from Sanya? Yes. How could Sanya have such a foolish young master? And he's one of the four young masters of Sanya? Lin Chen couldn't believe it, but couldn't help but comment. He's rich. Interested in having a drink? Lin Chen looked at Nia Shan, knowing that Nia Shan was not a fickle person, so making a friend was a good choice. When Nia Shan heard this, there was a hint of brightness in his eyes, but he quickly hid it well. Lin Chen chuckled and said, of course. Baiha, pour the wine. After Lin Chen and Nia Shan had a few drinks, Nia Shan looked at him, as if he had something to say. Is there something you want to do in Sanya this time, Lin Xiao? Seeing the anxiety in Nia Shan's eyes, although it was not easy to detect, Lin Chen could still sense the meaning behind it. Seeing this, Lin Chen couldn't help but smile lightly, what, is Nia Shan afraid I'll stir up trouble here? Hearing this, Nia Shan's body visibly trembled for a moment, fingers crossed, and he awkwardly smiled. Of course not. Really? After staring at Lin Chen's eyes for a long time, Nia Shan finally spoke the truth. Yes. I just want to ask Lin Xiao to bypass Sua Xiao this time, he helped me. Nia Shan actually had no position to request anything from Lin Chen, but since he could drink with Lin Chen now, it proved that Lin Chen didn't dislike him, so he could only boldly make a request. Hearing this, Lin Chen's eyelids twitched, and he looked at Nia Shan and asked, Oh? Spare Su Xiao? Sure, no problem. Lin Chen's response was straightforward, but there were still no free lunches in the world, and he had a request. Serve me. After Lin Chen said this, Nia Shan was slightly stunned. Because Nia Shan didn't know what kind of service Lin Chen was referring to, when he realized it, he quickly said, It is my honor to serve young Master Lin. Ha, ah, good. Since that's the case, I promise you to let go of young Master Su. Lin Chen had no relationship with young Master Su, and young Master Su had not offended Lin Chen, so agreeing to such a small matter was not a problem. Seeing that it was close to dawn, Lin Chen stood up and left the bar. After resting at the hotel for a night, he felt refreshed. After checking the weather for the day, he suddenly wanted to go play on a yacht. With this in mind, he went directly to the door of the girls' rooms to wake them up. As a young master, it was usually the girls who woke Lin Chen up, but this time, it was Lin Chen waking them up, which surprised them. The first room Lin Chen called was Phoenix's room because their rooms were closest. After knocking on the door a few times, the door opened, and Phoenix was already dressed and ready. When she saw Lin Chen at the door, she was momentarily surprised, as if she couldn't believe that Lin Chen was waking her up. Young master, Phoenix greeted. Lin Chen nodded, since you're up, everything is fine. With that, Lin Chen went to the next room. Next was Lily's room. Before Lin Chen could even reach out his hand, the door was already open, and a smiling face popped out, looking at him. Young master, I'm already up. Lin Chen put down his hand that was about to knock and patted Lily's head. The next room was Su Meyer's room. Just as Lin Chen knocked on the door, a hand reached out from inside and pulled Lin Chen in. With a grunt, Lin Chen lay on the bed, looking at Su Meyer on top of him, and he smirked mischievously. Lin Chen's hand began to roam on Su Meyer's body, and as Su Meyer couldn't resist, she let out a moan, and they started. After about an hour, Lin Chen got dressed, feeling satisfied. Su Meyer leaned against Lin Chen's back, praising him. Lin Chen responded with a meaningful smile, which left Su Meyer blushing and
looking particularly charming. Lin Shen kissed Su Meyer on the forehead and took her directly to the restaurant. Originally planning to wake everyone up, Lin Shen ended up on Su Meyer's bed, which made the others unhappy. But because it was Lin Shen, they didn't dare say anything and directed their resentful gazes at Su Meyer. Oh, how did our young master end up being toyed with by you when he came to wake you up? Su Meyer, why are you so difficult to wake up? Yeah, Su Meyer, you really tired out our young master. Su Meyer didn't say much in response to these comments, just arrogantly fixed her hair. What, you think you can do what I did? But who said you don't have the ability? Hearing this, the tempers of several people present flared up. Lin Chen, worried that they would start arguing again, quickly intervened. All right, decide what you want to eat and place your orders. Upon hearing this, the argument that had started stopped. Su Meyer's antics that morning had made everyone unhappy. But looking at Su Meyer, who was beaming, it was hard not to feel happy. Lin Chen didn't speak to them but heard the system's voice. Ding, congratulations to the host for successfully conquering a woman with a score of over 90 points, adding 1,000 points. After hearing this sentence, Lin Chen nodded satisfactorily. This breakfast was probably only enjoyable for Su Meyer and Lin Chen. Su Meyer even ignored everyone else and helped Lin Chen with the food, wiping his mouth with her hand. The two of them looked very affectionate. Lin Chen could naturally feel the dissatisfaction of the others, so he started to speed up the breakfast process. Finally, when breakfast was over, Lin Chen suggested, let's go play on a yacht today. Great! When they heard this, their faces looked less unhappy, as going out to play had always been a dream for everyone. Especially being able to enjoy the beautiful sea view on the yacht made them very happy. After discussing these matters, the six of them headed towards the seaside in Sanya. Since Lin Shen didn't drive here, they had to take a taxi. Su Meyer, Lin Shen, Bai He, and Feng Wang took one car, while the others took another. They soon arrived at their destination, and everyone had a contented smile on their face when they got off the car. Ah, the sea, I'm here. Baiha happily ran towards the front, followed by a few other girls. Seeing them happy here, Lin Chen couldn't help but smile faintly. Lin Chen went straight to the place to rent a yacht and started discussing the price with the owner. However, just as Lin Chen was about to inquire, the owner preempted him, Sir, would you like a regular yacht or a VIP yacht? Hearing this, Lin Chen couldn't help but frown and asked directly, looking at the seemingly clueless person in front of him, Do you think I can't afford it? Hearing this, the owner quickly shook his head and said with a smile, of course not. From your appearance and the number of women with you, sir, you are definitely either rich or noble. Although the owner's words were somewhat human-like, Lin Chen was still unsatisfied. He looked at the owner and said, give me a luxury yacht. The owner was now in a dilemma, looking at Lin Chen, he said, sir, I'm really sorry, we only have one or two luxury yachts here, but this. Seeing the owner's embarrassed look, Lin Chen probably knew the reason. It was probably because someone had already booked that yacht, leaving no other yachts available. There was a solution to this situation. Lin Chen smiled lightly, took out a bank card from his wallet, and threw it on the table, book the luxury yacht for me for three days, take the five million in the card. Five million. Hearing this number, the owner couldn't believe his ears, but still looked at Lin Chen, and the reflection in his eyes was all golden. He really loved money. After greedily glancing at the bank card, the owner continued with a mournful face, Sir, it's not that I don't want to, but I really can't. At this moment, Baiha walked over, understood the situation, and asked directly, What do you mean you can't? Just tell us if you want to keep your job. What do you mean? Baiha's words left the owner confused. Seeing the owner's bewildered look, Baiha continued, Don't think we're not from Sanya, don't bully us. We have our identities, and if we reveal them, you'll be scared. Be sensible and give us the yacht quickly, take the money, and don't regret it later. Despite usually appearing like an ignorant child, by his threat was quite effective. The owner knew that Lin Chen was not a simple person, and now, being scared by Baiha, he was even more afraid looking at the people in front of him, he immediately begged for mercy, I can give you the yacht, but you must testify for me later, I'm afraid of getting into trouble. Hearing the boss agree to give the yacht, Baiha then looked at Lin Chen, 
who was the main decision maker. Since you are still sensible, it's fine. After receiving the yacht, the six of them boarded the yacht one after another, starting their leisurely days. The yacht was equipped with everything imaginable, TV, computer, game room. The services provided were also top-notch, and the butler's skills were also very good. At this moment, Lin Chen was leisurely lying on the sofa, basking in the sun, watching the sea view. Occasionally, Su Meyer fed him a few grapes, and he licked her fingers teasingly, making Lin Chen feel very comfortable. Lin Qian sat alone on the side, lost in thought. Mu Qingqing was chatting with Feng Huang, discussing interesting things that had happened before. Bai Ha and He Charan sat on the sofa, watching TV together. It must be said that the two of them really loved watching TV, almost every time they returned home, Lin Qian could see them watching TV. Unexpectedly, even when they were out playing, they were still watching TV. Thinking about this, Lin Qian couldn't help but find it a bit funny. Young master, what are you laughing at? Su Meyer's voice sounded by Lin Chen's ear. Lin Chen chuckled and looked at Su Meyer in front of him, reaching out to hook her finger. Su Meyer naturally leaned in next to Lin Chen, hearing his words in her ear, I'm thinking about you in bed this morning. After saying that, Su Meyer didn't blush like other girls would, but instead looked very happy. She drew circles on Lin Chen's body with her hand, does the young master still want to see a better me tonight than this morning? As if afraid that Lin Chen would refuse, she added, let Meyer see a better young master than this morning. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Lin Chen smiled happily. Just as the two of them were about to say something, they saw a yacht approaching them from the side. He squinted his eyes and when he saw that the people on the yacht were by Jing Tian, he already had a rough idea of what was going on. Seeing Bai Jing Tian's yacht getting closer and closer, Lin Chen was actually looking forward to what would happen next. Hey, this is my yacht, get off. Bai Jing Tian didn't even see Lin Chen, he just shouted directly. Seeing this, Lin Chen ignored him and continued to bask in the sun leisurely. The others understood his intentions when they saw Lin Chen not speaking. Since Bai Jing Tian liked to shout, let him shout, let's see how long he can shout. After shouting for a long time and getting no response, Bai Jing Tian's attitude instantly changed. He ordered his men to speed up and quickly sail towards Lin Chen. I want to see who dares to grab my yacht, and even after hearing my voice, is not afraid at all. Bai Jing Tian said to himself, but when he sailed the yacht next to Lin Chen and saw the situation on the yacht, he was stunned. Lin Chen, he recognized him, not to mention recognizing him, even if he turned into ashes, he would still know him. It's you. Seeing Bai Jing Tian's astonished look, Lin Chen couldn't help but chuckle. Yeah, it's me, your daddy, how does it feel, shocked. Hearing Lin Chen's address in front of Bai Jing Tian, Bai Jing Tian exploded. What the heck, how dare you call yourself daddy, I'm your daddy, okay? With that, he set up a plank between Lin Chen's yacht and his own. Lin Chen was actually a bit annoyed when he saw Bai Jing Tian coming to his yacht. But he didn't say much, just looked at the person in front of him, wanting to see what he was up to. I'm telling you, this is my yacht, please get off. Bai Jingting looked at Lin Chen with a serious expression and said this sentence earnestly. However, this manner made everyone on the yacht laugh. Seeing everyone on the yacht laughing, Bai Jingting couldn't hold back his face for a moment. What are you all laughing at? I'm telling you to get off my yacht, this is my yacht, don't you understand human language? After Bai Jingting finished speaking, he saw Su Meyer standing up, which made Bai Jingting's legs go weak for a moment. The incident of Su Meyer attacking his groin last time made Bai Jingting completely scared, causing him to be afraid when he saw Su Meyer standing up now. But it was also because of this damn woman Su Meyer that he hadn't touched a woman for three days in high school, making him really uncomfortable for three whole days. Thinking of this, he looked at Su Meyer as if he wanted to tear her apart. Su Meyer noticed Bai Jingting's gaze and flirted with him. Bai Jingting wanted to gouge out his own eyes for being tempted by this damn woman. But despite this, after seeing Su Meyer's gaze, he couldn't help but drool. Bai, since you say this is your yacht, then tell me, what proof do you have that this is your yacht? Su Meyer's question momentarily stumped Bai Jingting, who quickly replied, everyone here knows that I rented the yacht, didn't the boss tell you? Well, he did tell me, but since you rented it, can't our young master also rent it? 
The yacht is not your exclusive property. Bai Jingting didn't know how to respond to Su Meyer's words for a moment. His gaze towards Su Meyer turned into hatred. But when hatred reaches its peak, it no longer matters. Bai Jingting closed his eyes to calm his temper a bit, as he had been losing his temper whenever he saw a woman recently. He sat alone on the inflatable sofa, coughed near his mouth, and said stubbornly, Fine, since you won't return the yacht to me, then I'll just stay on the yacht. Whatever. Lin Shen didn't care how many people were on the yacht, as it didn't affect his actions. He continued to eat, drink, and flirt with girls. This made Bai Jing Ting very thirsty. Not having food or drink was one thing, but not even having a woman around was making him impatient. He walked over to Lin Shen, sat down beside him, and started eating and drinking from Lin Shen's supplies. Lin Shen glanced at Bai Jing Ting, pretending he didn't exist, and continued kissing Su Meyer. Lin Shen believed that Bai Jing Ting didn't have the guts to touch his woman. And Lin Shen was confident that those women wouldn't get involved with Bai Jing Ting. As the sky grew darker and the sea became rougher, Bai Jing Ting shivered from the cold, but he had no clothes to wear. Lin Shen, on the other hand, was well dressed, sitting on the inflatable sofa with the other five people, having dinner. Young master, I'm very happy that we could come to Sanya, it's really beautiful here, Lin Xian said, as she had never been out of the capital before, so she had many feelings about this trip. Yes, young master, I had a good time this time, just a bit of a fly in the ointment, Mu Qingqing said, looking at Bai Jingting. Bai Jingting couldn't take it anymore. No matter what, he couldn't stand being called a fly in the ointment. He stood up directly and walked towards Mu Qingqing. How dare you speak to me like that, do you even know how to talk? Mu Qingqing was startled by Bai Jingting's sudden approach, then looked at him. What's wrong with me, aren't you a fly in the ointment? If not, why are you stubbornly staying here? Mu Qingqing's words left Bai Jingting with no room for a comeback, but he still stared at Mu Qingqing with wide eyes. Hey, if you want to leave, then leave quickly, don't disturb us eating. Bai Jingting couldn't stay calm looking at Mu Qingqing in front of him. You dare call me rat feces, fine, you're impressive. Just wait until I call someone over, none of you will be able to escape. With that, he picked up his phone to make a call. Are you calling Nia Shan? Upon hearing this, Bai Jingting, holding the phone, paused for a moment. How do you know it's Nia Shan? Lin Chan smirked. Sorry, Nia Shan is already on my side. If you can get him to come, then I'll admit defeat. Humph, you think you can control Nye Shan? Let me tell you, Nye Shan is a man of integrity. I worked hard to gain his support, how could you think you can just come and conquer him? Bai Jingting's face was full of disdain, looking completely incredulous, he dialed the phone directly. Nye Shan, come help me deal with someone. Because Bai Jingting was using speakerphone, Lin Chen could hear everything Nye Shan said. Are you asking me to deal with Lin Xiao? Upon hearing the term Lin Xiao, Bai Jingting hesitated slightly, as he seemed to not know Lin Chen's name. But Lin Chen didn't mind at all, he walked over, took Bai Jingting's phone, and joked, What, do you think I'm that easy to deal with in your mind? Nia Shan chuckled on the other end, explaining, No, no, of course not. I just guessed that the only one who could provoke Bai Xiao is Lin Xiao. Alright, nothing to see here. Click. Watching Lin Shen hang up the phone directly, Bai Jingting couldn't believe it, reaching out to take his phone and look at Lin Shen. I haven't finished my call, why did you hang up on me? Oh? You heard it, Nye Shan doesn't want to help. If you're not afraid of losing face, go ahead, call back. After considering for a few minutes, Bai Jingting finally walked up to Lin Shen and asked, What exactly is your identity? If Bai Jingting had asked this question earlier, he wouldn't have embarrassed himself later. But his mistake was that he didn't clarify Lin Chen's identity in advance. Upon hearing this question, Lin Chen smirked, looking in a good mood. Have you heard of Lin Chen? Lin Chen. Bai Jingting thought of this name in his mind, but after thinking for a while, a word suddenly popped into his head. Overseas Lin family. Lin Chen reached out to scratch his ear. No need to be so excited, keep your voice down. Bai Jingting's legs went weak with fear, and he knelt down on the ground. 
Truly, enemies always meet, if Bai Jingting had known Lin Chen's identity earlier, he would never have stepped into this mess. Hey, why are you kneeling? Get up quickly. Lin Chen urged. After hearing this, Bai Jingting immediately shook his head vigorously. No, I won't get up. Looking up, he said to Lin Chen, So you're Lin Xiao, I always thought you were an enemy in our family business, please don't take offense, Lin Xiao. Lin Chen squinted his eyes, after seeing Bai Jingting's true thoughts, he smiled. All right, I know what you're thinking, come on, get up. As Lin Chen helped Bai Jingting up, the five women present were puzzled. Why did their young master suddenly become so easy to talk to? Just because he knelt down, did that erase everything that happened before? However, what they didn't expect was that the worst was yet to come. As Bai Jingting and Lin Chen sat down, Lin Chen personally picked up a piece of meat for Bai Jingting. Bai Jingting was so hungry that he was about to vomit, he tried to be polite at first, but when he saw the delicious looking meat on the table, he became very eager. Don't be polite, go ahead and eat. After hearing Lin Chen's words, Bai Jingting finally reached out his hand, picked up the chopsticks, and started eating. However, after a short while, you could see his face wrinkling in pain, and he threw down the chopsticks with a pained expression. He then frantically looked for tissues and spat out the meat onto the paper. Lin Chen, what do you want? Bai Jingting shouted, and Bai Ha immediately came to her side, not understanding what was going on between the young master and Bai Jingting. Weren't they on good terms now, putting aside past grievances? Why did things turn out like this after eating a piece of meat? Hmm. Lin Chen, I already apologized to you, and you still tampered with the meat, it's despicable. After Bai Jingting finished speaking, he stood up immediately and stared at Lin Chen aggressively. I'm telling you, Lin Chen, I'm not afraid of you, I've learned Taekwondo. Lin Chen couldn't help but chuckle at Bai Jingting's current combative appearance. What a joke, Taekwondo can't beat Muay Thai. It's completely impossible. Thinking this, Lin Chen leisurely spoke up, Oh? You call me despicable? Fine, since you said that, then I might as well continue being despicable. With that, Lin Chen stood up directly, and the height difference between the two immediately became apparent. Bai Jingting looked up at Lin Chen, his eyes showing a hint of wariness, but there was no sign of fear in his actions. Come on, I'm not afraid of you. Before Lin Chen could finish his words, how could he just attack directly? That would be too violent. Duong. Ah, immediately after, the sound of Bai Jingting's agonizing cry was heard, and Lin Chen couldn't help but act. Violence was the only way to deal with such people. You, how dare you? The actions just now were so shocking that some people didn't even see Lin Chen's specific movements, they just saw Bai Jingting lying on the ground, wailing like a whining dog. Who went too far, let me straighten you out. Your grandfather, when my grandfather came to visit, he spat on my grandfather. Yes, although my grandfather didn't mind at the time, that was his magnanimity, but I'm petty, and I want to settle the score with you. Since your grandfather has passed away, it's up to you to settle this debt. With that, Lin Chen made several consecutive movements, kicking Bai Jingting in the most painful but non-life-threatening areas. For a moment, the entire yacht was filled with Bai Jingting's cries, sounding like a pig being slaughtered. Hearing Bai Jingting's voice, the people nearby couldn't help but comment. That screaming is so unpleasant. Yeah, I've never heard a man scream so unpleasantly before. Ah, it's really embarrassing for the men. Bai Jingting, who was already in unbearable pain, immediately got angry when he heard this comment. He shouted at the girls who were discussing, Do you have to smile even when you're being beaten up? Oh? Still have the energy to talk? Seeing his woman being scolded, Lin Chen felt annoyed and walked directly in front of Bai Jingting, a hint of a smirk on his lips. Seeing this smile, Bai Jingting's body couldn't help but tremble. And no. Before he could finish his sentence, Lin Chen's hoarse voice came, If that's the case, then go curse in the water. With that, he kicked Bai Jingting into the water. Then, he said to Feng Wang, Notify the rescue team, save him. Seeing that there was no rat feces on the yacht, they happily continued eating. The recent incident didn't affect their mood at all, in fact, they felt even better than before. Wow, young master, you were amazing just now. 
Lin Qian couldn't help but praise Lin Chen. She had always admired his excellence. However, because she didn't talk much, her presence was relatively low-key, so she didn't show her fangirl side. Good boy. Seen by Jing Ting being rescued, Lin Chen felt that he had done what he should do. He felt good thinking about it. Looking at Su Meyer pulling him back to the room and teasing him casually, Lin Chen already had a clear reaction in his lower body. Young master, you're so. M.M. Lin Chen couldn't wait and covered Su Meyer's mouth with his, and the two began a series of movements. It wasn't until the next morning when the sun was shining that Lin Chen gradually woke up. He stretched lazily and felt very comfortable. Seeing Su Meyer still sleeping beside him, he reached out and pinched her nose. Mem a sweet voice entered Lin Chen's ears. Due to just waking up, Lin Chen was already feeling something. Now hearing Su Meyer's voice, he no longer wanted to let her continue sleeping. He directly lifted the blanket and pressed down on Su Meyer. Young master, it's time for breakfast. An hour later, Lin Chen was interrupted by this discordant voice. Luckily, they had just finished, otherwise Lin Chen would have been furious again. After getting dressed, they walked out of the room and saw the gentle waves, feeling really wonderful. This made Lin Chen think of a song, early in the morning, open the window, feeling so good. Although it wasn't early morning now, his mood was very good. Good morning, young master. Good morning. Morning, everyone. Lin Chen smiled and then his phone rang. Glancing at it, it was a call from Zhang Jiqi. As Lin Chen answered, he heard Zhang Jiqi's voice. Young Master Lin, when will you be back? Why, missing me? Lin Chen said playfully, then heard Zhang Jiqi's light laughter. Of course, Young Master Lin, you've been gone for four days, I really miss you. After joking around, Zhang Jiqi began to speak seriously, the basic form of the entertainment club has been established. Next is the name. I want to ask young Master Lin what name you would like to use. Name. When it came to names, Lin Chen couldn't think of a good one for a moment. He looked into the distance and thought for a while. Dury Residence. This word suddenly appeared in Lin Chen's mind, and he was quite satisfied with it. Dury Residence? Zhang Jiqi read it aloud and then praised, this name is good. I'll get someone to work on it right away. Good. After hanging up with Zhang Jiqi, Lin Chen continued to have breakfast with them. Seeing that life here was almost over, they finished eating, packed up, and planned to go home. However, who could have expected that as they were leaving, Su Xiao and Bai Jingting appeared in front of Lin Chen at the same time. One of them was holding a baseball bat, looking really arrogant. Behind them stood five big and fierce-looking brothers, which made Lin Chen can't help but want to laugh. You guys are really flattering me. Even for picking a fight, you can bring so many people? Then, Lin Chen couldn't help but tremble, I'm so scared. This action made by Jing Ting shiver. Lin Chen, stop pretending. I know what you're capable of. Your current appearance only makes me feel that you're more hypocritical. Hypocritical? It had been a long time since anyone had used this word to describe Lin Chen. Unexpectedly, Bai Jingting said so. This made Lin Chen feel a bit fresh, but at the same time, he looked at Su Xiao. This guy had fled in a panic before, how come he dared to show up in front of him now? You too, will you obediently make way, or what? Upon hearing this, Su Xiao immediately sneered, it's really funny. Do you think we would be afraid of you? Although you have more people, they are all women, not as strong as us, each one of us is tough. After saying that, Su Xiao couldn't help but feel pleased with himself. Seeing him like this, Lin Chen couldn't help but shake his head and sigh. Ah, really arrogant and conceited. That's right, this is our territory. How can you think of leaving after hitting us? By Jingting, if I were beaten by someone, I would never openly admit it like this, it's so embarrassing. Lin Chen sarcastically remarked with surprise. Upon hearing this, Bai Jingting seemed to have no intention of continuing the conversation with Lin Chen, he directly waved his hand, and the people behind him came forward. Bai Xiao. Let's go. Yes. Charge. Ah. Hmm. 
Immediately, the sound of bones breaking filled the space, sounding extremely brutal. As he watched all five bodyguards in the room being knocked down, Bai Jingting subconsciously swallowed and took a step back. He knew how powerful Lin Chen was, and he still remembered how Lin Chen kicked him into the water last night. Now seeing Lin Chen's strength again, he was a little scared. But since they started this, how could there be a chance to back down now? Lin Chen smirked, I've let you off once, but since you still don't know your place, I have no choice but to be ruthless. Before the words had even finished, Lin Chen's figure had disappeared, rushing towards Bai Jingting. Hmm, a muffled groan, and Bai Jingting's arm had already broken. Su Xiao was so scared that he dropped the stick and ran without any hesitation. Seeing this, Lin Chen just smiled, knowing that if he hadn't spared them, Su Xiao wouldn't have left. After Bai Jingting's arm broke, he fell to the ground like a snapped string. Lin Chen then made a phone call. Manager Lu, the Bai family and Sanya, take care of them. Yes, young master. Bai Jingting suddenly looked up, his face full of astonishment as he stared at Lin Chen. At that moment, his eyes were not just surprised, but also filled with confusion, helplessness, and regret. But now, it was too late for regrets. Ignoring Bai Jingting lying on the ground, Lin Chen just hugged Su Meyer and left the scene. It wasn't until Lin Chen left the hotel that Bai Jingting suddenly realized his mistake. When he went out to look for Lin Chen, he had already disappeared without a trace. Sometimes, when you make a mistake and realize that things are not as simple as you thought, it's already too late to turn back. Bai Jingting's heart clenched, but there was no room for regret. Lin Chen returned to the villa, a familiar place. But this time, he didn't stay long, instead heading to the most bustling area in the city center where he was building an entertainment club. Oh, Lin, you're back. Zhang Jichi was directing his staff there, and when he saw Lin Chen return, he walked up to greet him. Lin Chen waved his hand in the air and said to Zhang Jichi, stay calm, don't get too excited. After all, you're at the level of a mayor now, why are you so unstable in your actions? Ha, huh, now that I see you back. I can finally take a break. After hearing this, Lin Chen patted Zhang Jichi on the back, you've worked hard. Only Lin Chen could have the authority to have the mayor come supervise the work. Let's go, have a drink. All right. As Lin Chen and Zhang Jichi walked into a tea house, Zhang Jichi looked at Lin Chen seriously. Lin, what are your orders, please tell me. Seeing Zhang Jichi's nervous demeanor, Lin Chen couldn't help but chuckle. I came to have tea with you, nothing more. After saying that, Zhang Jichi smiled and said, It seems that I misunderstood your intentions, Mr. Lin. They chatted for a long time, discussing various topics. When they talked about Su Meyer, Zhang Jichi's expression changed slightly. Has Su Meyer caused any trouble for you? No, Meyer is quite well behaved and sensible. After saying that, Lin Chen touched his chin and looked at Zhang Jichi in front of him. What, are you thinking about Su Meyer? Zhang Jichi's hand, which was holding the tea, suddenly paused. However, Zhang Jichi's reaction was very quick, and he immediately came up with an excuse in his mind. How could that be? She is Mr. Lin's woman. I asked because I'm afraid the woman I find won't listen and will cause trouble for Mr. Lin. I just said it casually joking around. Hearing Lin Chen's words, Zhang Jichi felt relieved and looked at Lin Chen with a guarded expression. As the sky darkened, Lin Chen bid farewell to Zhang Jichi and returned home. Feng Wan, now that we're back, you should accept the construction of the club. Here's one million, remember to use it. Yes, young master. Just as he returned to his room, he heard the voice of the system. Ding, Congratulations to the host for completing the task given by the system. Congratulations to the host for acquiring acting level 8 skill. Congratulations to the host for activating the pocket money function. Congratulations to the host for receiving a hidden task, would you like to activate it? Yes. Congratulations to the host for obtaining a script. Upon hearing all these congratulations, Lin Chen was momentarily puzzled about what was happening. He had to understand each one step by step. Acquiring the acting skill should be related to the script, and as for the pocket money function, it seemed to be linked to his existing pocket money, allowing him to check his balance anytime. But what about the script? 
What was it about? Lin Chen directly opened the script and saw the big words on it, Sunflower Manual. When he saw these four words, Lin Chen felt a strong aversion. What was the Sunflower Manual, and why was it a script? At that moment, the system's voice timely sounded. The script requires the host to find the corresponding director based on the content of the script and shoot a TV series. This is considered a hidden task. Shoot a TV series? Was he going to shoot a TV series too? And the director below was the most popular director Zhang Zhimo? Lin Chen was stunned for a moment but quickly accepted it. If he really shot a TV series, wouldn't he gain many fans? This way, there would be many little fangirls. Thinking about this, Lin Chen felt it was quite feasible. He glanced at the director's contact information below and directly dialed the phone. Hello, is this director Zhang? Upon hearing this question, director Zhang on the other end was slightly puzzled, looking at his phone in confusion. Yes, it's me. I wonder if director Zhang is interested in having a meal with me. Upon hearing this, Zhang Jimo frowned in disgust. I don't have time. Many people wanted to have a meal with him, and he couldn't accommodate all requests. This response left Lin Chen momentarily stunned. He had always known when he himself was busy, but now Zhang Jimo also claimed to be busy? Lin Chen smiled, then, as the heir of the overseas Lin family, I invite you to dinner. Do you have time? Upon hearing this, Zhang Jimo's hand holding the phone trembled. He knew that Lin Chen, the heir of the overseas Lin family, had arrived in the capital, but he never expected Lin Chen to call him. He didn't know what to say for a moment but made a complete turnaround in his attitude, I wonder if Mr. Lin has something to discuss with me? Lin Chen chuckled and reached out to touch his chin, hmm, I did call you for something, so I wonder if Director Zhang has time to meet? Okay, okay, I will definitely come. Hanging up the phone, Lin Chen snapped his fingers. The so-called lack of time was not really about not having time, but about whether your status was worth others making time to see you. Lin Chen quickly tidied up a bit, glanced at Feng Wang who was working, and directly reached out to hold her hand. Feng Wang looked up in surprise, but when she saw it was Lin Chen, she relaxed. Young master, is there something you need? Put down what you're working on and come with me. However, seeing this scene, Su Meyer felt unhappy so she reached out and grabbed Lin Chen's arm, looking reluctant. Young master, you're biased, you're taking Feng Wang but not me. Feng Wang gave Su Meyer a fierce look, making Su Meyer subconsciously a bit scared. But considering it was Feng Wang, she couldn't be weak, so she straightened her chest and raised her head. Oomph, what, am I wrong? Lin Chen could only helplessly say, we're not going out to have fun, we have business. After that, to prevent Su Meyer from causing more trouble, he directly cut off her thoughts, be good at home and wait for me to come back. Otherwise, you won't be good. Su Meyer pouted, since Lin Chen had already said that, if she followed along, it would be too immature. So she could only watch as Feng Wang and Lin Chen left the house. Feng Wang sat in the car with Lin Chen, still playing with her phone. Lin Chen frowned and looked over, but when he saw it was a design drawing, he felt a bit relieved. He reached out and held Feng Wang's hand, saying, It's okay, this can wait. When they arrived at the agreed location, Lin Chen was right on time. When Zhang Jimo saw Feng Wang next to Lin Chen, he was briefly surprised but quickly averted his gaze. Women like this rich second generation were not to be looked at casually. Seeing Zhang Jimo's reaction, Lin Chen didn't say much, but went straight to the point and explained the purpose of their visit today. This is Director Zhang, take a look. When Zhang Jimo opened the sunflower scripture, his eyes showed greed and admiration as if he had found a treasure. This is a very good script. After Zhang Jimo finished speaking, he looked eagerly at Lin Chen. Lin, where did you get this script from? After saying this, Zhang Jimo felt that his words seemed a bit inappropriate, so he touched his nose and continued, sorry. I was just excited to see the script, I just want to know, what do you mean, Lin? To film a TV series. Lin Chen answered succinctly, then glanced at Zhang Jimo and added, I want to play the male lead and invest in it. What? Invest. Zhang Jimo had seen big scenes before, but he had never seen such a big figure investing, 
So when he heard this news, he was a bit excited. But he suppressed his excitement, looked at Lin Chen, and chuckled. There's absolutely no problem with you playing the male lead, but as for the investment, how much are you planning to invest, Lin? Seeing Zhang Zhimo's eager look, Lin Chen already had an idea in his mind. However, he had never dealt with this kind of investment before. That's why he brought Feng Huang along. As for the specifics of the investment, how much to invest, and other related questions, you can ask my assistant. With that, Lin Chen patted Feng Huang's shoulder. You handle it. Then he glanced at Zhang Jimo and said goodbye, I have something else to attend to, so I'll take my leave. Zhang Jimo immediately stood up, nodded at Lin Chen, and said, All right, take care, Lin. Until Lin Chen's figure disappeared from Zhang Jimao's sight, he finally sat down. Looking at the phoenix in front of him, the pressure was not that great now. May I ask how to address you? Phoenix. All right, Miss Phoenix, let's discuss the investment matter now. Okay. Phoenix had a relatively thorough understanding of these matters because she majored in this field in college. Talking about it now, she felt quite at ease. But the most important thing was that Lin Chen had enough money to spend, which was a major advantage in Phoenix's eyes. After Lin Chen left the coffee shop, he walked alone into the nearby park, leaving the car to Phoenix. Surprisingly, despite being in this world for so long, he had not properly explored this big city yet. With some free time on his hands, he decided to take a stroll and appreciate the beauty along the way. The nearby park was relatively empty at this time, with only a few people scattered around, creating a peaceful atmosphere. As he sat down on a bench, he overheard a conversation nearby. Have you heard? There have been many thieves recently, specifically targeting cell phones. Yes, my phone was stolen not long ago, and the methods used were quite low. Ah, one must be careful. Just as they were talking, Lin Chen suddenly saw two men, dressed in denim, walking in different directions. And there was a particularly beautiful woman sitting on the bench. Hello, miss, could you tell me how to get to Zhong Tiao Road? Just as the woman was answering, the thief behind her made a cut in her bag and stole her phone. Seeing this, Lin Chen couldn't just stand by. With a determined look in his eyes, he sprinted towards the thief, seemingly proud of his keen observation skills. It was as if he was saying, go ahead, keep stealing. I caught you, try stealing again. However, the thief showed no fear and provocatively glanced at Lin Chen, exuding arrogance. The woman whose phone was stolen also realized the situation and demanded, give me back my phone. But the thief, mocking her, remained silent. This time, Lin Chen got a clear look at the woman's face. Oval face, phoenix eyes, arched eyebrows, petite cherry lips, a truly fresh and beautiful woman. Simply put, she was gorgeous. Unable to resist, Lin Chen jokingly said, Miss, if I help you retrieve your phone, can you treat me to a meal? The woman initially doubted Lin Chen, but with no other choice, she agreed. Sure, as long as you help me get my phone back, not just one meal, I'll treat you to three. Onlookers gathered around, and the thief started to feel uneasy. But maintaining a facade of calmness, he looked at Lin Chen, gritted his teeth, and ran. Quick, catch him. Yes, catch him. Don't let him escape. Go for it, young man. Upon hearing these words, Lin Chen smiled and swiftly moved forward, catching the fleeing thief. With a shoulder throw, the thief fell to the ground, and the woman's phone ended up in Lin Chen's hands. He discreetly placed it in his clothes and then looked at the fallen thief. Seeing the thief's shocked expression, he said, it's because you're incompetent. With that, Lin Chen kicked the thief to the side. Good. Good. The young man is great. Wow, so handsome. Quick, call the police. When he heard the word police, Lin Chen went straight to the beauty, grabbed her hand, and ran. The beauty looked confused but still followed Lin Chen because her phone was still with him. When the beauty couldn't run anymore, Lin Chen stopped. Looking at her panting heavily, he smiled. Why are you running? They want to call the police. Lin Chen pretended to be scared. At this moment, the beauty rolled her eyes. Let them call the police, what are you afraid of? You're not a thief. 
but I don't want to go to the police station to make a statement. The beauty laughed, I didn't expect you to be quite unique, daring to fight with thieves and escape from the police station. Then I'll take it as a compliment from you, big sister, and reluctantly accept it. Seeing Ling Xin being so self-absorbed, the beauty smiled and reached out her hand, saying, Hello, I'm Lu Yi. Thank you for helping me retrieve my phone. Lin Chen immediately shook Lu Ye's hand. I'm Lin Chen, no need to thank me, let me treat you to a meal. You haven't given me my phone back, why should I have a meal with you? Lu Yi turned her head arrogantly, not looking at Lin Chen. Lin Chen was amused by her action and reached out to pat her head. Behave, let's have a meal first, or I'm afraid you'll run away. Lu Yi quickly stepped back, even reaching out to hit Lin Chen. Stop touching me. Lin Chen felt wronged for no reason, with a face full of grievances. Seeing Lu Ye's fierce appearance, he approached her step by step. What are you doing? Lu Ye was a little flustered, watching Lin Chen getting closer, she swallowed nervously. What are you doing? Lin Chen stopped when he was just a step away from Lu Ye, his eyes playful, making her a little scared. But she started to use her eyes to scrutinize Lin Chen's handsome face. I want to say, I not only use my hands and feet, but also my mouth. Lin Chen said, leaning closer to Lu Yi. Ah! Lu Yi was startled, unable to breathe. Just as Lin Chen used his mouth to pick a leaf, Lu Yi was stunned. She thought, she thought Lin Chen was going to do something else. But she didn't expect him to help remove the leaf from her hair. Why did you use your mouth? Lu Yi blushed, feeling a bit embarrassed, not knowing how to react to Lin Chen. Since you said I only use my hands and feet, I'll show you something you haven't seen before. Lin Chen said matter-of-factly, leaving Lu Yi speechless. Seeing Lu Yi at a loss for words, Lin Chen found her incredibly cute. Subconsciously, he checked her personal information with the system. Name, Lu Yi personality, hot-tempered, unpredictable skills, interesting LV3 rating, 85 favorability, 20 seeing this rating, Lin Chen thought the system had made a mistake. However, when he used his true vision to look at Lu Ye's body, he understood the reason. It turned out that not being a virgin also seriously affected the rating. Otherwise, for someone like Lu Ye, who had both looks and personality, she should have a rating of over 93. But Lin Chen didn't mind that she wasn't a virgin. His goal was not just to recruit a maid. Seeing Lin Chen staring at her, Lu Yi simply reached out and covered his eyes. What are you doing? Lin Chen was puzzled. You keep staring at me, I feel embarrassed. Lin Chen moved away from Lu Ye's hand and said, in that case, take me out for a meal. Seeing Lin Chen constantly talking about eating, Lu Yi thought he must be starving and could only compromise. Okay, then you go eat. With that, Lin Chen and Lu Yi walked into a restaurant and Lin Chen ordered a lot of dishes. This made Lu Yi feel heartbroken. Wow, are you doing this on purpose? You know, the meal Lin Chen ordered must have cost at least a thousand. With the money spent on this meal, Lu Yi could have bought a new phone instead. Upon hearing this, Lin Chen retorted, What's wrong? I'm just thinking of you. This is your way of thinking of me? Lu Yi couldn't understand Lin Chen's mindset, but she couldn't help but roll her eyes at him. However, Lin Chen continued to speak for himself, of course, the meal I usually have is more expensive than what you eat outside. While Lin Chen's statement was true, in Lu Ye's eyes, it seemed like he was showing off his wealth in a hypocritical way. But Lu Yi didn't expose him and instead chose to flatter him so he could continue living in his own world. With that in mind, Lu Yi didn't say much more and decided to consider the money spent as a lesson learned. As for the person in front of her, Lu Yi didn't say much either. Throughout the meal, both of them ate quietly. Lin Chen ate quietly because he was taught not to speak during meals since he was young. And Lu Yi remained silent simply because she didn't want to talk to Lin Chen. After finishing the meal, Lu Yi called the waiter over. Check, please. As soon as Lu Yi spoke, she heard Lin Chen banging on the table. Thinking Lin Chen hadn't eaten enough and was planning to order more, Lu Yi frowned. Just as she was about to tell Lin Chen that was enough, she saw the black cards on the table, making her feel uneasy. This. Lu Yi looked at the black cards on the table and smiled, 
No matter how shameless I am, I can't let a girl pay, right? With that, she took out her black card, handed it to the waiter, and said, Use this to pay, no password. Upon hearing this, Lin Chen chuckled. He never set a password for his bank cards, especially for a black card that not many people dared to steal. Lu Yi couldn't help but feel embarrassed for misunderstanding Lin Chen earlier and wanted to scold herself. She smiled awkwardly and said to Lin Chen, I should be the one paying, after all, you helped me get my phone back. However, Lin Chen replied nonchalantly, It's okay, it's just a meal, and I rarely have such a beautiful lady accompany me for a meal, it's my honor. Lu Yi pouted, If you had spoken like this earlier, I wouldn't have been mad at you. After paying the bill, the two of them left the restaurant. Lin Chen stretched and checked the time, realizing it was still early. Do you want to take a walk? Okay, Lu Yi nodded. Somehow, she felt that Lin Chen in front of her was not as simple as she thought, or rather, Lin Chen's identity was not that of an ordinary person. For a moment, the woman's gossip and curiosity were driving her to interact more with Lin Chen. Who are you exactly? Lu Yi couldn't help but ask, but Lin Chen just reached out and patted her head. You're so cute. Feeling confused by Lin Chen's compliment, Lu Yi simply dodged away. Can you not pat my head? I have a boyfriend. Hearing Lu Yi admit this voluntarily, Lin Chen was actually a bit surprised. According to some women nowadays, they wouldn't say this after seeing their black card. But unexpectedly, Lu Yi did. This made Lin Chen's fondness for Lu Yi increase once again. Wow, touching your head means you're cute. If your boyfriend disagrees or has any objections, he can come find me and we can talk. Upon hearing this, Willow couldn't help but want to laugh, but she still cursed, you're crazy. Hey, how dare you call me crazy, you're quite bold, aren't you? Oomph, just cursing at you. Watching Willow walk into a mall, Lin Chen was about to follow when he heard his phone ring. He answered the phone and started to catch up. Young master, when are you coming home? Su Meyer called, and Lin Chen frowned, what's wrong, I'm still outside, something came up. Meyer misses you, young master, please come back soon. Willow noticed Lin Chen on the phone, walked up to him, and covered his mouth with her hand. MMM Lin Chen looked at the mischievous Willow, hung up the phone directly, and menacingly walked towards her. Seeing Lin Chen had hung up the phone, Willow finally revealed a mischievous smile. Looking at Lin Chen in front of her, she giggled for a while. Why are you looking at me like that, I just covered your mouth. Before she could say more, she saw Lin Chen reach out and grab her, smiling devilishly. Since you're so eager to get close to me, that's perfect, come with me. Without waiting for Willow's resistance, Lin Chen smiled, reached out and held her hand, and they walked forward together. Willow, unable to resist Lin Chen, could only follow behind him. Although they didn't speak the whole way, Willow inexplicably felt that Lin Chen's mood was quite good. After about five minutes, Lin Chen led Willow to a secluded place, and she saw that it was a particularly quiet park. Coincidentally, there was no one in the park, and Willow inexplicably liked the park. The air was filled with a strong floral scent, and the flowers were all blooming beautifully, competing with each other, which Willow liked very much. Seeing Willow's happy face, Lin Chen couldn't help but smile and walked up to her. I didn't expect you to like flowers too. After hearing this, Willow rolled her eyes at Lin Chen, isn't that obvious? Why wouldn't I like flowers? With that, Willow stopped looking at Lin Chen and walked towards another direction. When they reached the depths of the park, Willow thought she saw a cat, but when she tried to chase after it, the cat was nowhere to be found. Willow looked at Lin Chen, looking a bit aggrieved, which made Lin Chen reach out and pat her head. When should I get you one? I don't want you to. Willow dodged Lin Chen's hand and looked at him with a hum. Seeing that it was getting late, Willow said goodbye. Anyway, thank you for today. If it weren't for you, I would have lost my phone. Willow said seriously, as if they wouldn't meet again in the future. Let's exchange WeChat. Lin Chen suggested, and Willow thought for a moment, took out her phone, and added him as a friend. Okay, I'm leaving. As Willow walked away, Lin Chen followed. When they returned home, it was already past seven in the evening. When Su Meyer saw Lin Chen return home, she suddenly stood up, 
walked up to him and hugged his waist. Young master, you're finally back. Hearing Su Meyer's voice, Lin Chen frowned. He knew Su Meyer's voice was sweet, but in that sweetness, there was a hint of crying. What's wrong? Lin Chen frowned, looking at Su Meyer in front of him, completely unaware of what had happened. Was it because he hadn't come home all day that Su Meyer wanted to cry, but Lin Chen quickly denied his thoughts because Su Meyer's eyes, not only longing, but more of a complaint. Oomph, young master, you hung up on me today, I really feel wronged. Hearing the hang up, Lin Chen was stunned at first because he didn't remember when he hung up on Su Meyer. But then he thought, did he hang up the phone directly without thinking when Willow Leaf covered his mouth today? Lin Chen was a bit unsure for a moment, after all, he was the one who hung up first. All right, all right, Meyer, be good. I had something to do today, that's why I hung up. Don't be sad, okay? Hearing Lin Chen compromise, Su Meyer stopped crying. But seeing Lin Chen still teary-eyed, she couldn't help but laugh. You're mean, I'm so sad, and you're still making fun of me. Su Meyer directly raised her small fist and punched Lin Chen's chest. Okay, okay, I won't laugh, won't laugh. Lin Chen watched as Su Meyer finally stopped crying, then sat on the sofa and looked at the phoenix beside him. How did it go today? The phoenix nodded, yes, the initial investment agreed upon is 5 million. If things go well in the middle of the month, another 10 million will be added. Lin Chen thought it was fine and nodded directly. Just as he was about to say something to the phoenix, Su Meyer reached out and grabbed his clothes. Young master, Meyer misses you so much hearing Su Meyer deliberately elongate her tone, the phoenix immediately showed a disgusted expression but didn't say much, just rolled her eyes. Miss me? Yes. Then let's go. Lin Chen hugged Su Meyer and went upstairs, the two returned to the room. Early the next morning, Lin Chen saw the phoenix already sitting on the sofa, raised his hand to check the time, and was stunned. It was only 6.30 in the morning, why was the phoenix up so early? Because director Zhang said if you're available, he hopes to start as soon as possible. As soon as possible? Yes, if possible, try to go today. Lin Chen was full of questions, why go now? Have they found all the actors? In less than half a day, if they had already found all the actors, the speed was really fast. But the phoenix denied it directly. No, director Zhang didn't ask you to start shooting directly, he wants you to choose the cast. After all, Lin Chen had a status, he had the ability to choose who he acted with. Thinking about this, Lin Chen found it interesting. He had only heard that casting for TV shows was fun, never thought he would actually experience it. Thinking about this, Lin Chen's mood improved. Looking directly at the phoenix in front of him, he beckoned, let's go, with me. The phoenix nodded, didn't refuse, and got into the car with Lin Chen. But at the same time, she reported, young master, the entertainment club will be completed in about a month, then it will be decorated. Do you have any opinions or preferences regarding the decoration? Lin Chen thought for a moment and said, just make it grand and luxurious, make it look high-end. But after saying this, he regretted it. No, let's not be too extravagant, just follow your aesthetic, I trust you. With that, Lin Chen patted the phoenix on the shoulder, showing his trust. Yes, young master. Just as he was about to lead the crew, Lin Chen opened his eyes, looked at the bustling entrance of the crew, and saw several beautiful women. But because there were many people there, he didn't have time to look closely and went straight to the lobby. The phoenix walked over and said something to the front desk, and the front desk politely pointed her in a direction. Young master, this way. Lin Chen followed behind the phoenix, observing the pedestrians coming and going along the way. After all, from the way these people behaved under normal circumstances, one could also see some of the most genuine things. Lin Chen arrived on the third floor, and on the left was a relatively large conference hall. He walked in, only to hear the phoenix's voice behind him saying, Young master, wrong place, it's not here. But just as Lin Chen was about to leave, he heard a voice behind him. Hey, don't go, where are you going? Lin Chen frowned, thinking it wasn't about him at first, but when he felt a slight pain on his shoulder, he realized it was indeed about him. Is there something? Lin Chen asked directly, but was met with mockery from the man in front of him. 
Oh, what, you don't recognize me, big brother? Do I have to recognize you? These days, can you believe there are still people who don't know me? The man's tone was full of sarcasm, which Lin Chen found annoying. Phoenix did not receive Lin Chen's command, so naturally she stood still, silent. Lin Chen carefully observed the man in front of him, who was indeed quite handsome, with a sharp face and a pair of peach blossom eyes, looking like the male lead in a modern idol drama. But that attitude, it was a bit much. Anyway, Lin Chen was here today to audition, so why not have some fun with him? With that in mind, Lin Chen smiled and asked, May I know your name? Listen carefully, big brother's name is Kai Xu Chang. Lin Chen frowned, he had never heard of this name before, was it because he hadn't watched TV dramas in a long time? But without saying much, Lin Chen just nodded. Hey, what's with your attitude? You just nod your head when you hear my name? Kai Xu Chan looked at Lin Chen, becoming more displeased. His goal today was to suppress these small supporting roles who were competing with him for the second male lead role, otherwise if this role went to someone else, it wouldn't be good. But he didn't expect the person in front of him to be unaffected by his attempts to suppress him, which made Kai Xu Chang even more displeased. Do you know how these people react when they hear my name? Lin Chen shook his head, I didn't see it, how would I know? Of course, this was just what Lin Chen thought in his mind, he didn't say it out loud. These people, when they hear my name, they must call me big brother, got it? Lin Chen nodded again. This kid, Kai Xu Chang was getting a bit annoyed. Hey, do you have a problem in your head, since you know, are you mute? Hearing this, Lin Chen nodded again. Seeing this, Kai Xu Chang was about to reach out and hit Lin Chen, but then he heard the voice of his assistant. Everyone, please be quiet, Mr. Lin will come to participate in the audition later, everyone keep your eyes open. Hearing this, Kai Xu Chang pointed at Lin Chen. Consider yourself lucky, I'll let you off for now. With that, he went to sit on the sofa, acting like a big star, making Lin Chen shake his head. It seemed that these up-and-coming supporting roles were really disappointing, becoming more and more unlikable. Even the phoenix couldn't help but complain, young master, are you just going to let him be so arrogant? Oh, our ice beauty is also showing some consideration for our young master. Lin Chen reached out and lifted the phoenix's chin, his eyes flashing with a hint of ruthlessness, don't worry, his future in the entertainment industry will end in my hands. With that, Lin Chen walked into a room and sat down, with the phoenix sitting behind him. Lin Chen looked around the room, which was more like a theater than a room, it looked especially large. When Zhang Jimo saw Lin Chen, he stood up and greeted him. Lin Xiao, you finally arrived. Originally, I didn't want to bother you with these casting matters, but after some thought, I decided to leave the decision to you. This way, it would be more comfortable for you to act with me, right? Director Zhang is really considerate. Soon, all the actors walked from the conference hall to the theater. When Kai Xu Chang saw Lin Chen sitting on the stage, his mouth dropped open in disbelief. It seemed like he wanted to rub his eyes to make sure Lin Chen was real. Zhang Jimao obviously didn't notice this and continued with pleasantries. However, when he heard the last sentence, Kai Xu Chang suddenly slumped in his chair. Today's casting will mainly be decided by our Lin Xiao. I hope everyone will perform well. The first one, come on stage. Lin Chen glanced at Kai Xu Chang, then never looked at him again. After all, he already knew the fate of such a person the moment he called Lin Chen to stop. He shifted his gaze to the first woman on stage. Director, Lin Xiao, my name is Lu Ruashi, a newcomer. I'm here today because I've had an actor's dream since I was young. Hearing Lu Ruashi's introduction, Lin Chen looked at her again, noting that her figure didn't match her face at all. Lu Ruashi had a delicate appearance, giving the impression of someone who needed to be protected. But her figure was very mature, enough to make one's nose bleed at first sight. Perhaps this was the legendary baby face with a mature figure. Seeing this, Lin Chen nodded, audition based on the role you want to try. No matter how good-looking or well-built someone is, what matters in the end is their talent. The Sunflower Scripture is a modern comedy script with deep meaning. Everyone is searching for the shining points in their lives. When someone possesses the sunflower scripture, helping them shine brighter, what will they do? 
Lu Ruwashi quickly got into character. She wanted to try the role of a supporting character in the play. The role had few lines but was crucial. She played a recent college graduate who, after obtaining the Sunflower Scripture, rose to prominence in the workplace as an elite woman. Now, Lu Ruwashi was portraying her state after becoming an elite. With a mature demeanor, a hint of pride and confidence in her eyes, contrasting with her shy and submissive self in production. So, after watching Lu Ruwashi's performance, Lin Chen directly said, It's you. Remember to stay later. What? Everyone was shocked. Isn't the usual casting process about watching all performances and then selecting the best? Why was the decision made so quickly? People in the audience who wanted to try the role felt dejected upon seeing it had been filled. Zhang Jimao was also surprised by this method and hesitated to speak. As for Lin Chen, he had his own considerations. Let me explain my casting method. After watching someone's performance, if I think it's suitable, you will be selected. After that, there will be further competition, so be prepared. Ah! Oh my god, how can it be so intense? Too fierce. The audience below started to worry because not only did they have to worry about passing the audition, but also about maintaining their position afterward. Thinking about this, their expressions became more serious, originally very nervous, but after hearing this sentence, the people below were still chatting, but now they had no thoughts of chatting. Next up was contestant number two. Unexpectedly, contestant number two turned out to be Kai Xu Chang. After Kai Xu Chang came up, he looked at Lin Chen and his expression looked like he was about to cry. He must be regretting it now, why did he act so arrogantly towards Lin Chen before, now he has directly lost the opportunity for this role. However, despite this, Kai Xu Chang was still trying to figure out a solution. Hello, Mr. Lin, Director Zhang. Lin Chen's expression was indifferent, without any reaction. Seeing this, it was unclear whether Kai Xu Chang had a strong mental resilience or if his acting skills were just that good. He was still maintaining a poker face, and began, So you are Mr. Lin. Lin Chen raised an eyebrow, neither confirming nor denying. He was not Mr. Lin, were there any other young masters surnamed Lin present? Kai Xu Chang continued, When I saw you just now, I knew you must be a big shot, so I performed a play in advance for you. I hope Mr. Lin can forgive me. The situation was urgent just now, and I didn't have time to explain to you. Seeing Kai Xu Chang nodding and bowing now, Lin Chen couldn't help but applaud and cheer. This was simply amazing. The reason, the excuse, it was all so effortlessly delivered, as if no script was needed at all. Zhang Jimo was completely out of the loop the whole time, as he had no idea what had just happened. He only heard Lin Chen nod and say, since you have already performed, let's move on to the next one. Lin Chen said indifferently, as if it didn't matter whether he watched the performance or not, it had no effect on him at all. Upon hearing this, Kai Xu Chang was filled with regret. He hurriedly said, Wait, Mr. Lin, I feel like I didn't perform well just now, I hope you can give me another chance. Act. What? Act. Kai Xu Chang was stunned for a moment, were all big shots this forgiving? For a moment, Kai Xu Chang thought he had encountered a benefactor, and immediately started acting according to the script. It had to be said, his acting skills were really good, at least enough to immerse Lin Chen in it. At that moment, Lin Chen was curious about what would happen if he brought Kai Xu Chang on board. Thinking this, he did just that. He smiled and said, You're in. What? I actually got in. Kai Xu Chang knew he was right in thinking that he had indeed met a benefactor. The people in the audience were stunned to see this situation, could causing trouble with a big shot really lead to an opportunity? How is this possible, did they make a mistake? Yeah, Kai Xu Chang just said that, how could Mr. Lin still accept him? Could it be that Mr. Lin has a big heart? Believe me, someone at the level of a big shot like him wouldn't forgive so easily. The casting process continued, and the people who followed were quite ordinary and did not attract Lin Chen's attention. So Zhang Jimo could just pick randomly, as they were just some unimportant minor roles. However, the final female lead had not been decided yet. I'm still in talks for the female lead. With whom? 
Lin Chen was actually quite curious about the female lead, after all, there were kissing scenes involved. Currently negotiating with the popular young actress, Song Zhu. Song Zhu? Lin Chen thought about Song Zhu's appearance in his mind, and upon realizing her innocent and cute face, he was quite satisfied. Moreover, she was a newcomer who had just debuted, so she should be much better than those seasoned actors in the entertainment industry. Okay, she's the one, at all costs. After that, Lin Chen seemed to have remembered something and added, by the way, if Song Zhu's schedule doesn't work out, you can negotiate with me, I'll help you out. Okay, Mr. Lin. I don't know why, but Zhang Jimao felt particularly relieved when he heard Lin Chen's words. After seeing Lin Chen leave, Kai Xu Chang quickly caught up with him and handed him a bottle of mineral water. Lin Xiao, you've worked hard, have a drink of water. Lin Chen glanced at the mineral water, then saw Kai Xu Chang directly twist open the bottle cap and handed it to Lin Chen. Lin Xiao, I offended you in the meeting room just now, please forgive me. Seeing Kai Xu Chang's sincere apology, Lin Chen chuckled sarcastically. Maybe this is human nature. After knowing each other's identities, all interaction patterns will change. Thank you. Lin Chen drank a sip of water to save face. Seeing Kai Xu Chang's smiling face, he continued, Good acting. If you have a good character, you can be cultivated well. Good, good, with good character, definitely good. Hearing Kai Xu Chang's consecutive assurances, Lin Chen didn't say anything and just smiled lightly before leaving the spot. After getting in the car, Feng Huang started asking Lin Chen, Does the young master really want to cultivate Kai Xu Chang well? Lin Chen didn't directly answer Feng Huang's question but smiled at her. Feng Huang felt a bit uneasy under this smile, wondering if she had asked the wrong question. Then she felt Lin Chen gently holding her chin and leaning in close to whisper in her ear, Why, our Feng Huang seems to be caring more and more about me lately. Have you fallen in love with me? Blushing, Feng Huang was flustered and didn't know where to look. Lin Chen, seeing her reaction, stopped teasing her and said, Falling in love is a good thing, but you must be brave enough to admit it. With that, Feng Huang was left to ponder alone. She thought about this question all the way until she got home but she didn't forget an important matter. Young master, we have the ribbon-cutting ceremony for the shoot tomorrow. Got it, Lin Chen casually replied before returning to his bedroom. Just then, Su Meyer quickly ran out and loudly asked in the living room, where's the young master? I clearly heard his voice just now. However, no one in the living room paid attention to Su Meyer, either because they found her annoying or because they were busy with their own affairs. Seeing no response, Su Meyer went to Lin Chen's bedroom alone. As she was about to knock on the door, Lin Chen opened it directly. What's up? Leaning against the door with a roguelike look, he almost made Su Meyer's eyes sparkle. Young master, I miss you, Su Meyer said sweetly, but Lin Chen just patted her head and said, Be good, I'm busy. Hearing this, she wanted to turn her head inside, but Lin Chen stopped her. Young master, do you not love me anymore? Looking at her pouting, Lin Chen calmly said, Be good, go play by yourself. I'll come find you tomorrow night. Finally getting a promise, Su Maya reluctantly returned to her room. Meanwhile, Lin Chen lay on the bed, closed his eyes, and fell asleep. The next morning, Lin Chen woke up to a sweet fragrance in the room and saw Feng Huang in a black nightgown tidying up clothes in front of him. In that moment, Lin Chen felt a burning sensation throughout his body. It had been a long time since he felt that way. He reached out and pulled Feng Huang onto the bed of the phoenix, who was sorting clothes, was completely unprepared, feeling dizzy, and scared. She quickly reached out to hold onto Lin Chen's neck, their posture looking ambiguous. This happened to achieve the effect Lin Chen wanted. He smirked and asked, What, do you want this? Without giving the phoenix a chance to respond, he made his move. Seeing the usually serious and aloof phoenix blushing in his hands made Lin Chen feel accomplished. Young master, stop, I don't want this. Hmm. Young master, we need to go for the ribbon cutting ceremony. Not going. An hour later, Lin Chen finished dressing up and heard his phone ringing. Lin, do you need a car to pick you up for the ribbon cutting ceremony today? No need. After hanging up, Lin Chen got into the car with the phoenix. 
If I didn't need an assistant for the board meeting, I wouldn't have brought you. The phoenix looked puzzled, thinking he had done something wrong until Lin Chen continued. I don't want others to see the always cold phoenix, now blushing like this, looks really beautiful. Hearing this, the phoenix blushed even more. Finally arriving at the ribbon cutting ceremony, Lin Chen saw Lu Ruashi standing there, looking at him. Lin. Lu Ruashi greeted Lin Chen and led him to the ribbon cutting area. On the way, Lin Chen asked, Did Director Zhang send you to pick me up? No, I came on my own. After saying this, Lu Ruashi blushed. Seeing this, Lin Chen casually looked at her. I've always wanted to thank you for giving me this opportunity. I've always been an extra on set, but now I have a chance to play a supporting role, and I'm very happy. Thank you, Lin. With that, Lu Ruashi bowed sincerely, making Lin Chen find her adorable. Lin Chen always felt a desire to protect such innocent girls. No need to thank me, work hard, and in the next film, you'll be the leading lady. Really? Lu Ruashi's eyes lit up. But then she felt she was getting too excited and awkwardly touched her hair. I mean, thank you, Lin. All right, stop thanking me. Every time you see me, you keep saying thank you. If you really want to thank me, show it in action. With that, Lu Ruashi was momentarily stunned. Lin Chen ignored her and went to the ribbon cutting area. Lin, you're here. Zhang Jimao greeted Lin Chen. Originally scheduled for 8 a.m., it was already 10.30 a.m. Zhang Jima would usually scold latecomers, but for the prestigious Lin Chen, he had to greet him with a smile. Lin Chen nodded and saw everything was well prepared. After completing the procedures, it was time for the most important step, the ribbon cutting. Lin, please. Zhang Jima and Lin Chen each held a large pair of scissors and cut the colorful banners in the middle. As the step was completed, the audience erupted in applause. Throughout the event, Lin Chen noticed something off about Lu Ruashi, but as she was just a minor character, he didn't pay much attention and focused on his own matters. As he was about to leave, he saw Lu Ruashi hesitantly approaching him. Lin Lin Chen stopped and watched as Lu Ruashi walked towards him. When Lin Chen was three steps away, he stopped. Lu Ruashi looked at Lin Chen in front of her, opened her mouth, but then closed it again. After repeating this several times, Lin Chen started to feel impatient. He was about to turn around and leave if Lu Ruashi continued like this. However, at the last moment, Lu Ruashi spoke up, Young Master Lin, I can show you some practical gratitude. Upon hearing this, Lin Chen was taken aback subconsciously, thinking he must have misheard. But when he saw Lu Ruashi's shy expression, he understood that the situation might be as he imagined. Now. Why would he reject someone who was offering themselves willingly? That was not Lin Chen's style at all. After hearing this, Lu Ruashi's face turned even redder. Embarrassed, she looked at him and said, yes. Then she realized she might have misspoken and quickly added, no, that's not what I meant. Hmm. Lin Chen looked at her calmly, wanting to know what she would say. Soon, she continued, as long as young master Lin has time, I... I'm okay with it. After saying that, she blushed and smiled shyly. Lin Chen narrowed his eyes, probably understanding what this girl was thinking. In the entertainment industry today, without connections or even accepting unwritten rules, it was extremely difficult, if not impossible, to climb up. Although there were a few exceptions. Lu Ruashi, in front of him, clearly saw Lin Chen as a big shot and thought it was better to be with someone like him. Seeing Lu Ruashi's thoughts, Lin Chen smiled and handed her a bank card. Choose the best presidential suite in a five-star hotel, wait for me tonight. After saying that, he even flirted with Lu Ruashi, looking seductive. However, Lin Chen didn't care at all and got into the car with Feng Wang. After getting into the car, Feng Wang looked at Lin Chen with a strange expression. Lin Chen noticed it, but he didn't ask, waiting for Feng Wang to inquire. Feng Wang, being who she was, couldn't contain her curiosity and wanted to know the truth about something. So, the two of them remained in a state of neither asking nor answering throughout the journey. Until they returned home, Feng Wang still hadn't asked, and Lin Chen didn't use his true sight to investigate. 
After resting in his room for a while, Lin Chen set off for the address Lu Ruashi had sent him. Lu Ruashi had indeed made a good choice, the 701 room at Xing Jing Houding. Seeing this room, Lin Chen was completely puzzled. Was she trying to deceive him by pretending he didn't know about Xing Jing Houding? Using a luxury standard room to make do? Was this Lu Ruashi's way of doing things? At first, Lin Chen didn't want to go because Lu Ruashi was completely going against his wishes. However, after some thought, Lin Chen walked out of the room and drove to Shang Jing Houding. When he arrived at the entrance, he saw Lu Ruashi waiting for him at the front desk. For a moment, Lin Chen felt a bit touched. It was the first time he saw a woman waiting outside for him to check in. As he approached, before he could say anything, he saw Lu Ruashi's eyes turn red, looking like a pitiful little rabbit. What's wrong? Lin Chen's heart softened, looking at Lu Ruashi in front of him. Young Master Lin, I'm sorry. The front desk said without showing an ID to prove your status, they couldn't provide the presidential suite. Upon hearing this, Lin Chen understood the hotel's attitude. They were clearly looking down on people. Lin Chen immediately took Lu Ruashi's hand and walked to the front desk, slamming his ID on the counter, check-in, presidential suite. Upon hearing this arrogant voice, the receptionist was also quite displeased, furrowing her brows as she looked at the man in front of her, who seemed to be trying hard to control his anger. Sir, I'm sorry, but for the presidential suite, we need to verify your identity with your ID card, she said. The man sneered, what, nowadays, even those with money but no identity can't even book a presidential suite? The receptionist's expression soured a bit upon hearing this, but she still maintained an awkward yet polite smile. Sir, I'm really sorry, but this is the hotel's policy. The man nodded upon hearing this. Fine, you need my identity, right? He handed over his ID card and said, Lin Chen. Check it. About a minute later, the receptionist looked worried. About three minutes later, she looked embarrassed. Sir, I'm sorry, but we couldn't find your status in this city. The man mocked with a smile, joking, you can't find my identity that easily? Then, he said, search online, the young master of the overseas Lin family, what's his name? When the receptionist heard this, she was momentarily stunned. Oh, okay. The overseas Lin family? As she searched, she began to imagine. If he really was the young master of the overseas Lin family, wouldn't she have offended a big shot? The thought made her shiver. When she saw the confirmation of his identity on the computer screen, her serious expression immediately faltered. However, she then thought of a question. If the person in front of her claimed to be from the overseas Lin family, was he really? Sir, may I ask for some proof that you are Lin Chun from the overseas Lin family? She added awkwardly, after all, there are really many people with the same name and surname. She expected Lin Chen to be angry, but to her surprise, he not only didn't get angry but also directly took out a black card. I said I am, so I am. No one dares to impersonate the overseas Lin family. Upon hearing this, the receptionist was inexplicably shaken by his serious demeanor. What kind of aura was this, it made people want to bow down and worship involuntarily. The receptionist managed to control her emotions and nodded quickly, Okay, sir, please wait a moment. By the way, sir, you just checked in a room, would you like to cancel it? Can a room that has been checked in be cancelled? If Lin Chen remembered correctly, it couldn't be cancelled. The receptionist smiled calmly, for others, it cannot be cancelled, but for you, sir, as our esteemed VIP guest, it can be cancelled. Just a moment ago, he wasn't allowed to book the presidential suite, and now he was suddenly an esteemed VIP member? How did Lin Chen not know about this? Did the hotel give out memberships with room bookings? Lin Chen raised an eyebrow and smiled, no need to cancel, it's a gift for you and your boyfriend. Enjoy it after the holiday, which has just ended. With that, he took Lu Ruashi and went up to the room, leaving the receptionist petrified in place, unsure of how to react, her face still flushed with heat. Lu Ruashi followed behind Lin Chen, completely shocked. She knew about the overseas Lin family and Lin Chen, but she had never connected the two because it was simply unbelievable. And this was something no one could have imagined. Having a world-class hidden billionaire by her side, 
who could handle such a thing? Moreover, Lu Ruashi would have to do something a bit embarrassing with Lin Chen later. This made her even more nervous. As they entered the room, Lu Ruashi was so preoccupied with thoughts about Lin Chen's identity that she didn't notice how luxurious the room was and accidentally bumped into Lin Chen's back. Ah, Lu Ruashi immediately reached out to cover her head, imagining her name in her mind to prevent herself from getting a concussion. When she realized she could still remember her name, she finally relaxed. Looking at Lin Chen in front of her, her eyes were turning red. She began to wonder what Lin Chen had done to his back to make it so hard. And when Lin Chen saw Lu Ruashi make this move, he almost burst out laughing. How could there be such a foolish woman? Does it hurt? It's okay. Lu Ruashi pretended to be fine, but her reaction couldn't fool anyone. Seeing her look so wronged, it was clear that something was definitely wrong. Lin Chen reached out and hugged Lu Ruashi, rubbing her head. After a while, he looked at Lu Ruashi again. Lu Ruashi's face was now as red as a monkey's butt. That bright red, it could be a traffic light at a crossroads. Lin Chen looked at Lu Ruashi with a smile, his eyes full of teasing. He wanted to see how red Lu Ruashi's face could get. However, Lu Ruashi did not do as Lin Chen imagined, but instead looked directly at Lin Chen and began to undress. Lin Chen was surprised for a moment, but still calmly watched her undress. Lu Ruashi's face remained red, but looking at Lin Chen in front of her, her eyes were more determined. For fame, she became more and more determined, looking completely prepared. When Lin Chen saw Lu Ruashi standing naked in front of him, he couldn't help but swallow hard. From the outside, Lu Ruashi seemed small, but her body turned out to be quite impressive. He unconsciously swallowed and then looked at Lu Ruashi with a smile on his face, Have you made up your mind? Lu Ruashi nodded, Yes, I have. For fame, she was willing to pay the price with her body, not just her own idea, but the idea of many people. Similarly, it was a cruel conclusion in this circle. To prove that she had really made up her mind, Lu Ruashi even walked up to Lin Chen, took his hand, and felt the soft hands rubbing against hers, making Lin Chen itchy. He couldn't wait to pick up Lu Ruashi, threw her on the bed, took off his clothes, and said, You should know, once you're with me, you won't have a chance to regret it. After saying this, seeing that Lu Ruashi had closed her eyes, Lin Chen knew what he meant. He pressed down on her and started moving. Early the next morning, Lin Chen was awakened by the system prompt in his mind. Ding, since the host has not conquered the female to a score of 90, 100 points will be deducted. Hearing the deduction of points, Lin Chen sat up in shock. What? Points? Deduction? Lin Chen never expected that the system could deduct points. Now, Lin Chen was a bit unacceptable. He couldn't increase points, he admitted, but. Just as Lin Chen was about to argue with the system, he heard the annoying voice of the system again. Ding, congratulations on completing the task given by the system, gaining 1000 points, and now receiving a surprise egg, would you like to open it? Give a reward after a punishment? Fine, Lin Chen accepted it. He nodded, and saw. The egg in his hand shining brightly. In no time, he cracked open the egg. Congratulations to the host for successfully opening the egg, receiving a dog beating stick. A dog beating stick? What's it for, beating dogs? When Lin Chen asked, the system provided a reasonable explanation for the dog beating stick. Based on the current quantity, the dog beating stick can only be used on one person. After being used, the person will be continuously beaten for three days, even losing all their money and becoming a beggar. Wow! That's too harsh. If this move were used on Lin Chen, he would be disabled even if he didn't die. It's really ruthless. Just as Lin Chen was distracted, Lu Ruashi had already gotten up. Sitting on the bed, staring at Lin Chen's back in a daze, when Lin Chen turned around and their eyes met, Lu Ruashi's face immediately turned red. Avoiding Lin Chen's gaze, she even seemed a bit afraid to look at him. Lin. Lin Xiao, are you awake? Hmm, did you sleep well last night? Lin Chen looked at Lu Ruashi meaningfully, and after receiving her affirmative answer, he stood up, put on his clothes, and prepared to leave. Seeing this, Lu Ruashi felt a bit flustered and asked directly, Are you leaving, Shaolin? 
Lin Chen paused, turned to look at Lu Ruashi, and said, What, can't bear to see me go? Hmm, no, if Xiao Lin has something to do, then go ahead. After leaving the room, Lin Chen went straight home. Frowning, he wondered why he hadn't seen Su Meyer's figure these past two days. Could it be that Su Meyer was feeling down and didn't have time to see him? But on second thought, that couldn't be possible. Lin Chen went upstairs, knocked on Su Meyer's door, and said, Meyer, open the door. The door was quickly opened, and when Lin Chen saw Su Meyer's unhappy face, he was stunned, not knowing what had happened. What's wrong? Humph, has the young master been busy lately? Su Meyer said irritably, wanting to close the door in her heart, but since Lin Chen was already standing at the door, she couldn't. She just pouted and walked back into the room. Seeing Su Meyer like this, Lin Chen smiled and followed her into the room, closing the door behind him. Meyer, I have been busy these past two days. Didn't you notice I didn't come back last night? Oomph, you call that busy? You clearly have found another dog. Hearing this, Su Meyer's information was indeed quite accurate, even knowing where he had been last night. However, when Lin Chen suddenly thought of something, he asked, How did you know where I went last night? I. Su Meyer awkwardly stood still. If Lin Chen remembered correctly, besides the phoenix, no one else knew about last night's events. And based on the relationship between the phoenix and Su Meyer, it was impossible for the phoenix to tell her. If it leaked out, there was only one possibility, the hotel from last night. Thinking of this, Lin Chen's eyelids twitched. He squinted, mentally prepared for the answer. Oh? Would the mayor tell you about my situation? Lin Chen squinted his eyes, his eyes shining. At this moment, he was mentally prepared when he saw this message. But he didn't expect, why didn't he notice the secret between the two of them before? Lin Chen used his true sight to take another look and finally understood what was going on. Zhang Jiqi originally didn't have so many thoughts, but yesterday, when he learned that he was going to film, he made a plan. So, he colluded with Su Meyer began to observe his every move, and conspired together. Thinking of this, Lin Chen sneered and looked at Su Meyer in front of him. Calm down, calm down, he told himself, she's a woman, can't hit her, can't hit her. But the anger in his heart couldn't be suppressed. Approaching Su Meyer step by step, his footsteps heavy. Young. Young master, what's wrong? She really could act, if it weren't for Lin Chen's true sight, he probably would have been kept in the dark. By then, not only his whereabouts, but even his family property could be swindled. Su Meyer. Lin Chen was calm at the moment, just reaching out to pinch Su Meyer's chin, staring at her with a direct gaze. Young master, it hurts. Tears were about to overflow from Su Meyer's eyes, looking at this pitiful appearance, it was with this appearance that she entered the Lin family's door. Thinking of this, Lin Chen couldn't help but get angry. I thought I treated you well, but since you have found a better place, then get lost. Lin Chen's tone was firm, with no room for negotiation. However, Su Meyer wanted to try again. Young master, please don't drive me away, I beg you. When Su Meyer heard that, tears immediately fell, her face full of sadness and regret. What did she do wrong? Lin Chen sneered, oh? Not driving you away, keeping you at home to harm me, plot against me? Hmm. You really have some nerve, climbing into my bed is bad enough, but planning to deceive me too? That's impossible. After speaking, Lin Chen turned around to leave, feeling disgusted wherever Su Meyer was. However, unexpectedly, Su Meyer grabbed his sleeve. Young master, I was wrong. Hearing the commotion, everyone came out and looked over. Lin Chen ignored them and went directly to Su Meyer. Admit your mistake? In my Lin. Chen's eyes, there is never a chance to admit mistakes and change, a leopard can't change its spots, that's an unchanging truth. Continuing, Lin Chen added, by the way, tell your family member that since they did such a thing, they should bear the consequences. I, Lin Chen, am not someone anyone can deceive. With that, Lin Chen didn't look back at Su Meyer and went straight back to his room. Seeing Lin Chen leave, Feng Huang walked up to Su Meyer, looking at her now pitiful face, and slapped her directly. Smack! A crisp sound echoed in the room. 
Bai He next to her intended to intervene, but thought better of it and held back. Bai He's room was next to Sue Myers, and although the soundproofing in the house was good, her training from a young age made her hearing much sharper than usual. So she knew exactly what was happening here. Feng Huan, how dare you hit me? Su Meyer changed from her soft appearance to now looking at Feng Huang with a flushed face full of anger. She was directing all her temper at Feng Huang. But even so, Feng Huang remained serious. Staring coldly at Su Meyer, she said, Why? You ask why? Because you touched someone you shouldn't have. Come with me. Feng Huang grabbed Su Meyer by the back of her head and dragged her downstairs, then forcefully pulled her outside. Those watching followed them outside. Despite Feng Huang usually being very aloof and seemingly indifferent to everything, when she got angry, there was basically no one who could control her. Of course, except for Lin Chen. But since Lin Chen had given up on Su Meyer, it meant that Su Meyer was no longer important. Feng Huang pushed Su Meyer to the ground and looked at her with anger in her eyes. Su Meyer, we will settle all scores now. The young master doesn't want to act because he sees you as a woman, but I, Feng Huang, will never show mercy. Hmm, soon, various muffled sounds of Su Meyer groaning could be heard. After all, she had also undergone training in the Lin family, although she may not have by his ability to kill, she still had basic fighting skills. So the heavy kicks she received now made Su Meyer unable to bear it. Feng Huang was clearly extremely angry, otherwise she wouldn't have been so ruthless. When Bai Yi saw that Feng Huang was about to go too far, she walked over and stopped her. Feng Huang, that's enough, she'll die if you keep going. I'm going to kill her. Watching Su Meyer about to faint, Feng Huang felt her arm being pulled. I've already said, I. Young master? Feng Huang stood still, never expecting Lin Chen to come out and stop her. Lin Chen glanced at Su Meyer, then reached out and directly pulled Feng Huang back home. He also glanced at the onlookers nearby and ordered, call him and have him take the person away. Then he threw a business card on the ground. Upon hearing the task, Baiha didn't dare delay, she picked up the business card and made the call. Hello, is this Mayor Zhang Jichi? Yes, what's the matter? Well, I am a maid from the Lin family. Our young master wants you to come over. Baiha's words were relatively gentle but he Churin couldn't bear it and took the phone directly. I am from the Lin family. Our young master asked you to come and take Su Meyer away. You don't need to come in, I will leave the person at the door for you. Without waiting for a response, he hung up the phone. Ran Ran, why are you like this? What if the young master? Before Bai Ha could finish, he Churin interrupted her. What about the young master? Do you think the young master would be afraid of this kind of role? Or do you think that as the young master, he can't speak to the mayor like this? Faced with each other's questioning, Baiha couldn't come up with a reasonable answer. Because everything he Charan said made sense. Seeing this, Baiha stopped arguing and just looked upstairs with some concern. After Feng Huang followed Lin Chen upstairs, he asked her a question. Why are you so hot-tempered? The Feng Wan I know is not like this. Lin Chen stared at Feng Wan's eyes, calmly waiting for an answer. As for Su Meyer's matter, Lin Chen was no longer angry, after all, she was just a woman. With his status, what kind of woman couldn't he find? Would he miss her? It was impossible. In response to Lin Chen's question, Feng Wan glanced at him, her temper gradually calming down, and she answered directly, I have a grudge against her. This was something everyone knew, but this answer couldn't completely deceive Lin Chen. Even if Feng Huang had a grudge against Su Meyer, it wouldn't justify dragging her out and beating her. Lin Chen knew the reason, and he wanted Feng Huang to say it herself. However, seeing Feng Huang's current state, it seemed impossible for her to answer the question properly. So, in that case, Lin Chen had to use a trump card. He slowly approached Feng Huang and whispered in her ear, So, are you going to answer? Or should I take you to bed so we can discuss it further? Upon hearing this, Feng Wang's serious expression immediately turned red, and then her face visibly blushed rapidly. Facing Lin Chen's further approach, Feng Wang quickly surrendered. No, I admit it. As your personal maid, 
I feel I should resist this behavior, so I had to do it too. Show those people. Hearing this answer, Lin Chen was still unsatisfied. But he didn't continue to press further, after all, Feng Wang was not the type of person to say such things. When Feng Wang saw that Lin Chen didn't pursue the matter further, she took a deep breath and looked at him, Young master, are you hungry? Do you want to eat? No. Just as the two finished their conversation, they heard a commotion outside. Hearing the noise, Lin Chen knew that Mayor Zhang Jiqi had arrived. When Zhang Jiqi saw Su Meyer being beaten to near death and lying on the ground, he was shocked and then looked at the people in front of him, furrowing his brows, what's going on? Lord Mayor, I. Su Meyer left two lines of clear tears. However, at the moment she cried, Zhang Jiqi probably knew what had happened. That man was always so clever, able to know their situation at the first moment. Truly worthy of being the successor of the overseas Lin family. And as for him, Zhang Jiqi, since he was able to reach this position, he must not be taken lightly. After adjusting his facial expression, he directly reached out and knocked on the door. Is young master Lin here, I am Zhang Jiqi. The person inside the door, upon hearing his voice, naturally did not open the door. It was He Charan who spoke directly at the door, Lord Mayor, you should go back, remember to take Su Meyer with you. Upon hearing this, Zhang Jiqi did not carry himself with the dignity of a mayor, but instead spoke in a gentle tone, let me in, I have something to explain to your young master. However, He Charan did not give him a chance, and directly refused, there's nothing to explain, since such a thing has been done, one must bear the corresponding consequences, our young master. Before He Charan could finish speaking, he was interrupted by Lin Chen. Open the door. Young master, how can you let him in? However, Lin Chen did not offer much explanation, and simply watched as Zhang Jiqi walked in, then sat down on the sofa. Zhang Jiqi followed suit and sat down, looking at Lin Chen in front of him, already having prepared his words in his mind. Young master Lin, I think you may have misunderstood me, I did not consider Su Meyer's character at the time, that was my mistake, but... But, what Su Meyer did was something I never expected. Do you know what Su Meyer did? Lin Chen suddenly asked. Zhang Jiqi hesitated for a moment, then looked at Lin Chen and awkwardly touched his nose, I don't know, but... Based on Su Meyer lying on the ground, and looking at the injuries on her body, I can tell that she made a big mistake. Truly a mayor, even in speaking, he could rely on guessing. Lin Chen did not want to argue with him about this, but instead smiled slightly, since you put it that way, I won't say much, but I know the actions of each person very well, so it's best not to be too confident in front of me. Lin Chen knew that Zhang Jiqi would understand, so he stood up directly and looked at the people in front of him, take Su Meyer away, and don't come back. With that, he narrowed his eyes and left the living room. Young Master Lin Zhang Jiqi wanted to say something more, but Lin Chen did not give him another chance. He opened his mouth, but held back the words he wanted to say. Seeing that all five people present were looking at him, Zhang Jiqi felt a bit embarrassed. Lowering his head to hide his humility, he stood up and took Su Meyer away. As soon as one person left the house, everyone felt relieved. If it had been someone else leaving, they might have felt a bit upset. But since it was Su Meyer leaving, not a single person felt sad. Early the next morning, Lin Chen arrived at the filming location with Feng Huang. If all went well, they would be able to start filming today. However, as soon as Lin Chen's car arrived, he saw a large group of reporters surrounding him, as if they were closer to him than his own father. The driver, seeing the situation, was about to turn around, but with people all around, the car couldn't move at all. One wrong move, and it could lead to a disaster. Lin Chen frowned upon seeing this situation.